Uh, good morning, jewelry makers. I looked in the monitor then. I just, I've just i literally just sat down and was like, oh, I think I put a bit too much makeup on today. A bit too much. Mike, because I was saying to Adam, good morning, everyone, by the way, sorry. <laughs> morning, morning. I, my daughter said the other day, she was like, Mummy, you do wear too much makeup. <gasps> Oh. I was like, firstly, Willow, when I'm at home, I never wear any makeup. When I'm at home, it's only like she's talking about, I can't come come on air without any makeup. Honestly, you'd be like, oh, is she okay? <laughs> Adam agreed with that far too quickly yeah, as well. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> oh lovely jewelry oh. makers good morning it's lovely to be with you guess who's with me today it does mean we're gonna have a lot of giggles <laughs> our gorgeous charlie morning. how you doing darling i'm great i had makeup drama this morning too the lights weren't working in hotels so i've got tied lines so i could kind of tuck in my chin under no you no. always look gorgeous oh thank you very always, much always always so look gorgeous yeah but i did notice i'm a little bit red are you a little bit red yeah i think i've just got a little bit too much oh no you sure look beautiful <laughs> you're beautiful <laughs> it's funny ignore the boys <laughs> everyone's beautiful <laughs> oh and he's back our adam's oh. back he had a week off we do love adam don't we we do yeah we do he's got buying, sported he? a new pair of trainers yeah i is. did spot them after you pointed them out they are very yeah, nice very adam nice we do like those adam. what did well you spent? get up to on your week off Bought some trainers yeah <laughs> <laughs> anything else Oh, oh yes, he went to a spa. Oh, so Very jealous. Nice. Did he have like a nice robe and lounge around? A white robe and fluffy slippers ads. Did he have a massage? Yeah. <laughs> Little yeah. fluffy mules. Full, <laughs> full body massage. Treatments. What other what other treatments did you go for? Just a massage. Do you know what though? I, I love the massage. I've never had one. <gasps> Yeah, I know. That sounds strange, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> I'd rather it. people not touch me. <laughs> oh, fair enough. I mean, yeah, if it's not... If it's not, it's not your bag. If it's not your bag, <laughs> yeah, then fair enough. Because I do also understand how people would find it quite... Like, I remember my first massage, and it, you are quite... Yeah. Uncomfortable. Yeah. But I'm, I'm totally okay with it. You're all right with that now. I'm totally Lay okay back and it loving now. it. Yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, in fact, a few months ago, I think I was just getting, you know, you just get a little bit overwhelmed mm -hmm. with everything. Life Every does get overwhelming sometimes, <laughs> oh, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And I was back and forth seeing my mum and I was obviously the two oh, kids. A lot going on. Lots and lots and lots yeah. going on. I was just a little bit overwhelmed. And, and, and I was like, I just want to go to a spa on my own and just have a day that's what it said to tom and the next day it was booked oh. so i literally had the best day just on my own in a spa what a lovely husband he's a good egg oh he, he is, is a, good a keeper he's a keeper. maybe you should maybe put that in once a month <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling so overwhelmed <laughs> i'm feeling so overwhelmed um, yeah we've got lovely roscoe as well oh yeah he's, he's chatting he's yeah, not he's even chatting. listening now is it officially <laughs> is it <laughs> officially the first day that becky i always get your name yeah, yeah. I, was, I, I was like becky or claire becky or claire becky joined hey. in the team you've got to put your egg in have becky to come in and say hi you go because Go right, we've stolen you haven't we officially yeah officially <laughs> stolen you this is becky everyone come here my darling and she is going to be oh there she is part of our team welcome to the team darling <laughs> Adam just went, ah, oh, Claire gives the best cuddle. <laughs> don't worry, we, we won't, we're not offended if you don't go, know any of our names because I'm love useless it. at names. <laughs> Absolutely useless as well. And gorgeous Lauren's there as well. You hey. ain't going anywhere, are you, Lauren? You're not going anywhere. No, that's all right then. That's all right then. <laughs> It's funny. Uh, don't you find it funny though when somebody calls you, uh, uh, someone repeatedly calls you by your name wrong? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I do get it. I, I, know, I never say anything. Yeah, no, no, me. You just go. <laughs> just I think like... there was a period of time where Steve, cons uh, to Steve, I was something like Susan. Oh, no. For ages. Hi, right, Susan. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Well, payroll, <laughs> there's no Susan. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, you just, you just own it. Um, anyway, what have we got planned for this Wednesday morning? It doesn't feel like a Wednesday to be no, today. No, it doesn't. 
Because I'm usually here on a Friday. It's all right. We can so pretend it's Friday. Yeah, yeah. Friday somewhere. Um, well, coming up <laughs> on today's show, your eight o'clock is all about your beautiful spaces. You've got your silver plated uh, base metal spaces, um, of which, by the way, you get a hundred. And we did eye these up this morning. I thought, mm. gosh, I'll tell you what, Lauren is taking her prep to another <laughs> level. Look, she's whipping up jewelry and everything. Now, this is made by yours truly, the gorgeous, <laughs> the gorgeous Charlie. Um, using the actual spaces, this lovely selection here. Um, and you've got, what's what, uh, you say all oh, these are good spaces. Oh, very good spaces. Lovely and thick. Yeah, nice to work with. And all different shapes. So you've got stars, yes. hearts. There's a teddy bear. It, when do you ever see a teddy bear face? Teddy Honestly, bear. it's so cute. And I think there's like a clover shape. Yeah, really cute. That's a little bit... Um, uh, who, Disney? Uh, no, yeah. Uh, um, You're thinking higher I end, am thinking, you? Yeah, there's a jewellers. I was literally looking in the windows of it. Thomas Sabo. Oh. They've got teddy bears at the moment. Have they? Didn't yeah, little gummy seen. bears. Oh, oh yes, sorry, Little yes, gummy you bear did say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's the heart, so you get a hundred of these. There's loads, yeah, there was loads. I had great fun playing with them last week on Masses. it. Masses, <laughs> ten of each design, so oh. they're in the hour now, so um, you can shop ahead on those. And we've got quantity, Roscoe. 200 okay nice. that's good, that's good. Um, then at nine o'clock it's all about granulated gemstones so yeah. beautiful technique where you inlay yes that's am right. i saying this yeah, right right that's right yeah okay. yeah bang on so do you want to talk us through that quickly Jen? yeah so there's some love there's a huge selection of gemstones that there's loads uh, lapis um in fact the list is so long i couldn't even sit here and list them all and you will be making inlays forever Honestly, you use such a small amount. It's a tiny little scoop. And we've got some, um, like, little, oh. what have we got? Is it birds and butterflies? Butterflies. Yeah. So that's cute because they're separated off. And then we've also got, just to warm you up, some bezel cups. So that'll be great for starting before you get into the intricate stuff. But really good fun to work oh, with. Oh, so literally almost like free forms that it's you like, then sort of yeah. fill out. Yeah. Oh. And it's like painting by numbers, but with gemstones and jewellery. Like it's so that. cool. It's very easy. I like that. It's a that. fun make. And then we're going to get really serious at 12. Oh, really serious. It looks serious. Yeah. Um, we'll get to that. Yeah, One second. Because at 10 o'clock, we have Dave stepping into the studio. Amazing. Wonderful Dave. For a limited edition lavender jadeite and bicolor jadeite showcase. This is the most lavender strand I think we've ever actually launched here at Jewelry Maker. Um, it's absolutely incredible, the quality. Um, that bluish, yeah, not, we're not talking purple purple, but then lavender jadeite isn't. Soft, soft. It's subtle. It's, so, that's, it is actually, widely referred to as the most expensive but the rarest variety not entirely sure about the story the backstory how dave's managed to get hold oh. of this and um, but i'm sure um he will inform us at 10 o'clock um also very excited about the um Ooh. bicolor this it, do you think chocolate limes yeah i love chocolate this limes, yeah. think chocolate limes mm. <laughs> Or, I tell you what, because I was making little party bags for Willow's party, sweet bags. Cute. Imagine Mintero balls. Mm. Only, only far rarer. Oh, beautiful, where you've got the fusion of, of natural chocolate colour and then natural green. Lush. So, I don't know if we've done anything like this before. So, that's bicolour jade eye and it is totally natural. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got a wonderful premiere selection, including, can I show you this strand? Mm. This is absolutely stunning. Adam's on form this morning. He is on fire today. No, I like it, Adam. <laughs> I like it. This beautiful strand includes tanzanite, oh. zavarite, oh. and zoocyte. Oh. It's breathtaking. We've got all the zites today. All the zites, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Talk about rarity. I should have had a proper nosy at those. Oh, it's I? gorgeous. Yeah, I'm loving that strand. That might be one of my favourite strands of the day. They look nice and sparkly for Yeah, them, gorgeous. Well, tanzanite in rounds is rare because yeah. the crystal structure doesn't like to be cut into a round. It oh. likes to have a longer axis to maintain that level of saturation. Oh, that's interesting. So, so it's rare to see it in a round. You'll probably notice that Ooh. now. Every time you look in a, in a jeweller's, you'll notice, oh, yeah, that's not round. Yeah. It's very rare to actually find. Not saying never, but it is rare. And we've got it here today. Um, Amazing. I also also have my eye on this amazing yeah. sorry Adam this amazing strand which is coming up in the nine o'clock hour 
I have yes. to say, jewelry makers, I'm going to scooch it out a little bit. That is the pinkest. I, our, our graphics describe it as lavender. In my mm. eyes, that's pink. I agree. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. pink. Nine to eleven millimeters, perfectly uniformed yeah. as well. Perfectly color match, matched, luster match. So that's at nine o'clock. I've got twenty-seven. Is that right, Roscoe? Yes. You can tell I've had my eye on it because I know the quantity. <laughs> Um, so that's nine o'clock and then at 12 o'clock Charlie you said we're getting serious we, yeah we're getting our game faces on we've got a new tool and it is the big boy it's like the grandfather of all work holding oh yeah what is it it's a it's a well it's been called a it, stone setting and engravers vice I would call it a ball vice a ball vice yeah right? call it as it is and I've brought my baby one along just to show you how much of a whopper this beauty is. So it is what so does heavy. that do? Okay, so it's for work holding. You, you can do your stone setting on yeah. it, but you can also do engraving. And I've brought with me a 15 by 15 centimetre sheet of brass. That's how big a piece you can work wow. on. So it's, it's a whopper, you know. Um, very sought after in the jewellery world because it's it's hard to hold your work especially when you're working on larger pieces and i've got lots of little tips and tricks in there and we'll walk you through all the accessories because there's loads with it as well do you know what it reminds me of you know those things those balls that you kind of shake and then it gives you like oh a... magic eight ball yeah yeah it reminds me of one of those i, I maybe won't shake that it's really <laughs> heavy <laughs> You'd have great muscles if you did. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yeah, don't, don't do, that. do that. Don't do that. How many have we got of these then? All 44. Oh. So it's quite limited. That is quite limited. And remember, yeah. I guess it's weighty. Is it Very heavy? weighty. Still the same post and packaging all day. Yeah, I feel sorry for postman. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> he is going to be hench. <laughs> yeah. um, hench. Right, jewellery makers, as always, we'd love to hear from you. Do text in, come and say hi. Uh, tell us what you're up to um, this week. What, you've got nice plans this week. Um, shall we get cracking? Because I've got some beautiful red onyx. Um, Charlie, do you mm. remember what happens on our first auction? Yeah, and I don't like it, to be honest, because like I'm it. always here. I don't like it. <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah, it does mean that we miss out. This would be perfect with the 12 o'clock, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Use this with... Oh, Hertfordshire straight on in there getting 10. Well done. On fire. Well done. I like the fact that you're trusting the process. Here it is. I would do the old Frank Butcher voice, but I've got a bit of a cold, so <clears throat> I probably sound really like good, him anyway. Yeah. I probably sound like him anyway. <laughs> Make sure you're checking out one pound for beautiful red onyx. Love onyx. Uh, it's, it's wonderful, isn't it? It's one of my favourites up there, actually. My husband loves it too. Yeah, yeah. it's gorgeous. It glows, yeah. doesn't it? It does glow. Um, Rachel's got six. Make uh, Hertfordshire's got ten. Angela, Jane, Lynn, Heather. Maker Anne wants three. Paula wants four. Claire wants ten. Yeah, you, get, you get the general gist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why wouldn't you at that price? Yeah, though? exactly. It's quite clear that a You'd genuine be... gemstone shouldn't be a pound. No, not but for all the process it goes through. It's Ross. Yeah, well, yeah. It's all right. It's, it's on Ross. his head, isn't it? <laughs> it is on his head. Yeah. We had the discussion earlier on, have we ever been in trouble? Have we ever been in trouble at work? And I was like, um, <sighs> not really. Ross is regularly. <laughs> No, he's not really, because if, he, if ever there's like a, a crossword to be had, he just goes, yeah. He's cool as a cucumber, Our customers are happy. Yeah. He is, he is cool. Um, <laughs> Pink Lady Opal. Ooh. Cool as a, cool as a cucumber. <gasps> he is pretty cool. Um, here we go. This is certified two and a half carats of wonderful powder pink <laughs> uh, lady opal lady pink opal oh lovely oh and it's natural um 12 millimeters again this will go beautifully you've set charlie off now set her off Sorry. honestly i'm used to this now charlie we've only just started i know every show i have to filter it's very distracting you do so well i have to filter everything that's going on in my ear um but 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 it's it is quite funny i, I quite like listening to your antics in the gallery i find it um, very distracting well done. Well done. <laughs> just so you know opal with turquoise is that this amazing strand yeah it's gorgeous this i picked this up ross i'd put those on Ooh. like just one chain lovely they are cute if i'm watching today 
I can grab this for a pound. Oh. Um, that is 20p a stone. Well done, sold out. Congratulations. Um, station necklace, the one we launched the other day. Literally the other day. I'm just going to borrow this bust a second. I bought this. Hopefully should have it here to pick me, for me to pick up today. It's lovely, isn't it? In fact, it's got a lovely shine to it. It's what gorgeous. Chain is that? So it's a paperclip chain. Ooh, cute. And then you've got these lovely stations of, of seed pearls. Oh. It's 20 inches. You've got the extender, so you can either wear it shorter or longer. Nice. To be honest, you can wear it even shorter than that because of the larger links. But straight away, I mean, that's such an effortlessly stylish oh, piece of jewellery, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And they're genuine pearls as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, you don't often see them that teeny tiny size. I no. love those. Hard um, to get hold of. Inspired by the Elsa Peretti diamonds by the mm. yard necklace of course so nice. timeless and classic which if you were to go to sorry just uh, just one bit of hair just going uh, <laughs> you see it <laughs> just one run <laughs> um that's right i've tamed it now i've tamed it i've tamed it yeah but you if you were to go to tiffany's and co then obviously you're going to be talking thousands of pounds for Cuts. that piece but these aren't diamonds and they're only itty bitty diamonds um these are beautiful seed pearls so there we go we can show you, and by the way, that's probably even more now because um, this PowerPoint's quite old, but £4,925. Um, but also, jewellery makers, this is paperclip, which I prefer. Mm, yeah, it's um, it's a high-end look, isn't it? So and it's on not trend. going anywhere. No, so on trend. Did you know that it was uh, Chanel that actually inspired? You told me this. I love this story. Yeah, it was I thought it was quite a new modern trend, mm. but actually, no, Coco Chanel um, was the first person to actually introduce the paperclip chain and then made famous by Jackie O herself. Um, we've got the final few, because these flew. I know Ross bought this. We had 100 and then we had 99 because Ross bought one before the auction. <laughs> I bought a couple during the auction. <laughs> So, do I ever get in trouble? I should do for doing that. Yeah, you probably maybe should, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we don't stop at 99 pounds and 99 pence. How many have we got left? Six. That's how popular this has been. We did something silly. Took it to a really silly price. Look at that beautiful, ooh, golden luster. And then there's pops of little seed pearls. 30 seconds, and we're gonna match the amazing launch price. Amazing. Well, well, Charlie, the fact I bought two. Oh, it says it on. Yeah. Yeah, Elle's got nice taste, aren't she? I bought two, yeah. but also hopefully highlights the fact that this is very affordable. Very good point. Very, very affordable. Yeah, you go into pretty much any high-end, uh, high street jewellers, not, you know, just, just Van Cleef and Arpels and those ones. Go to any jewellers and you will see their version of a paperclip chain because it's oh, everywhere course. at the moment. Yeah, yeah, Hot Absolutely trend. everywhere. Yeah, definitely. Here we go. Go to Monica Veneda. Without any pearls, how much is that? Hundred, and... hundred eight pounds, hundred five. Beg your pardon. We're here with seed pearls, and it's adjustable. Two and a half grams of precious metal. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. No way, man. No way, man. Oh, is that how we're talking our round? <laughs> <laughs> You'll I was get used say, to it. You sounded a little bit Kermit the Frog, but it's not <laughs> Kermit, is it? <laughs> Kermit the Frog doesn't do that. Oh, man. What are you going to do with your two? Are you going to wear them both at the same time, or is one a gift? One's for me, one's a gift, yeah. Oh, okay, lovely. Yeah, one's for me, and one I'm going to put in a nice box away in the Christmas drawer. Cute. Oh, very clever forward planning. I always forward plan for Christmas. Well done. Yeah, because I, I, I figure December's a long month pay wise, isn't oh, yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a long month, so. so I always try and get my Christmas shopping done in advance. She's a clever girl. So then, then I've got that money for just general enjoyment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, general enjoyment. <laughs> Heather Lorraine, Staffordshire's got three. Helen, Denise, Susan. How many do we have? Sorry, Ross. Three left. Hanford West, Maker in London. Anna in Cambridgeshire. Hilda in Manchester. Denise in Sheffield. Susan in Essex. Um, you're all trying for the last three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I might have to pick. The, I'm sure this will be there now, won't it? After we launch this, I could wear it on the weekend. I quite like Beautiful. the idea of two. You Susan, have one. Sorry, Mum. No, carry on. One shorter and one longer. Nice. So almost on the on the decolletage, and yeah. then yeah, yeah, I like Layer. that look. Yeah. Layer it up. Get two. Could you? Do you reckon, um, Charlie? You could. Do you reckon you could actually sort of link them together? Yeah, of course you can. One long line. Yeah, of course you can. That'd be nice yeah, too. Yeah, that's a clever idea. 
It's like extending it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, extend it if you got to. So there we go. There's that oh, gift going she's out the window. Girl. Go that Christmas present gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's sold out. Well done, everyone. Congratulations. Um, who loves a bit of rose quartz? Yep. I love a bit of rose let's quartz. See, let's see. Let me just put these beautiful pearls back because they're You can absolutely put them back in my amazing. hand if you like. I know, I know. <laughs> I've got my eye on those as well. Um, amazing rose quartz. We don't see it that often, do we? No, no, it's not a common one that comes up. But it's one of those gemstones that everybody knows, everybody absolutely loves. Yeah. And it's this delicate powder pink. It is. Unlike my cheeks this morning. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Your cheeks look lovely. <laughs> it's a lovely quality it is, strand. It is beautiful. It is very lovely. You know, you could put this with those pink pearls, for example. Oh, yes. You could put them with any pearls. Um, the gemstone of unconditional love and friendship. We love, we love rose quartz. Yeah, definitely. And again, is it like your amethyst, like pearls, you know, like diamonds? Everybody immediately knows them and just gravitates towards yeah. them. 45 carats. Uh, there's a very gentle graduation to this from three to six millimetres. You're getting a 30 centimetre strand jewellery makers. Um, well, this puts it into, into perspective. I couldn't do a rose quartz hour. No. We wouldn't have enough Nowhere of it near enough. to fill an hour. No. We, we used to do rose quartz every single show, pretty oh, much. Really? Back in the day, when we were first in this studio, yeah. uh, I'm going back 12 years, because I've been here almost 13 now. I think this is my 13th year. Uh, <clears throat> um, we used to have it on every single show. We rarely see it now. I imagine that's it's just harder to get hold of then. Get hold less, of, yeah. less of a deposit, maybe. Yeah, so you need to possibly. Um, yeah. And this is natural. Sorry, excuse me slipping. We got lovely translucency. Have we got Ross? Sixty on the nose. Here's a price that you're not paying. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and we don't mean the twenty four ninety nine. You are not paying nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Tick 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 tick. Let's see. Let's we're, see. If we we're on our sister channel right now, they'd have a dung that sound effect, wouldn't they, Ross? Oh, do they? Do you remember that one? Like a grandfather clock kind yeah, of Yeah, and it's like tense. Oh. Yeah. We've got it somewhere, haven't we? The old school sound effects. Not paying £9.99. pence. Going even lower for a gemstone we seldom ever see, but yet we all absolutely love. And again, it's that there's a message attached to rose quartz as well. You know, gift it to your loved, your nearest and dearest. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's keeping us waiting here. You're teasing us, Roscoe. <laughs> Six ninety nine. Hey. Goodness me! Look at the quality of that saturation. Cheaper than your pack in last week, wasn't it? It definitely yeah, was. Crazy. On my unsuccessful shopping yeah. trip, which I still haven't sorted, so, by the way. So real gemstones. Parking unsuccessful. Ticket. <laughs> Not ticket. I didn't get, actually get a ticket for my parking. My parking. The cost we know of what parking. You mean. Yeah. Eleven quid. Yeah. Yeah, and you can get some gemstones for six ninety nine. No, but I don't know Birmingham that well, though, so I can drive to the Bullring. I know where I'm going in the Bullring. Adam's like, no, you don't want to park there. Well, I don't know where I'm going anywhere else. Why, why is it called the Bullring? Because there's a bull. Is there really? Not a real... It's, it's like a... It... Like an art? Yeah. Like a... Ah, right, okay. <laughs> there, yeah. There's a big... There's a don't big... I think he's rough. bronze. I think there's a bronze bull. Ooh. Yeah, he's lovely. Apparently, it used to be a market that was shaped like a bull ring. Oh, who knew? Uh, I don't. I didn't Every, know. Well, but Adam's a Birmingham boy, so he would probably know. Ah, I see. There you go. There you go. Yeah, my Good unsuccessful education. shopping trip. Yeah, where I <laughs> literally. I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I hate shopping. I hate shopping. I hate shopping. <laughs> Unless it's for gemstones. Yeah. Clothes shopping rubbish. Who wants this? What? Under five pounds. Yeah. A genuine gemstone, full 30 centimetre strands, so you could make, even if you just did stretchies. Oh, yeah, definitely. Stretchy bracelets with yeah. that. Yeah, our little hairpins. Oh, Literally nice. just one on its own. You could have a few dotted about here and there. Very yeah, nice. Cute, very spring-like. You know, if you do, I mean, I, I don't do artisanal markets. I wish I had the time to, to be honest. But, you know, I bet you if this was a simple stretchy, people would gravitate towards oh, it. Oh, yeah, definitely. And a little wicker, cute little wicker basket oh, up nice. front. Yeah, they'd fly out. Yeah. yeah. And what would you charge for those stretchy bracelets? What do you reckon, tenner? 
Yeah, definitely more than what I paid yeah. for the whole strand. Definitely. And you can easily get two out Couple of this, like if not yeah. more. Another 30 seconds. We are going to take this under £5, says Ross. But only if it looks like that 60 quantity is going to be an on-screen sellout. Yeah, he's, he's, he's serious now. Game face on. I am only going under £5 if it looks like that, six, that 60 quantity is going to sell out. Fair enough. So we need to see you there, jewellery makers. Six ninety nine is already amazing. There's multi buyers. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Stock up because yeah. we rarely see it. It goes beautifully with pearls. It's this like Japanese blossom. Mm. Oh yeah. Isn't it? Everyone like, is perfection. Yeah. Pretty. Just pretty. Love not that. like a you know. It's not like a cerise pink. It's a no. delicate pink. I wouldn't even say it's a baby pink because that no, has it's more saturated. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like a chiffon pink. It's a, it's a whisper. A whisper of pink. Ah, oh, very nice. <laughs> uh, 4 99 Joanna, you've got yours. Dawn, you've got two. Hilda's got two. Fife's got two. Staffordshire, well done to you. Morning, Helen. Morning, Anna. Morning, Lynn. Getting two. Heather and Mary and Jerry and Robert and Liz and Elizabeth and Angela. <gasps> a maker and Hertfordshire. Morning, everybody. Does it feel like a Wednesday? I'm really confused by what day of the week it is. I don't know. I don't know what... I don't know. Feels like a Monday, I think. But then I suppose our Monday, Tuesday was our weekend. I was going to say you've, yeah. That's why. Yeah, I was trying to work it out. It's quite Kids confusing. will be breaking up from school soon, won't they? Very soon, yeah. Very, very soon. Yeah, I think my son's counting it. I think he said eight days this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Not, Not long. long. And then Not he's off long. to big school. Is he? Yeah. Uh, he's off to high school. Yeah, he's all oh, grown gosh. up. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm like kicking him up the bottom. Go on, get to school. Oh. Hey. Yeah. You know, it's a big step, isn't it? Yeah, it is. He's not done it. He's, 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 right. he's like easy. Adam, colours a cucumber, yeah. Easy just breezy. Just rolls with it. Easy breezy. Yeah. I had Willow's school report um, a couple of days you ago. You screwed your face up a little bit then. Oh, uh, well, because it, it had me in tears. <laughs> oh. Literally had me in tears. Like, I am a proper softie, though. Oh, yeah. So anything to do with my kids, I'm a proper softie. Oh. Um, but yeah, she was, because um, it's what she actually said to me, I do think kids, the expectations of children at the moment is very high. Yeah, way too much pressure and, on them. And she was only saying to me the other day, and she's quite self-critical, Willow is, for her seven years, bless yeah. her. And she said, oh, mummy, I don't think I'm doing very well at school. And I was like, Willow, I'm sure you are. And she thinks she's been told off. And, and she's not being told off. She's probably just been told to knuckle down. Yeah, stop talking. Anyway, <laughs> but she had a glowing report, an absolute oh, glowing report. And it was just the just confidence made you boost melt. that she needed. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Oh, that's yeah. great. So I was really, really pleased. I was like, see, stop being so hard on yourself. Uh, well, if she's like that now, she'll probably be like that yeah. later on, won't she? It's a yeah. good trait. It's and do you know trait. what? It's not even the academic side of things. It's the it's the fact that she they were like she's kind and she's got empathy. Oh. So that's what's most important to me. Oh, you are a proud mummy. Um, I was a proud mama. Um, now, yes, early bird coming up. Jewelry makers, a hundred spacer beads. Not just any old spacer beads. You're getting ten different designs, ten of each. So you've got hearts, you've got teddy bears, you've got stars. You've got You've like got rondelles over. that kind of dip in and out, so they make your beads sit. They kind of lock it. Yeah, that one. Lovely. Ooh, it's like almost yes. seamless, isn't it? Because they've got the concave sides, so the beads tuck in really Ooh, nicely. Sink in. Really like that. Ten different designs, jewelry makers. Do shop ahead on those early birds because um, they're coming up within this hour. They're actually in item number one on the website right now, yeah. Um, so you can grab yours. We've got 200 little shamrocks, shamrocks, nice or clovers, whichever way you want to look at it. You've got, I can't quite see them over there, but you, yeah, the rondelles there's are lovely. Moons. Oh moons. yeah, there's tiny little crescent moons and they're moons. really cute. Moons. They And little stars, we made a little hair clip with some stars. I on. saw the little hair yeah. clip, <laughs> amazing. Do you remember that? We've been to Boston <coughs> Moon. No. Followed Mr. Spoon by showing my age. I don't really know what that is. Oh, you don't know. You don't know Button Moon? No. You don't know oh, Button Moon? To... <laughs> no. Nobody else knows Button Moon? Oh, at least I'm not on my own then. Thank you, Becky. Adam, you know who Button Moon is, don't you? It's a moon and it's a button. No expense spared. <laughs> and you had a little wooden spoon figure. And then one no. was like a dish brush. One was a dish brush, <laughs> wasn't it, Adam? Yeah. A tin, tin of beans. beans. Yeah. Okay. No expense. Yeah, but it was blown. <laughs> Text in. Am I the only people? Uh, like, is, is Adam and I be. the only ones that remember Button Moon? Honestly, Google it. You missed out. <laughs> <laughs> You need to Google Button Moon. 
and, and watch the intro Lily did intro. Anyway, <laughs> back to your beautiful gemstones. Cause I, I've lost Ross now. Are you Googling it, Ross? Oh, good. <laughs> the Halo um. Connector. Oh, the Marbe Pearl. Amazing this is. Um, so this is not just any pearl. This is actually South Sea. Yeah, we've got a lovely piece of jewelry that's actually made. Yeah, thank you. Um, so this is the launch. We have well, we launched this. Sorry, um, the South Sea Pearl, uh, it's a South Sea Pearl Marbe. What that basically means is so obviously, uh, um, the oyster itself will create a few pearls in its in its lifetime, but they'll only ever actually create create maybe a couple of your um, of your Marbe because it's actually sometimes referred to as a blister pearl. Um, and it's actually half a pearl, I suppose, that's actually formed alongside the shell. So sorry, I'm not displaying that very well, but you get the idea. Um, so there it is. So that actually has the oyster shell itself attached to it. I know it, it does look like something mm. that should be displayed in the V&A Museum. Now I've got three available. Um, it's been hugely popular. We had yeah, it in earrings, yeah. we had it in a ring. Um, you've got a halo of zircon all the way around. Love that. A Marbe pearl. And it's, if you go on first dibs and you search M-A-B-E, uh, Marbe pearls, you find them for thousands of pounds. Oh, yeah. Crazy thousands money. Of, especially South Sea ones, which this is, uh, from the South Sea oyster itself, which can form to like dinner plate sizes, the South Sea oyster, um, because obviously, and they produce some of the largest pearls in the world, but they only produce maybe, and that is, it's not a guarantee, maybe a couple of Marbe pearls in their lifetime, because obviously it's when they come to the end of their life, obviously yeah. that you'll see the oyster shell, use the mother of pearl itself. And if you're lucky, actually find one of these. Um, so I've actually got it here. Let me just show you. It's actually a really special thing, isn't it? Yeah, More so gorgeous. than a pearl. Yeah, 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 rarer than a pearl. Yeah, yeah. It's rarer than a pearl. And when you think like South Sea Pearl strands, at, the, at Tucson the beginning of this year, um, is a photograph of our lovely Dave um, at Tucson holding a South Sea Pearl strand, look at the size of them, um, $880,000 US oh. dollars, that's trade. <gasps> so you're talking millions of pounds oh. at retail. Um, and the reality is actually a Marbe is rarer than a pearl. The Marbe is rarer. If you go to the pearl source, these are pearls. So these are rarer than, uh, these are actually rarer. Um, and they're the white ones. This is the golden one. So you're talking 12 millimeters, 1,159 pounds, where, like I said, yours is rarer. So those, the oyster that produced any one of those pearls could pro went, probably went on to produce a few. It's usually one pearl per harvest. Um, but a Marbe, it would produce maybe um, one, two, if we're lucky, if we are lucky. I have three available opportunities, jewelry makers. No, I haven't, I've got two, because Hampshire's taken the first one. Let me just show you on the reverse as well. So you can see, that's the actual oyster shell itself. So it's cut as part of the oyster shell itself. Amazing, so you've got like a flat back, so if you collect pearls, you, th this should be one that should be in the collection. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Absolutely. It's one of uh, it's one of the rarest types of pearls. Mm. They call it blister pearls, but I don't really like that term. Yeah, it's not the kindest. Um, yeah, Marbe pearls. So it's basically where the pearl isn't separate from the. It's actually grown into the actual shell itself. It must be quite a, delic a delicate operation trying to get that. Um, I think pearl it's in the, out of the shell. Well, I mean, I and they'll cut it out, won't they? But they'll actually cut it with the shell yeah, at right. the end of the oyster's actual uh, actual life itself. So, so if you slip, you're going to whoopsie that absolutely. one special one that you've got. Okay. And, and it's an anomaly of the actual culturing process. They can't say, right, little oyster or big oyster, because these will be quite big. I want you to produce a Marbe pearl. It either does it or it doesn't. Right. Um, now I've only got two available. Again, imagine this in an absolutely beautiful sort of graduated necklace that's sort of going across uh, the stretch of the decolletage. That's nowhere near your closing price, jewellery makers. We're going to go straight down to it because there is only two available. There was only ever 20. Again, that's the rarity of a Marbe pearl. 
149 pounds but you have got your four-way split pay as well lovely jewelry makers so that's a halo of beautiful zircon so i love that you do that because that's not something other people do is no. it usually it's cubic zirconias that they halo stuff with don't yeah, they no, oh, they're zircon. really high end and you go for that and if you I go like to zircon. somewhere like first dibs charlie mm. you and research we did this the other day didn't we roscoe if you go on to first dibs and research marbay pearls you, I think there's one almost identical to this. It's like oh. five thousand pounds. Oh. Five thousand um, pounds. You can get the blue marbays because obviously all pearls can produce marbe. Uh, all oysters can produce marbays. It's just whether they, well, they do, do or they or don't. don't. Yeah, yeah. Um, South seas are more likely to just because of the size of them. Ah, uh, okay. Um, Hazel's just jumped in and got another one of these. Well done, Hazel. They're absolutely. Yeah, makes sense. I bought the ring when we first launched this. Yeah, I, love I did it. And whenever see the I ring. wear it, it's always. Is it a showstopper and yeah. everybody notices it? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's gorgeous. I would imagine your hand is by your face quite a lot yeah. when you're wearing that ring, isn't it? Yeah, Vogue, 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 Vogue. Have you seen my ring? <laughs> mm. Yeah, it is eye catching. I love a Marbe pill. Now, there's two of you in for the final one. Who's going to grab it? I've got Cheshire there and I've got Patricia there. It's a lovely size for brooch, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Sorry, Anne. You could use them with earrings. You could use it in a long line mm. necklace if you wanted to. You could do it in a choker. Yeah. That'd be nice. Oh, have they sold out? Yeah, Gob. not surprised. Well done. It is amazing. But don't panic. But don't panic, says Ross. Because we have another, another rarity of the sea. That is Queen Conch or Conch, depending on how you pronounce it. I think here in the West we call it conch. However, if you go to the East, they call it conch. So it's not actually you saying it wrong. You just, it's almost like an accent. Yes. Yeah. Almost, okay. Yeah. Um, hi, Trevor. Morning, all. Um, at Jewelry Maker. The bull ring in Birmingham is named for many, uh, was named many years ago. They, they used for selling cattle. Oh. That's why it's called the Bull Ring Centre. Thank you, Thank Trevor. you very much, Trevor. Thank you. Superstar. Any, other, any more facts about Birmingham, let us know. Or any place around the world, actually. Any place, I like this. I like a little fun fact. It's about the Great Yorkshire show this week in Yorkshire. Any facts about Yorkshire? Any facts <laughs> about your local, your local town? Your, have you got a Coventry fact? Go on then. They've, Coventry's got two cathedrals. One cathedral and one to spare. What? <laughs> Oh. Oh, one's ruins. Oh, okay, so it's not really spare then, is it? <laughs> it's not really spare. Not the best backup. No. <laughs> but two two cathedrals in one city, that's rare. No, that is rare. Yeah, text in your local city stroke town facts. There you go. Right then. Um, back to your conch. Now, I just, I, I, this is called the Sanga by locals. And so a conch shell, we've probably seen it. You sometimes see it in uh, um, people's bathrooms and things. Yes. And they've got that beautiful pink on the inside. So that's conch. And it is actually a food source in the Caribbean as well. Oh. Um, they actually sort of harvest it uh, um, to eat. Um, now a conch can produce a conch pearl. A conch pearl, much like your mellow pearls, etc., extremely rare. Um, and it's basically a double of itself. So there's no bead, they don't produce a, a different substance, it's basically the same material that makes up the shell itself. Um, mm. However, um, a queen conch is, queen is the size of the conch, and I think I'm saying this right, they need to be about 15 years old. Right. and they reach about this kind of size i believe it's seven points on their crown that's when they reach queen status and you might think okay not especially rare it's incredibly rare because they are a natural food source to not just mankind they're actually a food source to many a species in the ocean sharks right. etc oh. so they rarely rarely ever reach that stage um, I, do, I wonder if you could get that quote if you like from the local because dave went over to um over to the Dominican Republic. Um, it's a tough job, isn't it? Here isn't he is. it? Um, and he chatted with Cap uh, Captain Reco, yeah. who's a third generation conch diver. And he says the Sangha um, is ancient in these waters. They have to be very old, between 15 and 20 years at least. The conch matures uh, at three or four years old, uh, but she doesn't become a queen until she has her crown. 
The Sangha is a miracle of Mother Nature, favoured since antiquity and used by every civilization's masters as the ultimate jewel. I've worked with the conch pearl, but never the queen. Uh, they never stay on the island. They go to the Far East. Sometimes buyers fly in the same day um, that one is bought up from the depths. Forget a needle in a haystack. This is like finding a single pink diamond in a vast depths of an ocean. Mm incredibly rare and they're not harvested they actually attempted to set up uh sort of harvesting um your conks um but unfortunately mother nature had other plans however the chance of surviving um to such a, an age in a shell are slim as slim as one in two billion very wow. very very rare to reach that age um, like I said, they were thinking, okay, well, we can help and uh, we can maybe harvest them in the same way that we would do our cultured pearls. But like I said, Mother Nature actually had alternative plans. So the operation was set up and then a hurricane struck. Oh. I think we've got a photograph of the building. It was completely decimated. Oh. And you might think, um, okay, well, you can set that up again. Um, but actually, you've got to think, 15 to 20 years, that's mm. a lot of time that you've got to invest yeah. before you actually see those benefits. So it was literally just unfortunately... Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Um, so to say that we here at Jewelry Maker actually have conch is enormous. It's yeah. absolutely enormous. Pieces that I, the only pieces I'd seen prior to Jewelry Maker's acquisitions were sold at auction. There's an amazing chrysanthemum that's carved out of the Sangha, out of Queen Conch, that sold at Christie's, wasn't it, Roscoe? Mm. Yeah, sold at Christie's, and it really shows the curves as well of the actual, the natural formation of the shell. You essentially, because these are double drilled as well, essentially have about 13, 14 individual cabochons. They're double drilled. Again, yeah, let's look through those, Roscoe, because, um, sorry, uh, because again, it really highlights the value and the price tag of this beautiful gemstone. So look, you've got a Victorian conch natural diamond brooch here sold for 5,700 pounds. It's tiny. You've got a conch shell flower and snake ring, um, 3,800 pounds. Again, that really beautiful pink. Um, I love these. You've I got, like those. they're lovely, aren't they? With a diamond in the center, 2,423 pounds. Um, I think they're on first dibs. But again, it's that lovely, delicate pink. You are sourcing that same material, and it's all about the Queen Conch. If you want to add diamonds, of course you can. If you want to frame it in gold or platinum, then of course you absolutely can. I want to show you as well, look, they are double drilled, so you could use these individually if you yeah. wanted to. Um, but again, this is uh, without doubt one of our rarest uh, items in our, in our vault, without doubt. There's nine available. I love the shape of it. The yeah, way it sits shape. on your wrist looks lovely. I imagine it feels quite nice yeah, as well, tactile. And the quality of this yeah. as well. Can you see the flame? They refer to a flame across the surface of it. It's a lovely patterning That's across lovely, the surface. Isn't it? Yeah, and again, it's a delicate powder pink. Absolutely beautiful. To be even anywhere near three figures is absolutely jaw dropping, to be honest. You're getting um, a, a huge amount of conch, conch pearl, huge amount. It is without doubt in our entire vault, probably across the entire partnership as well, actually, um, one of the rarest gemstones that we have. It's amazing that we were able to get hold of it. And furthermore, it's a bit ridiculous that we actually decided to put it all in one bracelet. Yeah, I was going to say, they're not you know? small pieces, are they? No, they could have been individually, especially when you see like conch pearls like mm. this literally sat on a dime or a dollar, sorry. Is that a quarter? Um, there you go. So that's that indicates the rarity and the sheer volume that you've got. You've effectively yeah. got that 13 times over. And by the way, look at the price. 14,000 wow. for a nine and a half carat. They actually measure, it's one of the few sort of pearls that they measure it by the carat weight because of its rarity. Right, Rather Interesting. than its size. Now, <laughs> 199 pounds. Wow, we have nine. These are too beautiful to be in the vault. Absolutely too beautiful to be within oh, our without vault. Without doubt, yeah. Look at the split pay. I tell you what, 30 seconds on your screens then, jewelry makers. Are we really? Are we allowed to do that? Okay. <laughs> okay, if you've always had your eye on conch, it's a funny sentence, isn't it? Now is the time to get it because we're going to take it under a hundred pounds. Now is the time. If you've always struggled with bangles, 
here's a fantastic alternative. Yeah, Because it's all a stretchy, effectively. And I like that it's not popping pink. No. Because that's not up everybody's Very street, is it? They want it, yeah. We, today, are going to take this to double figures. For the, It's never been anywhere near that price tag, surely. Should it be? No. What on earth? That's ridiculously low. Ridiculously low. Again, from our entire vault, this has to be one of the rarest gemstones that we have. Look how beautiful they are as well. You can see that beautiful flame. £25 on your split payment. Again, let's, can we show the chrysanthemum? It's my favourite piece. There it is. There it is. See what I mean? It's a lovely, oh, delicate pink. Beautiful. A diamond conch pearl and conch shell brooch by Tiffany's oh. & Co. Sold at auction at uh, $60,000. $60,000. And insane. here we are, practically giving it away uh, for £99.99. £99. That's less yeah. than £10 per conch shape, if you like. Uh, Julia, Maker, Christine, Maker, another Julia. Um, we can only hold this on screens for a matter of seconds, jewelry makers, because it's an absolute giveaway deal. So 60 seconds and we're going to move on. Um, Alan in Somerset, you're there as well. I can see Julia's getting involved. I'm not surprised. Christine in Tineway, you've got yours. I've only got nine, or had. Only had nine. And again, totally and utterly natural. One for the collectors. Yeah, absolutely. You know, one that, that you know, people will be able to say, oh, this is conch pearl. This is like needle in a haystack. Oh, it's a very rarity. special piece. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It'd be a showstopper, wouldn't it? I love Price. pearls. You know that. Yeah, they, of course. They can harvest pearls. The supply of pearls is not hasn't stopped. No. The demand has gone up. Yeah. Conch is literally like a lottery ticket of the ocean. Yeah, you're not going to get that in most jewellers. That's no. why they're in places like uh, Christie's, Christie's and things, this, yeah. isn't it? Because absolutely. They're, just, they're not one for everyone, are no, they? No, absolutely. And here we are bringing it to you at a double-figure price tag. It's absolutely amazing. Whether you choose to use these individually or whether you choose to keep mm. it as a, as a beautiful bracelet, it's entirely up to you. Hazel, Alan, Maureen, Christine, Julia, Joanne, Alan, new customers. Um, hello, London. The final few. I'll leave it with you. Well done. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Um, okay, something very exciting. Um. Second. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And most likely, the last time that we ever bring this to air. Now. With rosebud pearls, we had 100, by the way, which is an absolutely astonishing quantity. Um, rosebud pearls are the one of the rarest pearls in the world, up there with your Bahrain pearls. Sorry, let me just arrange these. Because rosebud pearls actually tend to have like a, a, a flat back, mm. um, often referred to as popcorn pearls as well, where you have these lovely, speaking of granulations, you have these lovely kind of spiky inclusions that form naturally across the surface um, on the top. Now again, you can harvest pearls, but you can't, they're always called natural by the way, because then you can't instigate that process. So again, it's like a little lottery ticket. So we had a hundred of these popcorn pearls and we showed a chart, didn't we Roscoe? So there was a, a chart and you've got uh, different other varieties, turtle back, some of these you might not have heard of, but mm. they have turtle back pearls. Mm. Um, they're some of the rarest varieties in the world. Even when they are being cultured, say a, uh, you've, got, you've got a pearl harvest, um, even when that happens, you, they call these natural, you can't call cu cultured pearls natural. Yeah. You can call them natural cultured pearls, but not just natural pearls, because they're still cultured. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Um, but these will be because the fact they are rosebuds. So you can't force it to be no. that way. No. This isn't our chart, but it is a chart that's used wise, widely in the pearl industry. And if you look to the right hand side, you can see rarest natural pearls. And they say there's turtleback pears, it's exotic snails. Um, and then just below that, you can see the ex exotic rosebuds. You see how you have those lovely kind of quite gnarly shapes. Yeah. Um, it's an abundance of nacre effectively that produces these. They are highly sought after and ordinarily sold individually, not on a strand. Now, amazingly, we managed to source a hundred opportunities. 
to put that into perspective, that would probably have taken decades for the pearl supplier yeah. to, to actually compile Good that point, amount. Yeah. Sorry, Ross, what was that? The first time that we ever had natural rosebuds, we had 20 strands. And they were significantly smaller. If you remember last week, I actually showed you the strand. These are almost double the size. And I have 100. But I, the reason why I'm telling you this is because that's the only reason you're going to see this price. It would most likely have taken our pearl supplier multiple years to compile enough to yeah. actually put together this one auction. A lot of legwork there, isn't yeah. there, behind the scenes. So we all miss, actually. We just see we the do. beautiful we piece do. and we buy them, we don't we? But there is a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah very. You know, this would have taken years, years to compile enough of your rosebud pearls to put on one thirty-eight centimetre strand. Naturally coloured, natural pearls, because they're rosebuds, definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. How many do we have then? Nine. I mean, this with your conch pearls would be amazing. Ooh, good shout. That would be lovely. Oh, that's holiday jewellery all over, yeah. isn't it? Oh, long maybe flowy dress. You need to look at. Don't wear it in the pool. Oh, ooh, no, no, no. High no. quality pearls. Yeah, no, no. Even here, and I'm not sitting here saying that £1,999 is not a small amount of money. It obviously is. Um, I am saying that's a small amount of money for your rosebud pearls. We launched these on Friday and I've yeah. got nine available now. Out of the 100 that we had, nine available. That should be sending little message, little hints to you all, jewellery makers, yeah. about just how good this deal is. The smaller ones where we only had 20 that were only launched here at Jewelry Maker because of the Gemporia birthday. This is where they launched Jewelry Makers. They were, and they totally sold out, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah. To have rosebud pearls at three figures is astonishing. They are one of the rarest varieties in the world. Again, that chart's not our chart. <coughs> Excuse me, that chart is literally, uh, I, I don't, can't even remember who actually put it together, but it's widely used in the pearl world. Incredibly, for almost double, I think, almost double the size, because we mm. literally held them alongside yeah, one another. Yeah, I remember. But we were able to actually uh, purchase more. It probably would have been bought alongside something else, mm. you know, maybe something for... Um, our birthday just gone. I don't know. That's so we can negotiate deals. Yeah. We should be higher than one four nine because they are bigger. Look at those. You see that iridescent colours. Now we are going to put the price on screen. You're going to have one minute, and then we're going to dive immediately into your early bird jewellery makers. I had nine. Now I've got five. Well done, Gloria, Dorothy, Leicestershire, and Helena. In the history of jewellery makers, this is one of the best pearl deals we've ever done. It's a full 38 centimetre. It's a big statement, but I stand by it. Especially if you're a collector and you want the rarest. This is one of the best deals. I launched them last week and seriously, I still can't believe that they went to a double figure price. Yeah, tag. I know. It's insane, isn't it? You could go your whole pearl career and not see a rosebud pearl. In fact, I've worked alongside pearls very closely for 25 years. And it's something that's not popped and up as often. I've only just seen them. No way. I've only just seen them. 25 oh. years. I've worked with, yeah, when I started my my. my jewellery career it was predominantly with pearls and the jewellers that I worked at and yeah we didn't have rosebud pearls <sighs> in 25 seconds we're moving on Helena uh, you've upped your quantity well done savvy shopping yeah wise Gloria meal. Dorothy Leicestershire and um, who is that Alan you've just got yours well done Alan hang on one two three four five six I've got literally a few of them left that's it three so uh joanne good luck christine good luck your early bird is coming up in a few moments time 100 spacer beads of all different shapes <laughs> right sorry there's one left of the rosebud pearls just so you know okay here we go, here they are, in all of their 
beautiful glory again you get these amazing amazing patterns across the surface of them uh hello to you, gloria my first strand arrived yesterday bought again stunning yeah. thank you for that message gloria um that is oh hang on <laughs> testament to the actual uh pills themselves beautiful and they are natural as well totally and utterly natural now jewelry makers your early bird um I've said it so many different times, so many times before. There isn't a single piece of jewelry that I make that doesn't include space speed. Oh no. I use them over and over and over and over again, which means I run out quite a lot. Oh, regularly, yeah. 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 So really when we say, oh, 100 spacer beads, you're going to be stocking up your stashes, aren't you? Because Definitely. last thing we want is to be running out one of our find our favorite findings. Now these are precious metal plated base metal. So, and and I think, you know, we, we, we almost become, it's a little bit of snobbery towards that. Yeah. Here at Jewelry Maker, um, and I understand it, if you can, you know, use precious metal, definitely go with that. However, there's 100% a place for your silver plated yep. um, and your precious metal plated uh, findings and components. You go to Misoma, and I only learned this recently, when I was prepping for a show, I can't even remember what item it was, but I was prepping for a show, and I saw a bracelet, I was like, oh, I like that. I like that, and it said 18 karat gold plated. I was like, oh, okay. 18 karat gold plated what? Mm. So was that silver? Because I was still looking at a 500 pound price tag. Ooh. So I was definitely expecting it to be silver. Yep. It wasn't. It was base metal. No way. And it was 500 pounds. Well, you're paying for the name, aren't you then? Totally. Aren't you? Now, you are getting, with this enormous stash of spacers, 100. 10 different designs of which you get 10 each. So, you have your butterflies, you have your flowers, you have clovers, you have hearts, you have moons. Um, you've got little teddy bears. Can you see the teddy bears? I don't know how. They are uber cute. You don't see them often, do how you? How sweet are they? If ever, actually. I don't think I've ever seen them. <sighs> you got little teddy bears in there. You no, got no. hexagons. Can you see those? Yeah, they're cute too. Hexagons, octagons. I didn't count the sides. Um, then you've got stars. And cool. here's the rondelles that Charlie was just talking about. And then you've got these lovely kind of ribbed saucer uh, like shapes. Um, a pack of 100 opportunities. Um, the graphics are live. Even here at 49.99, Roscoe, that's amazing, isn't it? Because you've got 100 spaces. Pardon? 50p per spacer. Can't be bad. And you know you're going to use them. I mean, Charlie, you made what? what uh, quite a few pieces here to my right. Yeah, I did that last week while we were on air, actually, with some beautiful uh, Amazonite, I think it was. Um, but they went a really long way, and, I was, and I'm was. i going to be honest, I, I took them home with me, what was left. <laughs> don't blame you. And I made a little hair thing. But yeah, well, they, it was, yeah, I don't think I was meant to, but I did. And Ross didn't tell me off, and I didn't get an email, so we're all right. But what I will say is, you'll want to stop, like double up on them because you'll gravitate to certain ones. So I was definitely gravitating to the rondelles just because of how they concave. Yeah. Um, but then also the moons and the stars, very popular, aren't they, right now? Always hearts. So, you know, 10, you'd rather yeah. have 20, wouldn't you, of each oh, design? Do you know what? So it You've makes got sense. shapes here, Charlie, that are huge. So flowers, yeah. always. Yeah. Hearts, yeah. always. Butterflies, always. Yeah. Stars, always. The moons um, are so cute. Moons yeah. always. Uh, uh, four leaf clover, yeah. of course. And how often do you see that, right? Yeah. You, don't, you don't really see them. And you get them you? all in one purchase. Yeah. I love the teddy bears. Oh, they're too cute, aren't they? Adorable. Absolutely adorable. That photograph, I have to say, because it shows, it looks like they, they're graduated in size. They're not. Doesn't it? Is it me? Yeah, no, they're all the same size. They I are all really the same the size. Color. Yeah. So, so if, like, the moons are the same size as say the butterflies etc now we've got 200 available opportunities first price crash not stopping at 50p not stopping first price crash we've got 200 but the phone lines the web the app are gonna go crazy because we always need spaces yeah no matter what your medium favored medium is mm -hmm. or whether you do multiples you know, if you do beading, obviously, Wywick, 
clearly. Yeah. You, know, you can use them in so much, can't oh, you? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the projects actually at nine o'clock, they'd look really good. I've dropped a cut stone in one of them. But you could actually use spaces so you could yeah. have a star and a moon or you can have a little teddy in a in a in a ring oh. it'd look really cute that i think very nice yeah, yeah like i said tom sabo have done a whole collection um at the moment and it's all literally gummy bears well i would imagine then that's a sign of things to come isn't it yeah so yeah bears get your little be teddy big. bears now ready for when so it explodes still, still 100 pounds was it yeah little gummy bear on a chain we're at 16 pounds and 99 pence but we're still not done Still not done there. We're going even lower, lovely jewellery makers. Um, stock up your stashes. There's no cap on the quantity. So if you want to get 10, if you want to get 20, you fill your boots. Yeah, you, you're going to want more than what you've got because you will use all your favourites up really quickly. Yeah, yeah, you do. And especially, there's nothing worse than, oh, I wish I had a spacer bead. Yeah. I wish I had that that I could yeah. put there. Or just one more to finish the end of a design. Yeah. You know? Susie yeah, like... said the other day, she was like, if you see findings, just grab them because you will use them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they, they don't have an expiry date, do they? No, you exactly. You can sit on them as long as you want. It makes sense. £14.99. Wait. That's 14... 15p each. 15p. Can for a silver plated. For 15p. No, you can't. And it'll last a split second. I remember when Highland Toffees went up to 20p and I was devastated. Ooh. Harsh times, I'm going, it? Yeah, tough times. <laughs> I'm going back to when I was like literally 10. <laughs> <laughs> tough times. Uh, 14.99. Oh my goodness me. And you've got all those different patterns and shapes. Not done there though, says Roscoe. We've got 200 of these available. I mean, this is a, might as well add it to my order kind of price point, oh, isn't it? Oh, totally. Totally. You know you're going to use them. You know, you could just put one of these on like a wish style bracelet, like a corded slider yeah. bracelet. Or with the rose quartz earlier and you nice. do little stretches oh, and yeah, you can lovely. have a single charm on each one. A single... Um, lovely. Finding. What is it called again? Space of bead. There Space we go. Space of bead. Space <laughs> of bead. Love these. It is one of the most useful additions. Oh, yeah. To, to, uh, of the, uh, would you call it a finding? I guess. Yeah, I guess it's so. in the group, isn't in it? In that I would group. Say. Yeah. We had 200 yeah. already. I'm looking at full rows of names, loads of multi buyers, 12.99. Goodness yeah. me. That's not for 10. Do you remember, Jewelry Makers, when we used to do packs of 10 uh, spacer beads? I do. Literally 10 little rounds. Yeah. They weren't the fancy shapes or anything like that. We used to bring you 10 little round spacers, usually about 4 mil, I think they were. And they weren't far off that price. Oh, yeah. And if you knock them off the bed, that's it. They're gone out oh, there. Oh, they're, they're gone. gone. You've lost them. Yeah. yeah. Never going to find them again. I've got 90 spare there. Until you do off. the hoovering. <laughs> I do like that noise though. Yeah, it's very satisfying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, Twelve ninety nine. So we're talking about thirteen p per silver plated spacer bead. Hearts, stars, flowers, moons, butterflies, clovers, yeah. teddy bears, rondelles. I've got to tell you, is it? Oh, Octagons. The, yeah, you've got the um, almost like a textured corrugated kind yeah, of. Yeah, these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those I ones as well. Don't know if you well. can see. Hopefully, yeah, kind of like patterned, almost like a like a Moroccan. Yeah. Lantern or something yeah. like that. Can you see that? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Two hundred were available. How many have gone? 103 have gone. We don't want to sell 103. This should be a one show wonder. Tell you what, let's get it under a tenner. Let's do it. I mean, seriously, then, that's like 10p. It's 10p per finding. And there is a precious metal plating on these. Oh, yeah. The same precious metal plating yeah. that you find in Miss Soma and many yeah. of those big designer brands. That just because they've got the high price tag, we automatically assume that it's solid precious metal yeah. through and through. Not always the case. And I only realised this a couple of weeks ago. It's a little bit crafty, isn't it, actually? It is, because they don't say no. base metal. No. They just say 18 karat gold plated. And I was like, ah, <laughs> what though? I had to pop, I, you know when you have to like, do it, chat with us and the live little thing? I had to do it on there. I was oh. like, it's 18 karat gold plated what? And their response? Did you get kind of blocked? Um, no, <laughs> We're no, not they did reply. I, they did reply. I think they said brass. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'm glad like they replied. That. They did reply. They replied. 
But and I shouldn't have to ask, straight should I? Yeah, well, that's the point, isn't it? I shouldn't have to ask, because nice we would assume £500, that's precious metal. Yeah. Nope, not the case. Um, you're getting beautiful. And there's a place for it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing oh, it. Oh, no, 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 of course There's a not. place for it. Yeah. And there is definitely a pressure, you know. If they <laughs> I'm can not do it, we it. can right. do it. I'm not poo-pooing anything. I'm saying there's a place for it, isn't there? As long as you know that's what it is. £500 a bit excessive though, isn't it? Work £9.99, that's more like it. Well done, everybody. Ooh. Now, after the break, these absolutely insanely beautiful pink pearls are coming your way. I am in love with these. I love these too. That colour is stunning. Isn't it? I don't have anything pink in my pearl collection. You need to rectify that, Charlie. Okay, I'm hoping Eddie's watching. Eddie, if you're watching, Charlie's loving these pearls. Thank you very much, Charlie. Um, no problem. The quality of them is absolutely <laughs> impeccable. They are natural. Did you say nine to ten? Oh. Nine to eleven. See this for me. Knot it on a white silk. Yeah. Put it on a rose gold class. Ooh. How gorgeous is that? Now that's coming up just the other side of the break alongside Charlie's amazing projects. A minute to close, not just your early bird jewelry makers to close everything that we have brought to air this hour and that's on the website. So make sure you're checking them out because they will disappear. Even if you think they're safe in your basket, no, you need to check out. Mm. You can always combine your order later on in the show. Still only one post and packaging all day. Um, so in 40 seconds, we're closing your early bird. We had 200 of them. There's tons of you there. Lots of threes, twos, fours. I'm not surprised I would be doing exactly the same yeah. at 10p per spacer. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, absolutely amazing. And you will use them across all your different mediums, won't you? Oh, easy. Yeah, easily. Definitely. Love it. Love it. Love it. Those insanely beautiful pearls are coming up. Well done on the rosebud pearls as well. There's still one left. The Queen Conk, the Marbe pearls and all the early bird goodies that we've brought you so far. Charlie's Project's coming up um, after the break and those amazing natural pink pearls. So don't miss out. I'm smitten by these. There's 27. Good luck. <laughs> Hi jewellery makers, I'm going to be back on the show this Sunday the 14th of July with the return of the beautiful Quartzite Marlers. So in your PDF with those projects, I'll show you three different methods on how to make a marla. You can either make one in minutes or you can use a traditional knotting technique. And we also have the launch of some beautiful sterling silver gallery wire. So the PDF that will come with those projects will show you how to make a pendant step by step like this one or this one wrapping around a gorgeous cabochon. No soldering required. I'm just going to do some wire wrapping, which I'm very excited to do because it's my favourite thing. So please come and join me if you can this Sunday, the 14th of July on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. As you can see, we are in the beautiful Lake District and just behind me you can see the majestic Lake Windermere. We've just stopped for lunch, so I thought I'd quickly tell you about my next show, which is July the 15th, where I'm going to be joining lovely Elle and Ross and the crew. In the nine o'clock hour, I have got the most beautiful black and green jadeite kits, which come with sterling silver bead stoppers and chain, beautiful metre lengths. And at 12 o'clock, you know I'm a massive fan of selenite. We have got, for the first time, multicoloured selenite bamboo shapes. So that's Monday, 15th of July. Join myself and Elle from 8 o'clock. That's if I decide to come back. See you soon. Bye-bye. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. 
you can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. jewelry makers these pearls are just dreamy do you know what i love about pearls is there's so many different variations out there you know you can get you can get you know your fireballs you can get your buttons you can get your marbays you can get your classic white pearls yeah. you can get rosebud pearls there's so many different varieties out there I, I, that makes them sound like they're abundant they're not abundant but isn't it funny even this far into our love of pearls and I would easily say these are now probably my number one favorite gemstone yeah of course pearls. To be up there aren't they yeah but even now after 25 years I still see strands and go oh gosh they're gorgeous yeah, you definitely. Know. Well, they've got an, an, an alert to them, haven't they? It yeah. doesn't matter which kind of type they are, they do draw you in. They but really I've not do. seen this colour Normie, before. Yeah. Thank you. This is I've what. Not. So, okay, Charlie has literally just said something that prior to us coming live, and our graphics, I don't really care what our graphics say, to be honest. <laughs> um, we've got these down as lavender pearls. I don't think they're lavender. No. I think these are pink. Yeah. I would agree. Which is actually, if you spoke to Charlie, they're the most expensive pearls of all. Colour wise. Mm -hmm. Colour wise. <clears throat> so, not this Charlie. Charlie <laughs> Barron, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know Charlie. <laughs> now, if you spoke to Charlie Barron, pink are the most expensive colour and the most sought after colour. And he knows of what he's pearls. on about, doesn't he? He, he is does, like... yeah. He does. Charlie has actually had to step away from pearls six generations. You just have to step away from pearls because they're so yeah. difficult. Well, he's, he's now dealing in diamonds, sapphires, rubies and emeralds, you know, those kind of gemstones because the pearl world is so expensive at the moment. Yeah. You know, Charlie used to source pearls for your Van Cleef and Arpels, your Cartier, those kind wow. of establishments. But we know the situation with pearls now is has completely changed. They've never been more expensive than they are right now. I've digressed. Seriously, they're this morning... I beelined for these because I've never seen or have you ever heard me describe pearls? I'm not going to, I, I don't want to use the word lavender. I know it'll be on the graphics. I'm going to call these pink pearls. Am I wrong? I think they're pink. They're definitely pink. Maybe with an undertone. Maybe that's what they've picked up pink on. But with, they're pink. pink with a bluish undertone. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah. And I think yeah. on your TV screens, mm -hmm. they do look more lavender. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, they do. On your TV screens, they look more lavender than they actually are. They're more pink. Just gorgeous. Look at that luster. They are divine. And the perfect size, aren't they? they yeah, are the they're perfect. Well, for go through your five virtues. Yeah. Size, these are enormous. They go from nine to 11 mil. Shape. They are, I don't know if we've, we've aired on the side of caution and described them near rounds. I would say they're round. I'd say they're rounds yeah, as well. Yeah, they're round. Um, but we'll over prom, uh, sorry, we'll um, under promise and over deliver, make yes. sure I say it the right way around. 
Then we talk about colour. Oh, well, we've just discussed that at length, haven't we? That beautiful pink that's perfectly matched as well. Because actually, when we're talking the five virtues in the pearl world, it's not just the five virtues. When you're talking about a strand of pearls, it's matching and uniformity as well. Yeah, you need a trained eye for that, don't yeah. you? Yeah, so perfectly matched, beautifully uniformed. Oh, my goodness me, they're insane. Absolutely insane. Then you start talking about... Um, where did I get up to? So we spoke about size, we spoke about shape, we spoke about colour. Then we start talking about the nacre. How much nacre? Nacre. Nacre is the rare precious material that produces your pearl, um, uh, which leads goes hand in hand with your fifth virtue, which is luster. Well, if you haven't got the abundance of the nacre, you're not going to have the luster. That makes well, sense. Yeah. Right. You need a thickness, certain thickness to actually have that mirror-like lust uh -huh. luster. That recording, and bear in mind, we're looking at this on a TV monitor, which is probably the worst possible lighting conditions um, to look at pearls. That's Again, as we've mentioned, Charlie, you used to get quite irate about it. You'd be like, oh, floodlights. Yeah. Hates the floodlights. Yeah. Hates the lighting in the studio. So if you think about it this way, your that is the worst your pearls are ever going to look. They're even better in person. <laughs> they just don't look worse, do they? Oh, no, they're stunning. Shouldn't be in a sentence, should it? They're absolutely... Can, can I just sow this seed? Christine. If I had the budget, I'd be all over these, but unfortunately, I haven't got the budget. I've spent a lot recently. I would knot those with a baby pink silk mm. and put them on a nice, maybe a rose gold clasp. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, Even boys are going, ooh. Yeah, how lovely would that be? Yeah. Can you see it? Can you visualise that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, there are 27 of these. And uh, honestly, if you are a pearl lover, these are what can only be described as dreamy. Yes. Aren't yes, they? definitely. And I'm very envious. I want some. I want some too. Yeah. Husband, if you're watching. Both husbands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> very much love these. <laughs> I don't need two husbands. Very, very, very much loving these. Oh my goodness, look at them. They're absolutely perfection, aren't they? You know, the Yoko of London ones that we've shown previously. They, they, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if a strand like this would be on Yoko of London. Look at them, look how perfect they are. And that's literally on the temporary strand. Oh, yeah. That's literally temporary strand. Wait until you finish, you know, you actually create the piece of jewellery. They would they would blend in on the red carpet, wouldn't they? Or oh. would they show stop? They'd oh. definitely show stop, yeah. wouldn't they? Second one's gone. I've got 27. Yeah. Third one's gone. Yeah, I agree. They are absolutely breathtaking. And I can't remember ever seeing pink pearls. I know our graphics wow. say lavender. It should say lateral pink in my eyes. But, you know, it, I, neither here nor there. They don't always get it right, do they? No. And, you know, it's okay. That it's a, it, that's just my perception. It's, a, it's, like, it's like a pink sapphire and a ruby. That's it all in the eye of the beholder, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it makes sense, yeah. What that gemologist sees. Yeah. Um, now, I will tell you, jewellery makers, from those of you that have already made your confirmations well done they're mm. stunning the deal that these come to air for is incredible absolutely incredible so if you love them as much as i do check out nice and early guarantee your place because they go to an unreal deal they really do swansea you've got yours dorothy you've got yours i've got another swansea and i've got claire it's not five thousand although again you think of Yoko of London, Pearl Paradise, you look at any high-end jewellers, mm -hmm. luxury pearl suppliers, and you, that's a price tag you would see and then some. And then some. It's not unrealistic. It's not pie in the sky. We are the, we are the ones that are so wrong on our pricing, but in the best possible way, yeah, if that makes definitely. sense. We, we benefit from it. Yeah. I don't know anywhere, and this is a genuine hand on heart statement, jewellery makers, I do not know anywhere that will offer you the, the quality of the pearls that jewellery maker does, especially given the current market that we're in yeah. right now. Yeah. Pearls have never been more expensive or inaccessible than they are right now, just because of the global popularity of mm -hmm. them, yeah. particularly in China, which makes up a third of the Earth's yeah. population. So 5,000 is, is more than reasonable. Yoko of London. There you go. 
you could so you could go to Yoko of London. I don't even know if this is still in stock, but the Nobus necklace, freshwater pearls in 18 karat rose gold. Look at the quality of those pearls. It's not the gold that makes up the price tag. It's not even sort of the fine scattering of diamonds that might be in there. That's a 22 and a half thousand pound necklace. Mm. It's the pearls that makes that price tag. Oh, for the sure. uniformity and that pink color. Look at the quality of your pink pearls. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I think that speaks volumes, the fact that we yeah. don't hesitate to put our pearls alongside Yoko of London. Another one that we reference, for a, five, a nine millimeter single pearl, it's currently out of stock though, so it's smaller, they are smaller than your pearls. That's 500 pounds for one single pearl. Doesn't that put it into perspective? We're bringing you a full 38 centimetre strand. Your next price crash. Still, no way near done. So you can buy one pearl from Yoko of London, but they'll email you when it's back in stock. Or you can buy a full 38 centimetre strand from us. All natural quality. And by the way, Yoko of London actually reached out to Dave because they're struggling to source them, as is everywhere in the world. Right. And they're like, where are you getting your pearls from? So they do know us. They know Jewelry Maker. Did you share your secrets? Did he share He's, the He secrets? said, he, he basically, well, you remember our sister channel's about to celebrate their 20th birthday and nothing, they haven't bought a single pearl for that birthday yeah. because 30% of their budget's normally allocated to pearls and airtime, nothing. So actually it was like, I'm having the same issues you do. Uh, jewelry makers, you're very fortunate because our pearl supplier is, is very well connected. But also we only buy, we've got 27, that's all. Yeah. That, that's all. But Yoko of London could make countless of those pendants, oh, couldn't yeah. they? Yeah, For yeah. that. It's absolutely amazing. That means, by the way, 500 per pearl. Mm -hmm. That makes this strand about 7,000 pounds. It's not bad. That's actually not bad. Yeah, I was gonna say it might no, be more. No, it's not, it's more than it. that. That's 7,000 pounds. Shall I count them? Shall I? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 38 natural pink pearls. <gasps> so, that, if you're going off Yoko prices, well, actually, that's about that makes sense, Ross. Nineteen thousand pounds. But you might be thinking, it was a ridiculous sale. Well, I've just showed you a twenty-two and a half thousand pound necklace from Yoko of London. Yeah, you can see their pricing. Oh yeah, I would happily sell a single pink pearl. Yeah for half of what they're selling. Yeah. So what's, what What did we just say that was? 19, 20,000 says you've got. Nine, yeah, 19. Yeah, like nearly 10 grand profit, aren't you, if you sold them individually. Exactly. And you guys have got some lovely bales. So that's exactly what I would do as well, Ross. Simple bale. Yeah. 399 pounds. A simple bale, all about the pink pearl. Yeah. All yeah. about that pink pearl, natural pink, still to this day one of the most sought after and certainly the rarest of colors as well because remember a pearl gets its color from the actual mollusk itself or the oyster itself i can't believe we just said you just said that ross we're at 10 pound 50 per pearl seriously that's unbelievable 10 pound 50 per pearl and only a few oysters will actually produce this color only remember it's a hybrid variety so only a few oysters will actually produce this color that adds to the challenge of actually sourcing your pinks and your lavenders and it also puts up your profit because you can advertise that you can boast that it's a limited edition you aren't going to be able to source these pearls yeah. again there's yeah. only a couple of families that can actually harvest these pearls really in the, in china we're still nowhere near done can you believe that we never were when i referenced <sighs> the price earlier on i i checked because I have my eye on it as well. We're at £10.50 per natural pink pearl. 
but in 60 seconds we go even lower. Everybody pays the final low, jewelry makers. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Phyllis, Brenda, Manchester, Dorothy and Swansea. I've got Vanessa there, another Swansea. I've got Claire there and I've got London there. Jewelers, we know this, we know, we yeah. know this. Jewelers actually do shop from mm -hmm. us, source their pills from us directly. And I, we haven't got a problem with that. They're getting the same price that you are. They'll knot it, they'll put it on an 18 karat gold class. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. You know, there's nothing stopping Yoko of London sourcing their pills from us directly. You know, they'd have to buy them at show prices, which yeah. is still wholesale, I have to yeah. say. Yeah. Still wholesale. They're still, They're still profit, making significant oh, profit. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe they are one of the, the, the jewellers that is. I, we know there are fully established jewellery brands, brands that source their gemstones from us. In 10 seconds, jewellery makers, this is going to one of the most amazing prices. They are dreamy. I've You're, got butterflies. I love them. <laughs> right? you know, just when you think you've seen all the colours that, that yeah. pearls can actually offer you. Yeah. And then it brings out a pearl. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a pow. Oh, my goodness. £6.55 per natural pink pearl. <sighs> When we take you to places like Hong Kong, we, vil we film video footage of literally Dave chatting with pearl suppliers about freshwater pearl strands like this. You know, and she's like, oh, like South Sea. It's the luster, it's the metallic beauty, it's the rarity, it's the size, all those things. Oh, wholesale, 7,000. Wholesale, 5,000. None of them were saying 200. Oh, at any point, did mm -hmm. you hear any of the pearl suppliers that we've spoken to and videoed on all of our trips, any of them go, ah, oh, I tell you what, 249 pounds. Yeah, not yeah. once, not once have I ever seen three figures. I don't think you ever will really, I'll know. No, not, not in the current no. market. No. Pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now. And remember, lots of things will affect the price of your gemstones, supply, demand, all those things. We have literally half the price of one single pearl and what and and giving you 37 yeah. extra on top yeah that's that's madness it's the six pound 55 for me ross six pound 55 per natural pink pearl that's perfection isn't it stunning absolute stunning again imagine that pink silk nice rose gold mm. clasp i'm greedy i'd have to do them individually i would really you? would yeah yeah i would yeah but you're because also I can stretch person. it out so you're th that I mean that's very you're very business. Savvy. Yeah, I, I am business. Savvy, I know yeah. I would get those home and I you would, would keep never them. let them go. No, with you. <laughs> no, I'm like they are mine. Oh, don't get me wrong, um, I have a pair for myself. Oh, but then everyone. <laughs> Seriously though, two hundred and forty nine pounds only. Manchester's got two. Samantha, you've got yours. Christine, Phyllis, Brenda, Dorothy, Claire, Swansea, Ellen, you're there as well. You've got five way split pay. So wait, you can get this home oh. for less than fifty quid. Oh, that's oh, I'm great. I'm tempted, Ross. I'm so yeah, tempted. Yeah, that's really good. So beautiful. Yeah, because you just need to sell one. You catch up with your payments and everything else is after that. They're getting excited. What am I missing? <sighs> yeah, because there's a flurry on the phone lines and the web. Oh. Um, okay, clock to close, jewellery makers. We could have added a zero on the end of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. And that would still be a great price, mm. honestly. £2,499 would still be a great price. I mean, it's £500 for one from Yoko of London. And it's not even, you can't even get it right now. Why? Why is that? Why haven't they got it in stock? Because of access to pills. They yeah, have, they're calling you guys up. They're, they're, yeah, yeah, they're literally reaching out to the likes of Dave. Where yeah. are you getting your pills from? You know, can you help us out? Not really, because actually, if we helped Yoko of London out, then obviously we're not going to be able to bring them for our customers. Exactly. Um, so it's like, well, you can tune into the show. You can buy them from us directly. They might be oh. doing that right now. Who knows? Um, I've got Jay there, Surrey there, Claire there, Cumbria there, Ellen there, Vanessa there, uh, Swansea. Cumbria, you've just checked out. Well done. And I've also got another Swansea there. How many do you have left? Four. So we're over allocated oh. on this. They are stunning. It's that powder pink, which I'm absolutely in love with. Um, well done, jewelry makers. I'll leave those final three with you. Oh, I'm so tempted. <laughs> Now, there's been a little bit of a swapperoo. We've got the Premier Collection happening at 10. Then Dave's joining us for the lavender. Oh, imagine the lavender jadeite with this. <gasps> Ooh. 
The la then the lavender and the bicolour is happening at 11, just so you know. So a little bit of a swap around um, on the oh, show format. But it's all good. It's exciting. Means, that's why we didn't rush these. It means we've got plenty of time with our lovely Charlie. So um, this is stunning and really takes me back, Charlie, because you've got beautiful, almost like gem art. We, do you remember gem art jewellery makers? I don't remember that. You, can you can you? So it was more? basically this crushed gemstones um, where... You're sort of, they're, they're ground down to almost like a powder, aren't yes. they? And then, um, as you, uh, you're about to show us, you can inlay them into yeah. your findings, etc. I didn't realise it was something that we'd done previously. That's mm. interesting, everything. No, we haven't done this. Oh, We've okay. done this, and I'm talking, gosh, about 10 years ago. Right. It's been a long time. Oh, exciting to bring it back Long, then. long, long time. We used to use it in gem art, so almost on pictures and things oh, like that. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Yeah, it's the same sort of thing, just on a smaller scale. On a small, oh, look at yeah. that. Oh, now that is super cute. Charlie, uh, that's literally that's, gem encrusted. Yeah, yeah. Do you know that's the thing? That's the beauty with these. So you can either sand it back and have a nice flat finish. But I, because of the um, little different sections, mm. I've left it rough, so they have that lovely texture because it, it almost gives it a like a real look to it. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, oh yes. Yeah. I wonder if that's cute, isn't it? Yeah, and it sure. catches the light when you move. Um, I'm pretty sure that connector did actually have originally two loops on, that? but I just like the whole, it's fluttering off away into the distance. So I snipped one off and had it on an angle. Oh, it's Charlie. lovely and deep as well. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So I was just turning it on a side profile so you could actually Catch see. that little there, yeah. yeah. Oh, Charlie, that's gorgeous. Now, um, so each of your project comes with the gemstones. Yeah. And then you also get some components don't you to for you to put your crushed gems into that's right and then i i mean i wouldn't even know where to begin with something oh like this. i mean honestly it's really straightforward this is the fun sort of makes that you get you know so sometimes we're very serious with what we're making but with this it adds you it gives you a little bit more freedom and you can be a little bit more expressive so like with the bezel cups i've just kind of it's almost like a tie-dye wish wash where you blend the two together and and you can make oh. some look like it's almost like it's what reconstituted. Yes, yeah, so there's those, there's all the um, earrings. Ooh. There's honestly, there's so much to play with. And I think if you want to um, get your game face on and you do your rings and your butterflies and your sections, great stuff. But if you've not done it before, get yourself some bezel cups and have a play. So in that, that's actually a hematite bead. That's so cool! Isn't it cool? But you can add all sorts of stuff in, like those um, spaces we had in the morning. How cute would that be to have a star and a moon and you could have make a sea scene? So you'd have waves at the bottom and add some of your white gemstones to so maybe like the crest of the wave. There's some lovely, lovely uh, makes here. Loads of gemstones. Oh my goodness, Charlie. That's absolutely awesome. That's brimming. Absolutely brimming to the top with opal. Um, and I think that comes with your triple row uh, ring band. Yeah. So there's, there's, there's loads of freedom with these pieces. Really good I love fun. that and you get masses of it too. Oh, le honestly, I'm not kidding. You will be making for the next 10 years and you could make an inlay piece every single day and I'd, I'd be very surprised if you got to the bottom. Very wow. surprised because okay. you use such a small amount. So if you have any questions for Charlie, uh, of course it comes with mm. the instructions yeah, as well, yeah, it doesn't does. it? Yeah, so, it does. Just um, here. Inlay pendant, so I'm just putting that them? back on there. Yeah, let's quickly show that. Now you've got, what is it, one, two, three, four, oh. yeah, four different projects. I guess the, uh, the, the actual process, I mean, how to is the yeah, same. Yeah, 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 exactly the same. Obviously, you're kind of um, working within a smaller space with these sorts of ones. And then the hummingbird is, is a hollow, it's tummy, it's tummy's empty. So that's quite a big space. And then your bezel cups gives you even more freedom. It's almost like a blank canvas. So, but there's, there's lots of different things. So it'll come with a two part. So you'll have a hardener and a resin. So it's two part resin to one part hardener. Okay. Uh, sorry, wait, have I got that round? That might be the wrong way around. Two parts hardness to one part resin. Just double check your bottle. It's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I've used measuring cups, but if you want to get really scientific, you can use your digis and weigh them out and just make sure it's precise. Yeah. But just read the bottle. Um, always have your gloves on. Work with the window open. Um, you can wear a face mask, but it isn't really essential, to be fair, because it is an eco-friendly product. Um, and it is literally just like painting by numbers. 
So ah. you can just add a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then ah. with the um, bezel cups, I was sent some stones for the 12 o'clock afternoon with some mounts. And I had so many left over. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to drop one in and see what happens. And the um, Larimar rounds has a garnet in the middle. I don't know if you can see that one, Becky. Um, but they literally, I just literally just dropped them in, didn't set them, didn't have a, have a bezel cup or a tube setting or anything like that, literally just popped it in. But what I will say is, because it's a 24 hour cure, you have time to play with it. So I've left a couple oh, okay. here yeah. that where after a while, so you'll use your, um, if you've, once you've stirred, once you've mixed the two parts together, you'll create bubbles and leave it to one side for a few minutes and they'll start to rise. But if you've still got a lot of bubbles in there, you can go in with your uh, heat gun and blow those bubbles out. But what you might find is as the, um, as it, uh, you tittle off and you go do your own thing and you've got 24 hours to cure and you come back and it's all finished, you can touch it, it's nice and hard and shiny and lovely and you're like, ugh. There's an air bubble that's crept in and it's popped up to the surface, but it's not actually broken the seal, so you can still see it. What I would do is, is just use a burr, take that top layer off, then it creates, obviously, the pocket for the bubble, add more resin and you won't even know it was there in the first place. Oh, so honestly, okay. it's, it's foolproof. Wow, loving this. Now, you've got a few different projects. I'm going to start with the butterfly. So, um so here it is you've got your lovely inlays obviously this is charlie's piece here um but a, an amazing connector um and they have these like like little wells don't they yeah that's right yeah 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 little wells that you can put all your um ground gemstones the gemstone selection in these oh, wow yeah if you so love much. your blues then this collection's absolutely amazing because you have i think you'd all spot this straight away you have lapis lazuli and so much of it oh yeah there's loads oh literally everything's blue now um then you have your neon appetite look at that yeah they're and lush. then you have your aquamarine what you'll find it because it's quite it looks powdery but once you add your add it to resin. your resin it gives it a glossy and it really um, highlights and intensifies that colour yeah. so it'll go back to what you used to see in. So what do you think Michelangelo used to paint with that? Never. He used to paint with ground down la uh, lapis lazuli. Well I know the Egyptians did but I didn't know he did. Yeah. Oh that's amazing. I'll look at his paintings in, in the a Sistine whole new Chapel, way now. Isn't it? Yeah. That's amazing. £17.99. pence. The gemstones will go on forever. I've got so much, so much left. I'll never get to the bottom of it. I just won't. And you've got three different types with this one. Yes. Yeah. What do you say, Ross? Mother Mary? That's why she's blue? Because it's the most expensive colour to paint with. So the church would only want the best. Oh, so painted I didn't her with know the blue. That. Probably lapis so lazuli. Because it was lapis lazuli, the most expensive colour. Well, that makes sense. It's very uh, intense. And you get masses of it oh, as well. Oodles of it. Oodles. I've actually kind of recreated making a lapis gemstone just by packing loads in. And how do you get it in the little grooves? Just like, super easy. Um, little toothpick. You're show us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super easy. Wow, wow. Um, loving this. What a lot of fun. And again, you can play with it the different colours fun. too. Yeah, it's not serious. It, and you make a very serious piece of jewellery at the end of it. But it's really fun to play with. Lots of freedom. Can I just say as well, you know, you know the Nan Hong Agate mine is closed mm. and now they're going back and grinding it down. That's what they're creating, this. Ah. So they're creating like gem dust effectively. Right, right, right. Makes sense. Um, because they'll be doing probably this technique. Oh yeah, I would imagine so. so. When, you, when a gemstone is on the verge of depletion, well Nan Hong is deplete, yeah, basically they grind down tiny, you know, pieces that may be too small to actually Waste not, set. Waste not, not. Exactly. They'll turn it into like a gem dust like this. Yeah. Um, and then they'll actually sort of reconstitute. Recreate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reconstitute it. Because yeah. in effect, that's what we're doing. Yeah. You're reconstituting, aren't we? It's the same, it's the same thing, isn't it? It's the yeah. same product, yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Make sure you're checking out everybody. Um, okay, let's now do... Oh, I, it's the one with the opal. Oh, that's the three, three band ring, isn't it? Oh, Is that's that, yeah. gorgeous. I love the opal. Yeah, there's crazy amounts of opal. You wouldn't, there'd be way more than a full strand. If you bought like a 30, 38 centimetre strand of opal, which you don't actually get to you, it's usually much smaller than that. There'll be that much there, there's loads. And then when you actually, again, it's quite, to go from this to this, 
But it does happen, doesn't it, when it's actually oh, put yeah. into resin? Yeah, definitely. So what I've done is I've been, um, I've packed it in, I've almost done it in layers, and then I've picked out all the finest pieces that I like to put in the final top layer. Yeah. So you've got all that depth of the translucent colours of the, of the opal, and then you've got the pow of colour and the light play just wow. across the surface. So it actually, a little, a little goes a long way. So in this project, it's all about opals. So you've got Ethiopian opal, pink opal, and blue opal. Again, absolutely stunning. I found the pink and the blue opal a bit of a treat because it's not something I see very often. No. But when you layer it up, it's got this lovely pastel scene. You know, it's, it's soft, yeah. feminine. And I've not actually done a triple row ring before. It wouldn't have even meant it to me to do that. Yeah. So I like the idea of that. That was yeah. a good one. Is it a triple row all the way around? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So those grooves literally follow yeah. all the way around. So when you're doing a ring and it's all the way like that, I would do half. Yeah. and then go back and do the other half the right. next day. You can push your look and go back in maybe six hours later, but by that point, you'll probably be tired. So yeah, <laughs> just yeah. leave it till the next day. Yeah, do it in sections and yeah. phases. Um, plus, you can guarantee your size, jewellery makers, seventeen ninety nine. I mean, that's amazing for, for the, the actual... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's sterling, shine. that one, yeah. Is that yeah, right? Sterling yeah. silver. Yeah. How amazing. Sterling silver with opals. Beautiful. So pink opal, natural pink opal, natural blue opal, natural Ethiopian opal. Um, okay. Um, single figure quantities of your J, uh, J to K, P to Q, L to M, N to O. Um, amazing. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. If you've not, if you're not a Smith and you don't, it doesn't even enter your head to Smith. You can now. I, you could technically could technically class it as smithing because you're pre preparing a smithed piece right. and then really you're just playing with color yeah that's really what it is it's great fun you do without i mean anyone can do it you know even just a bit of fun with kids on a yeah, weekend exa you know, exactly you can have a play and with it's, it. it's precious gemstones yeah. there as well treasure um treasure yeah literally yeah we used to do something called gem art which is almost like painting with gemstones. Same thing. Yeah, same um, thing. Okay, let's now do the big project, shall we, jewellery makers? Um, this includes the turtle and the butterfly. And a dove. Or is it a dove? My mistake. I thought it was a hummingbird. It could be a hummingbird. Open to interpretation. Yeah, exactly. Whatever you... Uh... So you have... I thought so all of these beautiful colors it is a hummingbird you're right like your frog. you were right <laughs> so you have yeah that yeah there's the hummingbird there's the turtle and here's the butterfly and then you get for seven colors of your crushed gems that you were then Wow, yeah, I think this is going to absolutely fly out. So you can make masses. I've only got 40 available. Um, Charlie's going to show you the technique as well um, of how you actually put this all together. Um, from what I can gather, actually, it seems pretty straightforward. Oh, honestly, Al, it's great fun. It's, it's quite nice to have freedom with jewellery making because sometimes we get so stressed out about yeah. making everything perfect and, you know, counting on all of that jazz. Whereas with this, it's just chill makes yeah, you and know it reminds me a little bit of enameling only mm. only rarer yeah and without the tricky side of it because with enameling it's really easy to burn your colors yeah. whereas this you just literally pile it in leave it to set tomorrow you've got an amazing piece of jewelry oh lovely yeah it's cute isn't it um in terms of the gemstones am i looking at what i think i'm looking at so if i got larimar there Oh. I wasn't sure. I have thought got? it was. Amazonite. Ah. So we've like got the Listros. Yeah. I can see Amethyst. Okay, so Amethyst, Peridot. Okay, can you read about? I think there's Garnet. Rose Quartz. Carnelian. Carnelian. Sorry? Amazonite. Citrine, Citrine and red, red garnet. garnet. It's sometimes a little bit harder to actually decipher Think, when it's in yeah, actually the sort of ground down. What's the colourless one? 
Ah, see, that looks like a pure white. It does, doesn't it? When you grind certain gemstones, they can actually mm -hmm. go, they they, 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 uh, they soften, if you yeah, like. Yeah, they look very different, don't they? But then when you put it in your, your resin, again, it'll yeah. brighten it once more. We're at £69.99. pence. We're not stopping there. Something very different. I love that we're bringing you medi this medium again. Um, good luck, everyone. Again, any questions, do text in. Charlie will show you your techniques as well. And you get your written instructions. Now, seven colours, three of your components. Mounts, I guess, would you call yeah, them? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Not stopping at $69.99. Wow. That's amazing. It is. Just for gemstones, isn't it? Yeah, amazing. Just do so much with it. Who's into sort of uh, the diamond diamond dot painting and things like that? You can do. You can use this for that in the same way. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Diamond dot painting. Diamond dot. So painting. where you basically it's like little crystals that you put on the. Side. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Huge yeah. on our sister Cute. channel. Yeah, you, you can could do, do this with the genuine gemstones yeah, as well. Yeah, you can. Um, Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Um, you get three of your pendants or charms and then you get the seven colours. Again, any questions, then do check it, uh, do text in. Uh, Buckinghamshire, Cheryl, Maker in Oxfordshire, Mary and Jerry at Kent, Fife, Rachel, Maker, Gloucestershire, Maker, Oxfordshire. Well done, there's people multi-buying on this too. We are effectively, I mean, for want of a better description, it's kind of like reconstitution, I suppose. Yeah, it is. It's that sort of, it's that sort of thinking, isn't it? And I think a little goes a long way. And in a, in a world yeah. where we've been very wasteful, I think there's a fantastic way of using up pieces that you maybe wouldn't necessarily because you can't set that in a stud no. just with a prong so no. it's nice to give you that um flexibility so what i sort of talk you through is just the bezel cuts and then once you've found this i'll show you a little bit with the chevron ring although this that isn't here so i wonder if that's sold out did that oh, sell out no, the sh oh, do I, have know, that I have got a chevron ring oh okay Coming right okay so we'll, right. we'll come to that as well so cool. First thing I would say, obviously the information is in the instructions as well, so just have a read through of that first. So I would clean my bezel cups first and make sure it all there's no um, foreign bodies in there. Um, last thing you want is your cat hair in there when you're halfway oh, through, yeah. you know, when they creep across the desk or, a, or an eyelash or something. So when you're starting off, because you've got a lip around the outside edge, I would use, I've already got some made up because you don't want to watch me stirring resin, that would be really boring. Um, but I would just load up my toothpick and when I come in, this is just a chalk, um, chalk of wood with a bit of tape on upside down so that I can stick my bezel cups to it so that you don't knock it over. So I've got a little bit of resin on my uh, toothpick and what I would do is just add a little bit there to the center and just get it off been sitting around a minute so it's starting to set already and what I would do is is first brush your toothpick all the way around the edge and because I'm on a chalk I can move it around and the reason why I do that is is because when you come to putting your gemstones in it will create um, air bubbles so as you push the gemstone to the edge the air will force out but you'll have bubbles and really you don't want them in there so you'll go all the way around and make sure you've gone right to the edge and then after that, it is simply just a case. Now these hooks, I've literally just moved to the side um, so that they don't get in the way. So I would reload my toothpick just to make sure it actually picks up some of your crushed gemstones. And I would roll it in. Okay, so we've got a nice amount there and you can literally just add it in. Now if you do get stuck, add a second toothpick and use it like a scrape and then you can just add it on and if you like you can come in with different gemstones so if I pinch sorry can I have a, uh, a different colour any colour just any anything, colour. anything, anything, anything. Give you the and we can add it up thank the you blue opal. why not so I'm going to load up my pretty. toothpick again it is pretty and once it's built up in a few layers it the colour is really quite obvious so I'm just going to keep adding that in and as you build it up you can almost have like a pattern so you could make a whole scene out of it and if you wanted to you could add like your little space of beads you could have a little moon over here or a little star over there 
um, and we'll just keep adding and keep going and going and going now these bezel cups are really quite slim so it really doesn't take much filling but then when you go to your deeper bezel cups the ones that almost look like watches you'll be able to pack in loads of gemstones and really create a deep intense rich color so i'm getting stuck there so you just add a bit more on use a second toothpick to add more and now if you've got a bit of mess on the edge like i have there once you've finished packing it all in you can use a baby wipe and just use a baby wipe stick your um, toothpick into your baby wipe so you tear a tiny bit off and then run around the outside and that'll clean it up super easy honestly is that it guys is that easy guys you can you can't go wrong so if i left that you could actually have a half filled and it's almost the copper contrasts against the i think i've used the larimar and when you come to the i'm just going to jump forward to the other project that you guys have got just because it's sat right next to me this is what i demoed with last time what i've done is because the space is narrower and it's got a grip underneath because it's textures and it's cleaned up what i would do is select certain stones so i'm just going to pick out a nice one so that one's got a lovely rich color and you can place it in almost like a jigsaw and fill the empty space we'll have a bit of that and we'll have maybe excuse me one second this blue here and then add that blue in there and you just keep going now when you um get to the end and you've you've filled the whole chevron shape or the um three three row one you can then go back in and fill the empty space with more resin or if you've been doing like um any sort of polymer clay work and you've got mica powders just a little sneaky oh, tip yeah, you can add, add your mica yeah so you can almost get the look of maybe turquoise and you could mottle it in with gold or silver or whatever and create your own marbling within that ring and it's going to be so unique no one else will have that and that yeah. is literally it i love it so easy i mean because this is a, is a, is a, um, the focal is at the top i've left it raw and rough so i quite like that look of it um but with the three row ring what i've done is packed it in packed it in really tight oh, got just loads and loads yeah. of gemstones in sanded it all the way around nice and smooth and then i've done a final overlay with a paintbrush overlay all the way around and when it rubs in between your fingers oh, it's nice gorgeous. and smooth and lovely it's a very subtle very feminine inlay ring i would say yeah that's gorgeous but you could also if you've got the other kits you can umph it, it up it gives you kind of like mosaic vibes yes, doesn't it, does, it? a yeah. little bit there's the japanese thing where they where they stick broken vows back together i've forgotten what it's yeah. called it's that sort of look and actually that sells really well people yeah. love that organic look it's a very hot thing right now like you said earlier on this is one of your most popular it is it's my best selling product yeah i sell them every week yeah i'm not surprised yeah. Um, loving that and the fact that we could really you could we could 25 all pounds is mental in it sorry Elle. what's that 25 pounds 24 yeah, 99 that is a crazy price for the price. amount that you're getting as well Definitely. and the selection of colors oh yeah i mean i sell my inlay rings between 150 and 200 quid yeah. so you know for the sake of 25 pounds which you're going to make at least 100 150 rings out of yeah there's some coin in it yeah there is some coin in absolutely. it. absolutely well done it, everybody look thank you charlie that's, that's absolutely right. awesome it's almost so easy it seems a bit like i've not given you enough time but if you have any questions just well, no, let me it's know because there is that you know it, it's it's not just a case of just lob it in you've got to do it detail yeah. you've got and to you take can your time be as precise as you want or yeah. you can pack it in and be as slapdash as you like and see what happens yeah give it a go there you go and remember with your purchase of your project you are able to download charlie's instructions um, they're available upon dispatch of your order they so um, amazing well done now becoming quite limited i've still got one more project to bring you i think still got the wishbone ring to do i think this was really popular yeah, yeah. love yeah. the wishbone so again we're seeing more and more actually wishbone rings yeah. coming back into fashion yeah. they're great with solitaires yeah aren't they? Ooh, yeah because your solitaire kind of sits nicely in the wishbone design oh how lovely would that be if you've got two of these oh yeah two yeah two of these yeah, yeah. Um, we've only got 30 yeah. available so this comes with larimar wow yeah i thought there was larimar yeah she did spot it 
Amazing. One location or gemstone. Wait until you see the price point of this amazing project. Beautiful Laramite. It's and quite it's distinctive. Sterling, I think, as well. Still sterling silver. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah. That's a silver ring. Yeah. And it's substantial. It's not it's not a flimsy, skinny little ring. It's it's got a lovely band, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, See, this is what go. I mean. It sits lovely with a solitaire. Yeah. Yes. You can't go wrong. I mean, you could pack that with opal. You could, yeah. If you mix and match the kits, that would be very handy to do because you get a nice... What about some of our diamond nugget strands? Oh, yes. Yeah, now with that, actually, you could kind of wiggle open the space and then tighten it either side so it almost looks like you've set it. Yeah. You wouldn't even need to add the resin. You'd literally just use your burnisher and save your gemstones and your resin for all the stuff. Amazing. I Good love shout it. Out. Well done. Look, look, and you've got all that sterling silver. Um, RTS is sold out. Peter Q's limited. JTK yeah. is limited. But you know what? It, you can resize it. You can easily resize oh, easy. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Not a problem. Um, and you get all that lovely Larimar as well. Um, hi, Linda saying, Charlie, you are brilliant. Oh. A proper Yorkshire <laughs> lass who has given me so much confidence to try oh, something new. I'm oh, I'm so pleased. Oh. That's wonderful. That's what makes the world go around, doesn't it? Learning and loving. What, Yorkshire lasses? Oh, Yorkshire lasses make the world go around. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> why. <laughs> Um, Thank she, you. Uh, tiny way of saying you, uh, you are really good at this telly roll, oh. Charlie. <laughs> she is good, isn't she? Thank you very much. Thank you. That means yeah. a lot. Loving oh, you that. look so lovely. Yeah, they are. Uh, is that a York? Give us a Yorkshire expression. Uh, uh, Sorry, I'm putting you on the spot there. A little bit, yeah. Can I have Sorry. a pint? <laughs> Can I have a pint? Can I do? I like that catchphrase. Yorkshire like puss, you want Yorkshire puss for your dinner? I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't Sorry, do that. Sorry, that's me throwing you literally <laughs> don't do into that. the deep end. <laughs> She's so good at this telly lark, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, I did just throw you in the deep end. Twelve ninety nine. Give us a Yorkshire expression, Charlie. I'll think Charlie. of loads on the way home now. Yeah, wow, probably. You can, I do it as well. I do that as well. <laughs> it's like when someone asks you a question, you're like, oh. I'm not good on the spot. No, no, You have me. to give me a minute to think. Yeah. Now, again, going back to one. the fact that this is sort of uh, um, beautifully, it's ground down rare gemstones. Yeah. Um, again, and I referenced, didn't I, the uh, Nan Hong. Mm. Nan Hong, they are literally doing exactly this and the different sort of levels of, uh, of, of grinding, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and then what, most likely they'll, it'll be the process that Charlie's just demonstrated how we'll see them moving forward. It's a good thing, it's kind to the planet, isn't it? If you imagine, like, there's an awful lot of waste when we cut gemstones, when we mine it, and there's some maybe that you wouldn't want to facet or wouldn't want yeah. in this shape. So in a world where we're very wasteful, this is a wonderful project, and you can push that and promote it, and that's what I do, and it's, it's a big part of the appeal to that particular piece Absolutely. of jewellery. Yeah. Waste not, want not, you know? Absolutely, yeah. And, and again, yes, yeah, so you get that same quality, Yes, it's reconstituted oh, yeah. together, yeah. but you get the same beautiful quality. Yeah, I love it. Um, amazing. Lovely Lawrence passing oh, me. Yeah, there we go. Um, some of our amazing resin. It's very easy resin work. I used to be quite scared of resin. Oh, no. As in, because it used to be very precise. You yeah. have to measure it to like the point, decimal now, point. I would say if you're doing on a, a massive scale, like you're doing like a resin top work, uh, um, dining table or a chopping board or things like that I would be extremely precise um, and because it's an eco-friendly product I'm pretty sure it is food safe don't guarantee that but I think it is um, you just have to double check but it's um, it's again resin is actually made from waste material like mm. junk literally junk and they make it so refined it comes out crystal clear it's like glass yeah really good stuff is it two, yeah, two part hardener to one part resin and a little goes a really, really long way. I've barely touched mine. Really? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So if you're wondering why you have um, a larger resin to your hardener, it's because, so which one? What oh, hang on a minute, that's the wrong way around then, is it? So it's double resin. Two part to resin harder. to one hardener. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, mix it together, literally the cocktail stick. Yep, or a, or a lollipop stick, yep. or you can use shot glasses and just mark a H and an R so you know which one's which. Um, because then if you do need to make more up, you can just re 
add to the There's pot so you've already got. There's so much you can do with resin as well. Because, yeah, you know, is. if you think about, um, you might have keepsakes, for example. Yeah. Um, it's very popular with yeah. sort of memorial yes. jewellery as well. Yeah, um, so. You know, uh, um, pet, uh, pet uh, hair, cremations, hair, hair things yeah. like that. Teeth, people are a little bit odd. I've had one lady ask for breast milk. That was a bit weird. But what, each in to the resin? Room. Yeah. Does it mix? Yeah, yeah, it's weird. So you kind of have to layer it. You know, because it's like, um, I can't even describe it to you. It's like, a, it's like no other, mix. once they've dried it out, it's a weird, I can't, I can't explain. Oh, okay, so dried out breast milk. Yes. Right, And okay. then they will have a, like, I know each to their own, right? I'm not going <laughs> to lie, I didn't enjoy working with it, no. to be fair. Yeah. But I have had lovely ones, like I had um, a couple that both rode horses and they wanted each other's horse hair in oh, their rings, very their nice. wedding rings. So that was cute, bit of braiding as well. Yeah, I love strange. that. Absolutely. You did hear that right, yeah, something yeah. wanted breast milk yeah. in there. Yeah. I don't, I personally could, don't get it. I mean, I just, like, mm, but no. she loved it. So. But you could, you could do things like uh, um, photographs, of course. You yes, could actually course. shoot down and put resin over yeah. the top of photographs. And um, that's a nice idea. I know that, I know that uh, our lost loved ones, it, yeah. ashes and jewellery. That's it. I think that's a nice idea, yeah. isn't it? Just uh, And rose, to, rose petals. My yes. nan had a rose bush and obviously the house got sold. But and my, all my cuttings died, but I did have some rose petals left. So you dry them out and add them in, what and you nice just idea. window charm and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can put anything in it. Yeah, as long as it's not wet, wet. it needs to yeah. be dry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it needs to be dry. Um, again, so you get both of these. I'm going to buy them separately. Oh, yeah, you see lots of them on YouTube and things like that, don't you? That like, there's one um, hugely uh, popular. Yeah, where they're using pennies in their hallway. Yeah, that looks great. Have you seen that? Yeah, where just like copper pennies laying it onto their hallway. Well, that's the other thing, actually. Yeah, well, it doesn't oxidize either. So if you make your pennies really, really shiny, they will stay really, really shiny because the air can't get to it. Cool. So yeah, some really clever stuff out there. Really very, very stuff. cool. Twenty nine ninety nine, and again, going back in the day when we first, well, we didn't have jewelry maker resin when we didn't make it ourselves. Um, it was quite expensive. Oh yeah, yeah. Resin was quite expensive. Clearly not the case today, though. Um, great for, like we said, keepsake jewelry mm -hmm. as well. Um, amazing, absolutely amazing. Make sure you're checking out everybody. It might be, I don't know, you go on holiday and you just want to keep, you might you might do... Bring a shell back and you want to protect it so it doesn't chip. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You might, um, yeah, maybe your bridal bouquet, you could press some flowers. Oh, yes, you could do put that. Put those in there as well. Yeah. Flower presses, they're big again, aren't they? If you get, yeah, they are actually, yeah, they are um, booming at the minute. You can get resin moulds. I'm pretty sure Jewelry Maker have got yeah, some resin moulds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can do the whole um, Beauty and the Beast oh. and have a full rose head in there and just How slowly lovely. fill it up around and there's loads of resin it lasts for ages it is everywhere at the moment i looked the other day and there's like letters of the alphabet so you could get like uh, your initials c for c for charlie and then willow and had you could literally put uh, tiggy you could put like flowers Cute. in there as well they're Keychains gorgeous and things yeah, yeah gorgeous yeah. we'll try 99 make sure you're checking out everybody congratulations and again any questions do um yeah, instructions do. are on the reverse as well aren't they yes okay so um, I yeah. think it's fairly yeah. obvious when you're talking about sort of uh, um, a product like this. Obviously, you'd still be mindful. Maybe yep. use your gloves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you don't want it on your skin. Do you know what? If you do get it on your, don't get it on your clothes. It'll never come off. Um, right. If you do get it on your skin, just a bit of um, acetone will take it off. You right. know, because it is gnarly stuff. It takes three ages to wash it off. Um, okay. But you don't want to breathe it in. But to be honest, it's really not that strong, and you use such a small I amount. I couldn't smell it. Then. Not really. No, it's really not that bad, is it? No, um, just a ventilated <clears throat> room. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Um, and we've got a couple of questions for you yeah, as well, Charlie. Do. So, uh, twenty nine ninety nine gets you both. Uh, hi, Gloria. Did you mean? Oh. Oh Kint yes, clever Kint girl. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Kintsugi. Kint. Kint Google, Google Translate. Charlie. Do the thingy. Yes, that's it. You bang on right. That's exactly what you talk, we're talking what, about, Gloria. What is Kint Sugi? It's beautiful. So when they have those massive, beautiful vases and the unfortunate happens and they break, yeah. what they'll do is they'll use, I'm pretty sure it's like glue and gold, isn't it, Gloria? I could be wrong. Um, and they put it back together and use it almost like a, like a filler. Oh, 
okay. So you've still got your beautiful pieces. Um, I mean, if you buy a piece of um, homeware that's made with that technique, yes, thank you, Gloria. Um, really expensive pieces. Is it? Yeah. Uh, hi, Caroline. Saying why? Uh, why can't you put the gem chips in first and then pour the resin over? Because you create a bubble. So what you'll find is I'll show you actually. So if I let's fill that here. So those are gem crystals. You just yeah. put that in. It's a good uh, question. That is, Caroline. I've got here no we go. On. In fact, hang on. Let's just use this stuff because I've not because I'm not going to mix it. So if I put that on there. One, I've made a right mess, and two, it just kind of bleh, over the yeah, top. I suppose there's lots of air in between yes, those gemstones. That's right. There? So as it starts to seep around the edges of your gemstones, you can have empty space. So you can do it that way. If you're not going to sand it back, you're welcome to do it that way. There is a lot of freedom with it, but I would just make life easy for yourself and not have to go back do and layers. do all the finishing work. Yeah, layers is better. It's like if you like, I remember doing a bigger um, resin show alongside Linda and same when she was adding things like um, gold leaf and mica mm. powders and things like that. She was doing it progressively, layer by layer by layer. You get a better finish, to be honest. It yeah. just looks better. Um, and also, you, at the bottom is going to cure slower than what's at the top so just because you think your piece is nice and solid when you come to mess around with it or play with it or whatever you might find you'll squish it and resin squ squirts out the side because it's yeah. not quite got to the bottom and i yet. suppose you also want it to stick yeah you whereas yeah. There, there's, that's going to purchase less isn't yeah, it because there's right. less of it actually on the um on the basil cup itself um yeah that's a good question though thank yeah, you so question. much caroline for raising that any other questions for our charlie Yes, uh, Dorset, Charlie said, uh, Charlie, would enamel powders work instead of the gemstones? Do you know what? I don't enamel, so, but I would err on the, I would err on the side of caution with that because enamel, um, unless it's cold enamel, that might actually work. But if it's enamel that you need to put in, <laughs> in a proper yeah. oven, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how well Yeah, you have work. to heat enamel, don't yeah. you? Yeah, and it's, it's very tricky getting that right. You burn it very quickly, especially your reds. Yeah. Um, mica powder definitely works with the resin. Yeah, though. it does. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hello to Elsa. Say, morning, Charlie. I bought this kit last time and I filled a silver spoon bowl with lapis and resin. Um, and it's a bit tacky. Where did I go wrong? Right. So your measurements might be slightly out, but I will give you a little bit of a tip. If you if it feels hard, but the surface is slightly tacky, if you're doing it in a really warm room and it, or it's really hot outside, it will go tacky. Um, but you can actually run it under cold water and pop it in the windowsill, let it dry out naturally, and it will just solidify that top. Yeah, oh. it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't like I've water. I've heard that but a few times before. About it being tacky. Yeah. Yeah, well, quite often it can be room temperature or the temperature of your piece or the temperature of even your resin. Um, so, yeah, and also the measurements. So just, just double back on yourself and, and be a little bit more precise with how you weigh it out. And if you still end up with the tacky result, Run it under some cold water, pop it in windowsill, have a touch, and it should be all right. There you go, top mm. tip. Hot weather's terrible for it. Yeah, okay. Wendy in Cambridge is saying, uh, what do you sand it with, please? Oh, sorry, just normal sanding sticks and do it as you uh, smithing world, but you don't actually go, have to go as fine because you can do a final overlay of resin. So any of the scratch marks that you may have made. So you start with your harder grit, so because it's a gemstone, maybe 250, something like that and work your way um, up the scale, isn't it, um, with sandpaper. But yeah, just do an overlay, a, a resin overlay top, and it'll get rid of all those sand, um, pat sanding grooves that you get. <coughs> Fill them in, won't mm -hmm. it, basically? Just mind um, be mindful of plated. Okay. So yeah, be yeah. gentle you with your plated. Yeah, you don't you want to don't take want your to plating off. off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Catriona saying, um, what's the working time with the resin, please? So at home, you could probably get an hour, maybe two hours at a push if your workshop is cold or you're in a cold space. Here, when I squeeze out what's already mixed, so it stays fine because it's in the bottle, but when I've squeezed it out and put it on here, within about half an hour, it's already curing and going gloopy. But I think that's more to do with the lights here. Yeah. The lights are unbearable sometimes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you get a couple of hours. Don't so wander off and make dinner and then come back to it because it'll pretty much have set by the time you've done yeah, that. Yeah, so, but there is definitely working Room for, time. Yeah, yeah, though, yeah, definitely yeah. work time. Um, also, a few of you have messaged in yeah ashes yeah we spoke about that memorial jewelry yeah i think that's a lovely idea 
Yeah, it's yes. a lovely idea, and I know there's a couple of uh, designers who've also done memorial jewellery. You know, it's, it's, it's a nice, and you only need a tiny amount, don't you? Very small amount, and each to their own. So some customers may want to see the ashes. So obviously you would work with it so that you can see the ashes. Clear. A lot of people don't want to see it. They just want to know they're in there. So I would yeah. do a layer, a, um, resin the bottom first, then add your ashes and then put another layer of resin yeah. over the top just to make a sandwich almost, seal it in and then do all your nice stuff on top. Yeah, yeah. You could put Customer their birthstone dependent. on top, couldn't yeah. you, or something like Anything that. Anything like that, baby pet, curl. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Pet, pet uh, um, ashes again is um is beautiful natalie hello they're so pretty oh, stunning work as natalie. always from our lovely guest designer she's natalie lovely she's well. with you on sunday actually she's got some right projects coming up oh yeah. looking you, forward natalie. to that thank you charlie Mine's you're right. amazing um now we've still got so much to bring you out your premiere collection coming your way <coughs> oh, excuse that's me you. then you've got um uh, dave stepping into the studio at um, 11 o'clock we're going to hear more from Natalie actually in the break so don't go anywhere we'll see you after this hi jewelry makers I'm going to be back on the show this Sunday the 14th of July with the return of the beautiful quartzite molars so in your PDF with those projects, I'll show you three different methods on how to make a mala. You can either make one in minutes or you can use a traditional knotting technique. And we also have the launch of some beautiful sterling silver gallery wire. So the PDF that will come with those projects will show you how to make a pendant step by step like this one or this one wrapping around a gorgeous cabochon no soldering required i'm just going to do some wire wrapping which i'm very excited to do because it's my favorite thing so please come and join me if you can this sunday the 14th of july on jewelry maker Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. As you can see, we are in the beautiful Lake District and just behind me, you can see the majestic Lake Windermere. We've just stopped for lunch, so I thought I'd quickly tell you about my next show, which is July the 15th, where I'm gonna be joining lovely Elle and Ross and the crew. In the nine o'clock hour, I have got the most beautiful black and green jadeite kits, which come with sterling silver bead stoppers and chain, beautiful meter lengths, and at 12 o'clock, you know I'm a massive fan of selenite. We have got, for the first time, multicoloured selenite bamboo shapes. So that's Monday, 15th of July. Join myself and Elle from 8 o'clock. That's if I decide to come back. See you soon. Bye-bye. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer.
welcome back jewelry makers wasn't that great i love little techniques like that fun stuff yeah, yeah. fun and something we don't see all the time so it's a bit different yeah, it's a little treat yeah a little colorful that. treat and as you said earlier on charlie incredibly incredibly popular with your customers oh yeah massively so yeah massively so it's, it's a very big trend and i mean you can you will notice it lots of people do do it but it you know a little bit of practice and you'll nail it and you'll perfect that. yeah well done now we've still got so much to bring you this wednesday morning a lovely jewelry makers so again just a little swap dave is joining us at 11 which means we're going to bring you some of what's that all oh, right um dave's coming at 11 where he's bringing you bi-colored natural jadeite Ooh. it's a fusion of beautiful sort of chocolate browns and lime colors nice i love 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 that strand and then the only strand of lavender jadeite that we have in the entire business. And the lavender color is absolutely amazing. So those are happening at 11 now, as opposed to 10. I know you're thinking now, oh, it's not 10 now. Yeah, that was because we just didn't want to rush Charlie. So, um, so it does mean that I'm gonna be bringing you some of your premiere collection now. Oh, and these are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We have your Tanzanite, Zavarite, and Zoocyte strand. We have, which is brand new, we have these amazing pearls to bring you, natural ombre and white, Ooh. freshwater pearls. Um, we have some sterling silver slider bracelets to bring you, aquamarine to bring you, more natural strawberry quartz to bring you all premier opportunities we've got some of the rare um orange botswana to bring you as well turquoise to bring you all premieres jewelry makers never been on our screens previously before so they're brand new super excited yeah, yeah. i think a lot of these will be on and gone in one auction because of the quality of the gemstones. And, and, and some of these I've not seen in, gosh, I don't know how long. Orange Botswana, sometimes mm. referred to as Sunset Botswana. Love it, it's certainly one of the most uh, desirable. What would you like me to start with then, Roscoe? I do have the turquoise, I've been eyeing up this turquoise. Have you yeah. seen the shape of them? Faceted cubes. Oh, cute. This is so lovely. Brand new, use this with your sunset uh, Botswana because that's like an orangey colour. Yeah. Stunning, undeniably amazing quality turquoise. You're looking for that robin egg blue jewellery makers. Um, these are cubes, but they're a soft cube because they've got like a chamfered edge. That's special, isn't it? Because you don't really get that with turquoise. It's no. always smooth, isn't it? It's always like smooth. have that cube shape. It's like so there's show a facet. stopping. Yeah. There's an actual facet to them as well. That's a All treat. brand new premiere. So yeah, cubes actually doesn't do it justice. It's a chamfered cube. You should have really wrote the name for that, shouldn't you? Thanks. Yeah. Which I imagine is even harder to actually cut because, it, like you said, it's an extra. It's an extra facet. Yeah. So um, just to give you a heads up, these are quite limited. So if you see something you love, grab it. How many do I have of these? Okay, mm. less than 20. It's that limited. Very limited. You can literally just put these on like a silver featherweight head pin. Oh. Can you imagine that? Very Tiffany's. Beautiful. Just one single. And a climber. Uh, a dangle and a climber. Oh, gorgeous. Ooh. Amazing. Energy. Yeah, because turquoise is one of those gemstones that everybody knows immediately oh, yeah. and everyone absolutely loves. Yeah. But it is also expensive because it's very rare. Um, forms in very dry and arid, arid areas. At £149, it's not your price. Ooh. Ooh. That's a big drop. That's a great I've got drop. 20 though, jewellery makers, that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. 20 available opportunities we're at 30 pounds for turquoise but again if i hold it out i don't know if you can actually see those beautiful beautiful facets along see what i mean it's not just a cube yeah. it's a chamfered cube hang on a minute oh. hang on a minute i know it's mid-morning this is a brand new collection we're going to start with a bang 20 pounds Cast your mind back, jewellery makers, we'd have never brought a strand like this for 20 quid. 
This it's a long strand too. This one would have been what do you reckon, Ross? Seventy nine, eighty nine, maybe. Mm. Um, it's the final three opportunities. It's going to be on and gone. Yeah, do you want to oh, make, make sure you check it out, everybody? Well done, well done, well done. Okay. Lapis mm. lazuli. All brand new premiere opportunities. This would work in your technique that you've just demonstrated there, Charlie. Do you know you could pop those in the chevron, like with your mm -hmm. idea with the with the raw diamonds. Use those ones instead. Yeah, nice. And create little pockets for them. Creates yeah, bulk then, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah nice. Uh, Nineteen ninety nine. Totally natural. That cobalt blue. We love that. Um, yeah, I love that. I've learned something today with with uh, Mary. Yeah. Learned something yeah. today from our Roscoe. Two pound ninety nine. Oh, did you miss yeah. a digit, Ross? He's like, I do not make mistakes. <laughs> Two ninety nine. Seriously, look at that. By definition of cobalt blue, that's what your lapis lazuli should look like. That wonderful vibrance. Rich. Ooh, blue but the then with dustings depth. of those sort yes. of pyrite inclusions yeah. within it goes hand in hand i'm going to say with charlie's first project as well mm, definitely but micro gems i mean we had jan here the other day yeah and she's a massive advocator of the micro yeah. gemstones hello jan if you're watching yeah. um you know just putting little little punctuations maybe in between in fact i'll grab it imagine this oh little, little, i'm not a great gemstone knotter so you can literally just pop some of your lapis lazuli yes. dot them in between yeah definitely stunning absolutely stunning i've only got 14 of them left no i haven't i've only got 10. you need to be quick with this premiere yeah, so collection cute. jewelry makers they're all brand new never been seen before carol shirley fife uh lelly lucy hello to you angela jacqueline maddie hello to you donna uh hampshire congratulations down to the final one make sure you check out make sure you check out your baskets oh what about a lapis lazuli tassel Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, black obsidian, totally natural. Here we go. Natural black obsidian. So it's a type of volcanic glass, basically, and um, how quickly it cools equates to how deep that color is, or if there are any other colors. Already immediately down to the last seven of them. Not stopping there though, jewellery makers. Oh, it's going to be an on and gone, on and gone. Yeah. You've got to be fast round here, don't fast you? Fast and pacey. Yeah. Especially at that price. Yeah. It's a genuine gemstone. And it's 38 centimetre strand, Ross. What are you doing? What are you doing? He says I'm going mad. Gents love obsidian, don't they? Yeah. Sells really well in gents' bracelets. Add a bit of leather. Yeah. Because I think it. you could go the whole Game of Thrones story. Oh, yeah, you could. I can't actually watch that, but I do know what it is. You've never I watched know, Game of Thrones. I know. I've lived under a rock, haven't I? <laughs> I do, you either... You either it's, it's one of those as well. People are either massively into it or just not interested in it at all. I imagine I'd like it. Oh, but it's good. A bit saucy, though, isn't it? It is a bit saucy, a bit saucy in saucy. places, yeah, absolutely. And gruesome. Oh, is it? Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is a bit Rudy Tudy in places, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everybody. Yeah, a bit questionable at times. Um, oh, back to your micro gemstones. <laughs> um, it's good, though. It is good. Oh, look at these. They're pristine. These are absolutely immaculate. They have a sparkle inside, don't they? Yeah. One price crash. Straight down to it, the sparkle. Oh, Four pounds and 99 pence only. Can I just, just throw this one out there? Let's put them together. Ooh, you're They'd on be lovely, fire wouldn't they? today, Elle. I mean, it's fire. it's not me. It's just like, these amazing gemstone strands that I'm surrounded oh. by. You can't beat clear quartz with pearls, no. can you? No, you can't. It just goes hand in hand. How many do we have, Ross? Do we have? Oh, three. That's how many I've got. Three. This could be a that strand, couldn't it? You know, yeah. when we talk about the, the clear gemstones like your topaz, your zircons, mm. your quartz, that have been labelled that where they've been like massive auctions yeah. um and they weren't 4.99 by the way no and here we are bringing you that quality 
I mean, at under a fiver. Say something that tiny. How do you do even do that? It's harder. I, I have no, I have no idea. When we yes, first so really, introduced, it should be far more expensive. Yeah, when we first introduced micro gemstones, they were more expensive than the larger sizes. Makes sense because it's more intricate. Yeah, you've got to facet it and drill it. Ooh. I'm glad that's not I, my job. Yeah, me. <laughs> I don't have the patience. No. I wouldn't be able to do All it. All the fingertips. Um, I love this strand. Absolutely love it. If you're looking for your summertime wardrobe, this is meant to brighten up as well, isn't it, over the next week or so? Those do, yeah. Fingers crossed. Because we've got so. a barbecue on Sunday. Yeah, we've got Yorkshire Show Friday. Yeah. <sighs> You don't, bring you don't. on the summer. Bring on the summer. Not me barbecuing. Oh, uh, are you just the eating? I'm, a, I'm, I'm eating said That's barbecue, great. yeah. Don't want to exactly. be in control of that barbecue. No. I love those shapes. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Loving these. So, yeah, we described them as your faceted tumbles. This is your Sunset Botswana, widely considered as one of the more, uh, the rare varieties. Totally mm. natural. Love it. I didn't know until, I think, this year. The Botswana was the one locational gemstone. Yeah, I did. Well, I mean, the clue's in the name, isn't it? It is. But, yeah. It, yeah, but saying that, it can sometimes be, you know, if you think about Santa Maria, there's not always Santa Maria oh. location now. Okay. So it could just be that. Oh. I, I, I just like buying pretty things, to be honest. It's You're gorgeous, the font of isn't knowledge. it? I like the stripy one. Yeah, cool. Yeah. How many do we have, Ross? Down to the last 11. You're loving this one. We haven't seen it in a while, jewelry makers, no. have we? We had a showcase. We had like a relaunch of Botswana Agate. Then you had like the salmon colours, the orange colours, and the sort of neutral tones. Um, and then that was it. Sold out. Poof, gone. 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 Yeah, don't last it, long, does it? Long? Yeah, yeah, but that's one locational. That's why it's literally like a sunset. This one, as the name suggests. I keep reaching for these pearls, but those would be nice together, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. You could just pick out one, couldn't you? And I'd have it as a focal on a bracelet. Mm. Just just the one. Or you can go to town. Yeah. Buy a couple. Yeah. Have a nice heavy, yeah, heavy big. necklace. Yeah. yeah, why not? Why not? I've got 11 left, jewellery makers. These pearls are a big mega deal at the top of the hour. Mega deal. I feel like I should have like a Michael Wolf. You should really, because that size don't kick around much, does it? No. Not at all. Keep checking. Um, the final 11 of these were at £99.99. And 99 pence. We're nowhere near. We're already in the single figures. In the single figures. <laughs> Do you reckon I could pull off a Michael Wolf bellow? <laughs> $29.99. It's $29.99. Did I sound like Michael Wolf? No? Not so much. No. Uh, final six of these. They're gorgeous. And every single one will be completely unique. Ooh. That's the most enticing thing about it, isn't it? Ooh. No two are going to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how beautiful. Oh, there's that one that you love. Yeah, Hi. I really like that one. That's I think cool. it's because it's next to the lovely sunset colours that makes oh, it go, look at, look at me. And that's all natural colour. It's not dyed in any way, shape or form. Botswana is widely referred to as the king of all agates. And much like your Sakura and your mm. Nanhong, they are totally natural. It's like artwork, isn't it? Yeah, it is sun like catchers, artwork. That'd be so cute in the window, wouldn't it? Oh, and they look, they'll look amazing Dinkling. in natural sunlight. Yeah. yeah. Well done. I've only got a couple of those left, so well done. Make sure you check it out. Your baskets, lovely jewellery makers. I have got blue job. Um, oh, I was eyeing this strand up. Because it's not... Oh! Right. Statement. How many have you got of these? Ten. Oh. Some of the best Blue John I've seen. Genuine. A big statement. Roscoe, you know when we relaunched Blue John and we showed a couple of pieces of jewellery? Can you just, just grab those images for me? Okay. It's just, just one photo. It's only one. See where I'm coming from? Normally, Blue wow. John can be just a little bit murky. Yeah. See it what I mean? Amazing. These in particular. Great shape as well. Oh. They, they, you don't see that often either, do you? No. Love it. 
They are I amazing. told you so, they're some of the best quality Blue John I've seen. I've got 10. Here we go, That's this is just one, for, yeah, in Derbyshire. The rolling hills of Derbyshire. Here we go, there's a suite of jewellery that we found. It's just a bit dirty, isn't it? Yeah, a bit lacklustre, dare I say. Yeah, a bit grubby. Yeah, a bit... <laughs> <laughs> Which is not really what I want in my blue, John. I want it to be nice and Pristine lovely layers. And I like to be able to see the separation yeah. of all the colours. See what I mean, jewellery makers? I've only got ten. That is lovely, isn't Natural, it? from our own board, uh, literally our own soil, blue, John, fluorite. Wait, say that again. From our own soil. Do we actually mine that here. It's from Derbyshire. In our country. Yeah, it's in Derbyshire. Never. You, you probably drive past the mine. No. Yeah. We've got a photo of the mine. It's really cute as well. It's like, so, there it is. Literally. Oh. It's so cute. Literally, the rolling hills of Derbyshire, nestled into the hills, like a little hobbit house, um, is the entrance to this mine. I and didn't it's all, know it's that. all, well, this is UK, so as you can imagine, health and safety, it's all paved beautifully, so you can walk through the mine like oh, so. Really? <laughs> it's all paved for you. Who yeah, the most expensive variety of, fluor of fluorite in the world. I didn't know and that. And it comes from Derbyshire, just up Tuck Road. Tup, tup, boom. Up Tup, 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 tup Road. Boom. Uh, Penny, Mary, uh, Marie, hello to you. Kathy, Caroline, Maker, Mantis is there as well. I've only got six. Twenty nine ninety nine, and it is expensive, Blue John. Well, if it's mined in the UK, I'm not surprised because we mm. don't produce anything. We've got Wiltshire Starstone, haven't we? Yeah. But that is all I jet. know about. Oh, and Jet, of course. Jet. Yes. Yeah, but again, you can not much get of it. Angelite. Never. Yeah. Well, I definitely need some Blue John to yeah. promote that. Hello, June. Jewelry maker does the best Blue John. Such good quality. I'm from Derbyshire, huh? and and it used to be so hard to get hold of. There we go. There we June go. Knows. She knows. Have you been to the mine, June? Have you been to the mine? I know that Dave has, and I know that Jake has. Mark's been as well, I think. Really? Because he goes to the Peak District quite a lot, uh, doesn't he? Ah, makes sense. Um, yeah. I'm going. You should. <laughs> you should. I'm literally on the way home. And I can wear heels and not. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, exactly. Um, well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Let's go back to your wonderful obsidian. Sorry, it's Game of Thrones theme tune for those of you that don't know. Um, this is what they refer to as dragon glass. Sounds um, perfect. There you go. Very appropriate. That um, kills the baddies, basically, the oh. White Walkers. Yeah, I know I'm talking a I'm whole other language. You really like it, don't you? I'm going to have yeah, to watch good, it just good, to see good, what you're good, on about. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, um, this is totally natural again. <laughs> Love obsidian. It's always one of those gemstones that will, um, well, monochromes are always so appropriate. We use it with everything, don't we? You could team it with any of the gems that I've brought you so far this morning. It'll look absolutely amazing. Um, how many we got, Russ? 25. On and gone, on and gone. Love obsidian. Goes with absolutely everything, doesn't it? There's yeah. nothing it doesn't go with. In fact, you know, you said gents love it. Actually, I'm mm. sure the Thomas Sabo collection that I was looking at the other day was obsidian. Oh, really? Is that figures? in the gent, gents range? Yeah. Yeah. So they yeah. had the teddy bears the one side or the gummy bears the one side, and then they had the gents collections like your tiger's eye, your oh, obsidians, and your okay. lapis. And again, um, you know, very, very, very popular. We've just brought you a four mil. We're actually going to match the price for the six mils. Huh. Great for Kiss Cross as well. 30 seconds, we're going to match the price of the four millimeter natural obsidian that we brought you just moments ago. Um, so again, make sure um, you are checking out your baskets, everyone. Oh, wait, 100, 644, 655 is the number to call. We've only got 25 though, so you need to be quick. Um, great if you want to go channel your inner mm, Chanel. That looks very... Um... Uh, high end, doesn't it? Yeah. Because it's the blackest of blacks, isn't yes. it? Yes. Obsidian. Yeah. And then you've got the beautiful purity of your wonderful pearls. They're coming up at the top of the show. But equally, how about you know making it all the more moody and adding some amazing labyrinth? Ooh, hey, they're cute. Coming up, they're coming up got again. The turquoise cubes. Turquoise cubes. Yeah, they go that beautifully look really with. Really nice. Amazonite. They go amazing with. I've got some incredible Amazonite. They go with everything because it's 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 a black gemstone. Yeah. It's a natural black gemstone. Um, well done, four ninety nine. I had twenty five available. 
Five, Lavinia, Mary, Laura snapped up two. Why don't you, Dawn, Carol, Michael, Joanne, Eileen, Laura. Um, morning, everybody. So again, we've got Dave stepping into the studio a little bit later than originally planned. He's going to be here at 11 o'clock, hence why I'm bringing you the premiere collection now which is amazing Makes and sense. then of course we'll lead into charlie's wonderful mask glass brand new tool um Ooh. dawn's got two buckingham's got two michael's got two eileen's got two these have not been on air brand new i quite like the um wrap bracelets we've been doing i know alison did some as well didn't yeah. she and she had did, was it like with the leather or something like yeah yeah they cool. look really good and they're so popular at this time of year and for that price, four ninety nine. Yeah, because it's kind of like boho, isn't yeah, it? Isn't yeah, very. Boho and that's vibe. coming back as well. Vogue has just done another article. It's coming back. Have they? Yeah, yeah. Do you think that's like we start seeing that when all the festivals are around? Oh, definitely. Like, you know, you Glastonbury. Max blasting out. We, we play that all the time at this Fleetwood time of year. Mac. Love it. Love Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. They are proper summer. That is a, so a summertime album dun, in my house. Dun, 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 dun. That's the best one. Oh, of That's course the best it is. one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and loads of our colleagues yeah. were at, uh, I know Grand Prix. It was the, uh, loads of our colleagues oh, were yeah. at Silverstone recently. Yeah. Lovely Kate on Gem. She was down there presenting at Silverstone. Oh, amazing. Your Lucy, your lovely Lucy, was, uh, was uh, running the, sort of one of the events company that. You guys get around a bit, don't you? She was with who? An ex football for all oh, right, okay. Mm -hmm. That played for West, West Ham. Ham, right? Okay, yeah. I don't. Know. We're learning a lot today, I know. Yeah, right. she's doing amazing, Lucy. Uh, Lucy is doing amazing. Great stuff. I, literally, one of her big contracts is Silverstone. Oh wow! And she does like all the corporate, That's you know, something, the, isn't yeah, it? Really good. Bravo. Um, oh, this is one locational from Utah. Oh, oh, like it? I can't say that normally. Amazing Tiffany Opal. Oh. Oh, cute. Maybe, perhaps I'm wrong. This is saying it's Australian. Maybe they oh. found a new discovery of it then. From what I, I knew up until about two years ago, it was one locational. That's not to say that it can't be discovered somewhere else. We learn a lot, don't we, here? I love the education behind it all. Because you yeah. don't get that anywhere else. It's a fusion of fluorite with opal. Oh. So you imagine you've got two veins of gemstones that instead that literally merge. That's like when you add caramel to chocolate, isn't it? Like, oh. Yeah. yeah. You need caramel inside your chocolate cake, don't you? Oh. Yeah. You need that literally, that. that fusion oh. of colour. I haven't seen Tiffany Opal in... Probably a couple of years. Not going to lie, never. It's lovely. It's New really to me. gorgeous. Yeah, stunning. And again, it's that wonderful intensity of purple that comes from the mm. fluorite addition to the actual opal itself. Um, we'll do it in one price crash. How many we got? 20. Oh, okay. Many. Yeah, there was okay. never. Do you know? And again, I remember Tiffany Opal was one of those gemstones that um, the team wanted me to research when I was over in Tucson. And I was thinking, okay, that should be easy to do. If because it was being mined from Utah, I surely should be able to find an yeah. American uh, Tiffany Opal supplier. Right place. I found yeah. one. No way. I found one in the whole city. And when we say when we say Tucson, it takes over the whole city. Uh, every single if you imagine it taking over somewhere like Birmingham oh it's world known it's isn't it vast, yeah, it's absolutely vast it. yeah every car park is literally yeah. filled with like massive marquees that you can't oh. even see the end of oh I love it yeah. oh, I imagine it's a sense sensory overload almost it, it, it? It, you, uh, and, and, and lo lovely Lindsay Carr and our sister channels go in um, in February this year and I'm good friends with Lindsay Lindsay you, you see you on, on Jewelry Maker so I'm good friends with Lindsay and I was like Lindsay wear trainers don't wear heels because yeah. you do so much walking yeah. and it is exhausting but Good fantastic advice. at the same time yeah an experience so, but i found one supplier of tiffany opal over no there way. that was it 14.99 jewelry makers that's absolutely amazing uh our guest design susie's getting hers well done susie lisa carol fife's there deb stephanie manchester mary's there as well susie that necklace arrived as well i need to speak to you about that now guess what no way. <laughs> this is a gemological anomaly. Two gemstones literally merging together. Don't forget, we've got those amazing pearls coming up at the top of the hour. Don't forget, which we don't see very often now, do we, potato pearls? £9.99 pence only for natural Tiffany Opal. This would go stunningly well alongside your yeah, potato pearls. Yeah, wouldn't it just? That's a great combo. 
Ah, oh, amazing. Nine pounds and 99 pence only. Um, the, I've got Amazonite night coming up in a few moments again. Should we just, we're, ooh, we're, yeah, there's Amazonite night and there's Aquamarine, isn't there, Ross? Yeah, I thought so. Um, I'd use this together, what do you reckon, Charlie? Ooh. Yeah, you're definitely winning today, aren't you? I you like these, these colour choices? Well, just what you're rolling with, yeah? You've, you've got them all firing out today. It's just the gems I'm it surrounded in. It's quite easily done, it's isn't it, when they're job. there in front of you, definitely. Yeah. Love those. Absolutely love those. <laughs> so, you have here Amazing Amazonite, certainly one of the most popular gemstones of 2024 definitely leading into 2025 we've been discussing gems like um sorry designers like obviously monica veneda but uh louis vuitton mm. have launched that they're using um amazonite in their collection Ooh. uh irene newis david yeoman uh harrods of course lots of lots and lots of big designers choosing amazonite you know only think about it david yeoman irene newis certainly uh, um, Louis Vuitton can all choose if they prefer something like Pareva Tourmaline. Yeah, of course, yeah. But actually a Pareva Tourmaline, which is a very similar colour saturation, doesn't quite have the same glow, I don't no. think. Not quite the same. Still beautiful, don't get me wrong. Okay, um, how many do we have of this amazing gemstone strand? Only 23. One of the most popular gemstones, coloured gemstones, Full stop, not just here at Jewelry Maker, everywhere at the moment. And I get it, I can see why. It's a really yeah. pretty saturation that complements every single skin tone. They believe that Amazonite Night looks even better at sunrise and sunset. But it's so difficult to get hold of at the moment because it's so popular. It's got that a and, lovely colour to it, that one, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, really nice rich, saturation. lovely. 20 pounds. Is this Peruvian? Shh. Is it? You get Amazonite from different locations around the mm. world. This is Indian. Um, again, it's all about the colour. And it used to all it used to be all about sort of the Ilminski Mountains. We obviously don't source it from there anymore. Peruvian, I think, is, again, amazing quality. You can get amazing quality from wherever, wherever it is, as long as it's this beautiful, very distinctive colour yeah. saturation, like a spearmint bluey green. Yeah, and with the pattern as well inside it, it's yeah. lovely, isn't it? It makes me think beach wedding, yeah. those, that combo right there. If you're loving these pearls, they're coming up at the top of the hour as well. We're going to do a massive deal. Um, I've got 20, or had. Still not done, though, jewellery makers. These are brand new premier showcases. None of these items have been on air previously before. And you're getting premier savings as well. Paula in Midlothian, Mary in Lancashire, Jacqueline, Marion, new customers getting involved also. Under £20, that's awesome. That, yeah, that's a silly price for Amazonite. It's £31,500 from uh, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> the Irene Newest necklace that we've shown you, I think that's that's like three grand. Oh. And it's simple beading. It's not a huge amount of gold. It's a it's literally a gold bolt ring clasp. That's it. Right. Literally, that's it. Mm. I'm sure it's three grand or something like that's that. That's like minimum effort, maximum profit. Isn't yeah, it? Like that? yeah, absolutely. But I like that, that you can dress it up or tone it down. You can really go to town with that one gemstone. It's I'll be beautiful. buying these. Yeah. If they're available, I'll I, definitely be getting yeah, these. Yeah, I'm going to sneak out <laughs> and try might, and get I some might. signal and gab at <laughs> Also go with that. I like that combination Ooh. too. That's nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is nice. Now, I wouldn't usually put those two colours together and you've just nailed it right there. I just, just think it's, a, it's like the opposite end of the colour wheel, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence like only. Lovely jewelry makers. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Um, I only had twenty. It is still probably in our top three number uh, pop, most popular gemstones. Yeah, it's got to be. It answer. has to be yeah. up there with your jadeites most yeah. certainly and, and pearls. I think in no particular order. I think it's going to be jadeite pearls and amazonite. I think that. Do you agree, Russ? Yeah, yeah, totally agree. Um, they're our biggest gemstones at the moment, and it's, it's obvious to see why. Mm -hmm. Carol's got two. Um, it's a bit more, um, it's it's quite difficult to source at the moment because yeah. it's so popular. Yeah, well, that's it. It's like booming onto the scene. Yeah. 12 99 is crazy. I know. Amazing, amazing. If you love this cut, and maybe something that you can incorporate to this little, little gemstone hand party, perhaps you might go for some aquamarine as well. Oh. See the difference? So aquamarine's like a cooler colour, yeah. isn't it? Slightly yeah. more subtle. 
yeah, yeah. beautiful absolutely beautiful natural aquamarine a little bit of heat treatment that's fine i mean we should expect that really of aquamarine it's no different we don't turn our nose up to heat treatment on tanzanite so i don't see why we should with any other gemstone well it's a natural occurring thing in the ground isn't it yeah, so they, when I, when they say heat treat I, it don't bother me that no really don't Mother, many gemologists don't call it a treatment no well it, because no, it can be done by the sun yeah exactly exactly 9.99 <laughs> ross yes please for 93 carats of aquamarine oh, that's a lot isn't it oh yeah i like that they're amazing yeah. oh, i'm gonna be making the most of this premiere showcase but the thing is jewelry makers they are limited mm. they are all quite limited so you do need to be quick checking out your baskets Unbelievable. Do you know what? This with the tan with the labradorite as well. Oh, um, let's have a look. Because let's it's going to draw out the sort of flashes of blues. Oh, clever. Clever girl. What do you think? Yeah. I love these unusual, like irregular cut stones because they I keep getting asked for these. Yeah. And they're not that easy to look for. I mean, what do you type in for a start? Yeah. You know, so I think they, these are going to boom onto the scene. I've always said about this cut as well, that, you know, it's it's allowing the jet, it's not being, the lapidus is not being dictated to like, oh, this has to be an oval, this has to be a round. Yeah. So you can actually cut the gemstones at their most suit. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That and labradorite, for example, is one of those that you need that flexibility yeah. because Check this out. This is a phenomena effect that occurs naturally. Ah, oh, there you go. And no matter go. which one I show you. Oh, I love the pattern on that one. That's so cool. It's like ripples in the water. The Aurora Borealis. And then you've got your gold and Within sheen. a gemstone. Whoa. These, the quality of these. And yeah. I like that they're different. Yeah, Each just magical. One unique. Okay, th this should not be 9 99 The quality of this labradorite is absolutely amazing. Because lesser quality, you know, labradorite, it's like a dark, moody gemstone. So from a distance, you might look at this and go, oh, okay, it's like a black stone, blackish gray stone. But actually, when you get close to it or when light hits it in a certain act, in certain, for example, take this outside, that's when labradorite really comes oh, into its own. Definitely. Um, a mystique about it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You get, you get that Aurora Borealis Northern Lights flash like, across how this does gemstone. That happen? Well, I can tell you. I knew you would. I can tell you. <laughs> Basically, in the in the gemstone's formation, it's tiny platelets that layer. If you think like slices of bread, okay, yeah, um, that layer perfectly. When they do sort of layer, like sandwich together, light. So white light enters into a gemstone, and that light will ga gather, if you like, between the layers of the labradorite, and that's what colour will reflect. Ah. So certain colours are rarer than others. Same, similar, similar, I guess, to opal. But so, um, I can't remember if reds, the reddy or the purpley colours that you're seeing in labradorite have to travel the furthest. That's why they're ah, the rarest colours. Right. Today. Okay. But basically, it's like little layers. As it's a member of the feldspar family that forms in wonderful, miraculous little layers, and that's what produces this uh, phenomena effect. And it takes thousands of years to thousands create that, right? Thousands, doesn't it? Thousands yeah. of years. Bit yeah, of history. Very, very cool. Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets on that. Shall we do a slide bracelet? <coughs> Brand new. What is that then? Uh, oh, yeah, I can, I can see, see it, it as well. I can see it. <laughs> She's got a lot on her desk this morning. I can see it, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. I got it, Ross. You're too cute. <laughs> A genuine cultured pearl encased beautifully in 925 sterling silver. Uh, it's, it's not just any old slider bracelet, this, though. Is that a pearl slider? Yes. Never. So the, the actual... So the silicon inside the pearl is what makes it slide, is that The right? silicon is inside the oh, pearl. Oh, that's so amazing. How cool is that? I have yeah, seen actually, that Actually, that's a really point. When have we done that before? Yeah, I know, right? That is cool. Love First that. price crash jewellery makers.
but also not the closing price. This is, I know we, we more automatically think bracelets, don't we? But it, yeah. And I know that's what it says on the graphics, but this could easily be a necklace at the uh, same time, yeah. couldn't it? Yeah. That's also, exactly can I, I just thought. show you, it's a double jump ringed one. So you could put further embellishments Ugh. on the bottom. That's why I'm thinking necklace. Because look, you could put a tassel on the bottom of there and then you could use your pearls maybe oh, that are coming up. with your Amazonite as well. Oh, amazing. Oh. Next price crash, not where we are closing. Yet you actually have. That's amazing. The silicon in the center of the slider. Love that. We've never got, seen that. How many? 50 on the mm. nose, brand new considerably harder to actually achieve a slider in a, with a pearl Massively. than it actually is in the precious metal. So beautiful. Not your closing price. Really? We're going even lower. Is it just me that's thinking that this would be a lovely long line necklace? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you've got the two, the double jump ring. You yeah. can put a nice, another nice little tassel. Almost or like a bolo, bit. isn't it? Yeah. You yeah. slide up and down. You can maybe make them uneven. A little nice. bit off centre, yeah, 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 like that. Beautiful. Already collectors getting involved. I've got 50. Can you believe this? This is sterling silver jewellery makers you could have and it a the genuine back. pearl. You could have it at the back, at the make back. it adjustable. Yes. <gasps> oh, What are we doing though? Seriously, it's a slider bracelet. Yeah, I know you guys are nuts. That's okay, I'm happy with that. <laughs> where, where else in the world, Charlie, will you get a sterling silver working component like this with a slider from a genuine cultured pearl for 7.99 well you're just not are you let's just, it's like pie in the sky that isn't it just yeah that's crazy yeah i can't say i've ever stumbled across that before elsewhere no love that it's a pearl so unique great so the, selling point so they have to drill it mm -hmm. and then obviously have to sort of secure the silica in the they'll center like a, they'll create a casing with inside the pearl so you've got a, like a case with yeah. the silicon, then you have to have the hole for the chain, thread it through. In the easiest thing to make. No, and um, especially not at seven ninety nine. No, goodness me, it's not like a mould. No, this is a genuine pearl. Oh yeah, it's not manufactured. No, no. no, amazing. Well done, everybody. Lots of multi buyers on this. I'm not even yeah, seen this sense. idea before. Yeah, I like that. I need some of those. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Yeah. Well, good job we got fifty. Having said that, there are lots of people multi buying on they're it. Flying, I don't blame they? you. It's, it's what, a 10 inch brace uh, bracelet, but it can also be a necklace. Amazing. Oh, that's so cute. Giftable, very giftable. Very, very giftable. Who yeah. doesn't love pearls? Right. Um, well done, everybody. Now, speaking of pearls, I've got the most amazing strand coming your way. I've got two amazing strands coming your way. Um, we've got the ombre pearls, and then we've got those potato pearls as well, oh. which we haven't seen in, I don't know how long. Make sure you are checking out your baskets on these 50, but gosh, what, how, do, how many have how we got left, Ross? Because there's a lot of multi buyers on this one. Yeah, I'm not going to get any, am I? 14. Oh. Just 14 of them left. Sorry, Charlie. That's all right. I hope we get some more. Now, if you are a pearl lover, jewelry makers, I have 20 available. It, I do genuinely mean it when I say this. I think it is one of our greatest strengths here at Jewelry Maker, pearl buying. Oh, yeah, and I think a lot of your customers and myself will agree. Yeah. I'm going to just take this off the stand a minute because I want you to be able to... Here we are. We'll just do that. that I want you to be able to see all of the colours because half, you know, a percentage of it was actually hidden. So you have the pure whites to the papayas to the amazing lavender colors. There are 20. And you know, this is something, it's almost like a little reminder to me that we, we need to start getting used to quantities like this of pearls. Mm. Because yeah. as we mentioned earlier on this morning, and I know our regular viewers that know this, and I'm so sorry to sound like a broken record, but it is my job to do this. Um, to keep you informed of what's happening within the industry, what's happening within particular gemstones. Are they available? Are they accessible? Are they affordable? Or are they, are they at the most expensive price that they've ever been? It's the latter. Pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now. And that is because of the global demand. Um, in particular, in the East, you've got sort of uh, um, mega stars, really, who literally just blogged about Tahitian pearls. All of a sudden, a decade has been bought out 
bought out. So that means, you know, we used to be able to bring you pearls. Charlie used to bring you pearls as well. We literally can't buy, buy Tahitian pearls now unless it's maybe on the secondary market no. or at their sort of older pearls, if you like. And there's nothing wrong with that. They haven't got the shelf life, but it's, it's a lottery. And of course, everyone's looking to do the same thing. Then the same applied with your South Sea pearls. The same applies with, with freshwater pearls. You know, um, Susie joined me on Sunday and we were talking about the fact that literally the Chinese don't need to export their pearl harvest and they do most of the actual freshwater pearl farming. They don't need to because they have that captive audience mm. there straight away and they'll pay high premiums for it. So the fact that we have 20, that's the, that is something we need to get used to, jewelry makers. Some of the rarest colors, and again, they are natural. Remember what we said about purple pearls or lavender pearls? Only a few families will actually harvest a particular hybrid variety of oyster that can produce the purples. So not many oysters can produce that purple. Then you've got this beautifully gorgeous and, and, and exceptionally sought after papaya. And then into the pure whites, a full 38 centimeter strand. We're in a double figure price point we're not even stopping there, jewelry makers. If you love pearls, I can't believe we're saying close out deal when we've when pearls have genuinely never been more more popular than they are right now. You know, they've never really dipped. We've always loved pearls, haven't yeah. we? From oh, yeah. Generation to generation, decade to decade, century to century, we've always adored pearls. But now, you know, where you've got some very affluent, I, would, I couldn't tell you who, very affluent individuals say, I will buy the future decade of that, of that harvest. So do not sell any to anybody else. This is, what did you say, Russ? Yeah, yeah, I agree. One of the biggest deals of the entire day. I have 20 available. If you're a pearl lover, we're closing no way near that price tag. But you could walk on your local high street. I'm not talking about lavender pearls, papaya pearls, just a normal pearl necklace. Yeah? And it would be more than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, These yeah. colours command much higher prices, the papayas and the purples. Yeah, they don't come up often, do they? And the size as well, the smaller sizes are yeah. really hard to get hold of. They are, yeah. Yeah. Very difficult to get hold of. Forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only, ombre to perfection, match to perfection, um, lustre. All of those five virtues ticked. I had twenty available jewelry makers loving this strand. I love the fact they are potato pills. It's been a long time since we've actually seen. It's not the most romantic of description. Um, well, these are actually referred to as rice pearls, which is much nicer. Um, but yeah, they're quite an organic like shape, mm. which is absolutely huge. You know, we're really embracing your keshis, your beewers, your fireballs, your buttons, your ri ringed pearls. Um, yeah, because then they show that they are the real deal. Make sure you're checking out everybody because we only have 20 of these. I've got two massive pearl deals, this one and also that uh, white strand that I've been showing you um, throughout the course of this hour. Crazy low, Ross. For, you know, we've done strands half the length and less, actually, mm -hmm. with these rare colours at more than what's on your screens right now. Elizabeth, well done. County Antrim, well done. June, Joanne, Angela, London, new customers. If you want multiples, I would be checking out your baskets. Um, natural as well. They're not bleached, they're not dyed. That's another thing we need to be consider we need to be mindful of. These are not bleached and dyed. Still lovely, don't get me wrong, and it means you can get some pearls in some um, amazing saturations but they were totally natural not how many times in this last hour have i reached for this strand not enough <laughs> it goes with everything doesn't it it does go with everything you've shown that and yet as one of the largest pearl buyers in the west i think you'd all agree which definitely jewelry maker in gemporia are or have been i should say and yet over the past five years Six years? Seven? How often do we see potato pearls? 
I remember, I cast my mind back to when my husband and I got married and it was a very small affair. We kind of snuck off to a little town hall, just us and a handful of people. And I was like heavily pregnant with Willow and I wanted to make my own headdress. Right. And so I bought a piece of lace in the shape and I literally sort of sewed it onto a headband. And it was these pearls that I wanted to oh, sort of stitch on. That sounds lovely. Do you know, they were <clears throat> as rare as hen teeth then. Um, Fast forward now, with the popularity of pearls, you're right, you don't see them. No, you don't. The smaller pearls can command a higher price tag than the larger pearls. And actually, let's think logically, that's because you've still got to drill these pearls. Mm. And it's harder to drill a smaller pearl. Yeah. Plus also you're... You're stopping the harvest mid, you, what do you say, mid Almost or final? Almost early. Early, yeah. yeah, exactly. Before they sort of grow to sizes, say, like the pink ones that we had earlier on. So they do command a higher yeah, price. That makes sense. Yeah, they do. And it does explain why we see them so less mm. frequently. Ross, how many do we have of these? What? We've got a hundred available opportunities. Oh, I need these. Yeah, me too. I need these regularly keep searching seeing if you've got them in this size and lo and behold i come in you've got them no well you can always develop I'm a outside, smaller don't bit you of worry. yeah you carry on yeah i will um jewelry makers we've got a hundred available five to six millimeters look at where we're starting what they look at the luster from these as well yeah. i love that recording adam yeah great um with a potato pearl, it doesn't win awards for the most beautifully described, but actually is the perfect description for them because yeah. they're natural, quite organic shapes, yeah. nice little ovals. You know, they're not too formal, I yeah. think. That's why I quite like them. Yeah. Um, if you love your Baroques, your Keshis, your, your uh, Fireball pearls, you'll absolutely love your potato pearls. And yet, generally, yeah, yeah, I'm not saying never, but we haven't seen a huge amount of them. I think, you know, back five, six years ago, we used to have them a bit more yeah. frequently. Should have bought more then. But I can't remember the last time I brought potato pearls to wear no. over the past three years. You can't predict what's going to come, can you? No. And you've got them here today. With a hundred quantity. Yeah, that's not bad. We are starting. Might get some. Might not get some. <laughs> at £49.99. pence. Your next price crash. But not where we are closing. Not where we are closing. I think a hundred's going to go like this. Yeah, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. We're not even stopping there. Yeah, oh. jewellery makers, don't wait. Don't, don't wait. In the background, I, I will show you in a second. Hang on. Here we go. I just wanted to show you a photograph that's literally just popped up. There you go. You get mm. the idea? And you can make that amazing piece of jewellery, not at twenty nine ninety nine. It's a classic pearl necklace, isn't it? Half the original price. We're at twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. Pearls still <laughs> still that, the state. The my original statement is still true. Pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now. Yeah. I have a hundred available. And when we said one of the biggest deals of the entire day. We meant it because twenty four ninety nine is still not your final price. If you have your eye on this, yeah, now is here's your call to action, jewelry makers, because hundred can also disappear in a nanosecond. A full thirty eight centimeter strand in one of the most sought after shapes in the smaller sizes, which can be command a premium. Mm -hmm. Today, under twenty pounds. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't just be buying one of these. No. Today, I would have been multi buying probably four or five yeah, of these. Yeah, definitely. Because I mean, 
just just that classic design and i don't even think they're knotted i think they're literally just thread onto a bit of silk or something like that but again you try and find uh um how you, you try and find pieces like that at an affordable price tag it's not gonna happen you can make it though you can create it yourself Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. I love this. Potato pills is all about embracing those amazing organic shapes. Your beers, your cashews, your coins. Um, Elvina, Helen, Melanie, Helen, Cardiff, Ted. Hello, Pauline, who's got two. Angela's multi bought. Jan Marie, <coughs> Heather, Heather, Kathy, Carol. London's got three. Uh, Carol's got two. Susan, Elaine, Sharon, Jennifer. We had a hundred multi buyers getting involved. I don't blame you. I'd be doing exactly the same. The reality is, look, yeah. Once upon a time, probably I'm probably being conservative with five or six years. It's probably even more than that. We used to be able to bring you strands like this and bring them to you by the plenty mm -hmm. we used to do whole weekends of bills yep, we cannot do it anymore we literally cannot do it anymore you, you know if you go to our sister channel prime example our sister channel doesn't have a huge amount of pills anymore no. you know and if they are on air they'll be an amazing price it's gemporia of, of course. course um but they're a higher price than they were, used to be yeah here we are bringing them to you at 20 pounds well done mandy snapped up two judy five florence has got two well done to you linda uh, I've got Carolyn, Jay, Anne, Elaine, Sharon, Jennifer, Pauline, Zoe. It is one of the biggest deals of the day so far. Well done, everybody. Clock to close. Clock to close, because I've still got so much to bring you. Remember Dave stepping into the studio momentarily. And also we've got a brand new tool. Oh, brand new tool. Very exciting tool coming up at 12 o'clock as well, Jewelry Makers. 48 seconds and we're going to step out of this auction opportunity. That does give Charlie and I an opportunity, folks. It gives Charlie and I an opportunity to buy them. Yes, it does. Do you know, I just break. thought then three of those strands is over a metre's worth of pearls of the size that you can't really get anywhere else. £60. That, that's, that, yeah. £60. Yeah, it's almost a joke, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes we don't do ourselves any favours because actually it, it, we're just leaving ourselves a sort of open to, well, they can't be real. They are real. Oh, you can see they're real. They are I can genuine see real cultured yeah. pearls. Yeah. We source very differently to your sort of average uh, jeweler on the high street that might buy one or two. We've just brought yep. you a quantity of 100. That's yep. how you're getting the price points. Make sure you're checking out everybody and coming up just after the break, we have the wonderful Dave Trost stepping into the studio um, where we have the only strand of lavender jadeite in the entire business. The only strand. Also, Oh my goodness, look at that lavender. That's absolutely mm. stunning. Also, we have the only bicolour jadeite strand. Think chocolate limes. It's that beautiful, rich, sort of golden chocolate colour. And then this splash of wonderful, almost like, yeah, like a lime green. Ugh. Natural. Both totally natural. These are really exciting and definitely one for the collectors and connoisseurs. Don't go anywhere. Dave's stepping into the studio after this. Hi, jewelry makers. I'm going to be back on the show this Sunday, the 14th of July, with the return of the beautiful quartzite molars. So in your PDF with those projects, I'll show you three different methods on how to make a mala. You can either make one in minutes or you can use a traditional knotting technique. And we also have the launch of some beautiful sterling silver gallery wire. So the PDF that will come with those projects will show you how to make a pendant step by step like this one or this one wrapping around a gorgeous cabochon no soldering required i'm just going to do some wire wrapping which i'm very excited to do because it's my favorite thing so please come and join me if you can this sunday the 14th of july on jewelry maker shopping with jewelry maker couldn't be easier you can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. 
we also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. As you can see, we are in the beautiful Lake District and just behind me, you can see the majestic Lake Windermere. We've just stopped for lunch, so I thought I'd quickly tell you about my next show, which is July the 15th, where I'm gonna be joining lovely Elle and Ross and the crew. In the nine o'clock hour, I have got the most beautiful black and green jadeite kits, which come with sterling silver bead stoppers and chain, beautiful meter lengths. And at 12 o'clock, you know I'm a massive fan of selenite, we have got for the first time multicoloured selenite bamboo shapes. So that's Monday, 15th of July. Join myself and Elle from 8 o'clock. That's if I decide to come back. See you soon. Bye bye. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. always an absolute pleasure to introduce Dave into the studio especially Dave when I see something as beautiful and as rare yeah. I've never seen bicolor jade before so, yeah this is essentially watermelon jadeite so we're talking about um, you know uh, essentially red and green jadeite forming together um, we've never had it um, across the board if, if I'm honest across any of our channels but to, to give you some context to how rare it is, even by our own standards, there's only 20 strands. The okay. fact that we've got a strand is amazing. It is certified um, with those colours. It is that maroon colour. Mm. There's some yellow in there and green, but it is bi-colour <clears throat> jadeite. Super exciting, but we only have 20 opportunities. We're celebrating the colours of jadeite in this mini showcase right now. Um, 20 watermelon jadeites, 100% type A, and then straight after that, We've got a limited opportunity, the only lavender jade in the building, um, in a strand. Yeah. Uh, again, double figure quantity, very, very limited. Yeah. But for those of you that are after, you know, some of the rarest jade out we've ever seen, we have managed to get this epic, epic strand of watermelon jade out. Once you see it, it's going to disappear. Like I said, there is no more on order. We've never been able to get it for any of our other um, channels. We've never been able to get any quantity, any carvings, any bangles. I've you wouldn't even know that it exists. Mm. And when you look at the wider market, we know mm. together that the fancy colors have accelerated in their price increases because we are realizing that they were endemic to only Myanmar. They, yeah. they only came from Burma. Although we find jade in Guatemala, we've got that wonderful kind of blue, that kind of grandidiorite sea foam color. We do get some greens from Guatemala and the black, but we don't get lavender, we don't get the reds, we don't get those supreme unique colors. 
And when Asprey launched their incredible collection of Jadeite to the world, their luxury Jadeite collection, an exclusive collection, so rare it was only available uh, to view by invitation only. Uh, the entry level price point was £130,000. Oh. It went up to £18 million and the £18 million piece was just that. Yeah. It was a slab of what you would consider watermelon jade. Yeah. 30 centimetres long, 7.5 kilograms, bit of white, some yellow, red and green. And to have a strand of that material, to have one of these is epic. To have 20 is a godsend. Yeah. And we're in, a, we're in a climate right now where even just red jadeite beads, just a bead costs thousands. To have a strand of watermelon is crazy. Watermelon with any gemstone yeah. is exotic and expensive. We know mm -hmm. that with tourmalines. But when we, when we look at just a red jadeite bead like this on first dips, and you see it listed at £10,000, wow. and you then take into consideration that's the average price for a red jade bead in the current yeah. climate, well, then you have to understand that to get the opportunity on this strand will not happen again. I, I, look, I could spend half an hour talking about this genuinely, and I'd love to, but the reality is once you see it, it will disappear. It's so the, the reality is straight after it, I'll have an opportunity to bring you Lavender Jade, which we cannot get for love nor money anymore, and we have got a, a very limited strand of that. This is probably the most limited showcase we've ever done. Mm. I envisage it probably lasts about five minutes. That's the truth. Yeah. Like if, if there was one thing that any of you wanted right now, it's the natural colors of jade Of course. Not your quartzite jade or, or even your nephrites. You, obviously, we want Burmese fancy colored jade -ite, these natural and Taipei, you know, your reds, your yellows, your lavenders, all the material that we can't get, that we're struggling to get. And this showcase is all of those things, but very limited. Just to give you some idea, if we added both these together, we're still in a double figure quantity. Right, okay. Right, so I don't want you to think we can look after many people today. We cannot. And in fact, to make that point, I'm going to do something that I should never do. Straight after these two sell out, which will, like I said, most likely be in about five minutes' time, um, on the weekend, you and I brought everyone a wonderful mutton fat jade show yeah. celebrating the Kotan jade. Yeah, incredible. And we had the chain link carvings, we had yeah. everything sold out and we did one killer auction at the end 300 quantity we did yeah um in that wonderful mint green cotan jade 100 percent natural um and it was the first time we'd ever done anything like it in the size in the the length in the carrot weight and we just did an apology deal yeah and we said look it's only for this time there was a massive quantity of 300 well i've got the last 50 of them today and i'm actually going to honor that deal oh, and i said i wouldn't the only reason i'm doing it is because this is ridiculously limited and if i just do this i'm here for five minutes and gone okay. so i've literally gone to the vault this morning and i've got i've got the mint green cotan jade here for you wow. i've got the last 50 and i'm going to still do the deal that i did on the weekend when we had 300. i'm letting you know that because a lot of you, once you miss out on these, you might just tune off and go, okay, well, I've missed out. I'm going to urge you, this is not a normal showcase. It's the first time you've ever encountered watermelon jade eye, which is that yeah. mixture of the yellows, the reds, and the greens in a full strand as well. It's not even just a bead. And I'm going to let all of you know, I've got 20 opportunities. There will be multi-buyers. It will be a crazy opportunity. It is... 100% natural in Taipei. And then straight after that, I'm going to offer you a ridiculously limited lavender certified natural Taipei lavender jade eye strand as well. And I've got a tiny quantity of those. This is your opportunity. I'm going to give you a 30 second call. I have to start with the watermelon, Ross. So gorgeous. We've never seen anything like it. We are extraordinarily excited about it. And it's here. It's in the studio live. And even just to get to see this is impressive. Even just to get to be around this material is exciting. You at home are going to get the chance to own it. And you're not going to be charged crazy prices. This is that unique, I mean, you can see it, natural reds blending into the green, blending yeah, through amazing. to the yellows. We can see it live in the studio. We can see these. This is crazy. That's so beautiful. That's type A jadeite. And it is literally red, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, red through to the green. That's a real red. That's not a heated red. No. Nope. That's a natural type A red and green. 20 chances let me open this up oh my god it's just indulgent as well 90 carats yeah i mean not just one of those beads or a pair of earrings or three stones would be exceptional 20 though well here you come every single one of you is is making sure you and and the thing is this is what i knew would happen no one's just queuing for these no one's just putting it in their baskets you are checking out and that's exactly what you should be yeah. doing you are looking at type a bicolor watermelon jadeite from myanmar Absolutely insane, huge length on this 38 centimeter strand, massive carat weight, 90 carats. 
one of the most exciting opportunities we will offer our collectors, a real, real unique curiosity. I mean, I don't know if any of this has even been documented. We've seen pieces throughout history like this, but this is outrageous. And we've already got multi-buyers. I'm not surprised. Just so you know, yeah. you know if someone multi-buys on this, that's 10% of the stock gone. That's true. That's how limited this is. So Hampshire has just taken 10% of this auction by just acquiring two. It will disappear. Um, Hampshire's got one, uh, another collector in Hampshire's got two, London's got it, Middlesex has got it, Lancaster's got it, Warwickshire, you're there, Cumbria, you're there, Great London, Merseyside, a lot of you there, only 20 of these available. Quarter yeah. of the stock's gone, it went a while ago. And this is um, what we should be expecting, Dave, isn't yeah. it, really, when we're talking about jadeites as a whole, or jade as a yeah. whole, is, is limited quantities. You know, we've been. Yeah, but that's just with green jade. That, yeah. That's just with any jade. I mean, this to is even, like if we just teeth. had one strand of watermelon jade, yeah. we'd probably just have it on display. Yeah, We'd exactly. probably just share it with you from time to time, showcase it. Yeah. But the opportunity to acquire it, the opportunity to work with it, to have a 38 centimeter strand. And for anyone who misses out, straight after this, I've got the only certified, lab certified lavender jadeite strand in the building across every network in our shared vault. And it's limited. It's just as limited practically. And that will be coming up straight after. As, as a point, I've said, look, I am gonna do an apology deal at the very end on an auction that I brought you on the weekend, but this is a very, very small showcase and only a select amount of mm. collectors can get involved. Now, I'm, I'm tempted to start ridiculously high, right? I mean, 10,000 pounds high. And let's do that, let's just start there. But you, you have trusted me, you know we're gonna look after you. This is gonna be a crazy, there's the yellows, there's the reds, there's the greens. So gorgeous. This is live it? in the studio. Yeah, worst po possible lighting conditions yeah. and yet still has that lovely glow. That's a crazy deal, 10,000 pounds. Genuinely, yeah. I, I don't know where you would go. When I showed you that stone of heaven, you know, the stone Asprey, and you saw the price on it, um, and it's 18 million pounds, because they can ask whatever they want, because they know there's not another a piece of rough like it in the world. Well, I don't believe there's any more strands like this anywhere else in the world. We could no. charge whatever we want. No. But half the stock's gone. You have got your five interest free split payments as well. I'll give you another 30 second clock. Nowhere near done. It's so distinctive as well, Dave, mm -hmm. isn't it? That's the thing. And I, and, and I, as uh, we're seeing some familiar names there, some yeah, regular Jade, uh, Jade collectors, yeah. you know, it's one of those that it's, it's almost like a star of the show. It's like, yeah. oh, you know, it's a conversation starter. This, well, is this might be one of the most exciting, one of the most important jadeites that we have ever put yeah. on screen, ever. I didn't know it existed. Well, I don't, you're not alone. Like, I think many of us would be forgiven for, for agreeing with you, for thinking the same thing. If you've never seen anything, yeah. and no one talks about it or writes about it, why would you think it exists? And to have a strand, that, like I said, it is just indulgence. I am now gonna, we're at 10,000 pounds. Let me take 9,000 pounds off. Gonna go to 999, five interest free split payments. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm still nowhere near done, but this is where you need to start trusting us. Half the stock has been allocated, they have gone. Patricia, Maker in Swansea, Deborah in Cumbria, uh, Maker in London, Maker in Hampshire, Hazel's got two, Rupal, you're there, Maker in Lancaster's there, Maurice, you're there, another anonymous collector is there. Nowhere near done. Wow. Love the juxtaposition between the bright greens and the reds. Yeah. Then you've got some of these, I've got those yellows as well. These are natural colours, these are not heated. It is type A, it is the pinnacle. Yeah. It really well, is. Well, you couldn't the treat this, could you, surely? No. Because you would affect the green. Yeah. There you go. That's the closest you can get to. You see the vase? Oh, yeah, yeah. This finely carved red jade up bottle. Those are the colours that you've got here. Ignore, oh, yes. ignore the lid, but those are the colours. That's your natural red jade colour. Oh, and that's yes. that's how you know Bonhams refers to that. Um, sold for eighteen thousand eight hundred US dollars in two thousand and two, twenty two yeah. years ago. Wow! And you've got a strand of the identical material. It'd be a very different price point now. Yeah, I it? mean that's you know circa what seventeen ninety to eighteen sixty. Yeah. Um, that's when that vase was was created, and you can see how the the red skin yeah. clings to the green jadeite boulder and they've produced this unbelievable vase. It's, it was like tw best part of $20,000 22 years 22 ago. 22 years ago. You've got a strand of identical grade material right now and I'm nowhere near done. Not stopping there, jewelry makers, wow. Yeah. Okay, um, again, I'm gonna give you a 30 second clock. Remember I said this is a five minute showcase. 
Our collectors know an awful lot about Jade. You've got some of the, the best collections in the Western world, and yet none of you can have or, or can claim to have this material yet. This is the only time we've ever seen it. Yeah. We're bringing it directly to you. We're not holding anything back. We're offering it straight away to every collector who wants to be part of this deal. That's a really good point. We've been very fortunate, blessed, if you like, to be yeah. um, to, ha to have had the... Our, our jade story mm -hmm. over the yeah. past few oh, years, sure, Dave. Yeah. But this a is a fairy this tale. Is, yeah, it is a fairy tale. That's perfectly put. It's this is literally first time ever. Yeah. Look, I'm going to half the price. I'm going to take that strand, which is nearly a hundred carats of watermelon, red, green, yellow jadeite, type A, 100% from Burma, um, to 499 with five interest free split payments, which will be interest free split payments in double figures. Yeah. And I'm telling you, even when these sell out, I'm not done. In fact, I'm actually hundreds of pounds away from being done. Hundreds? Hundreds, plural. So you only had 20? Yeah. So normally we're like, lower the price because of the quantity, yeah, but no, we're, we're never going to have quantity I'd of this. We're more than happy to take, uh, even if there's seven of these left, three of these left onto our sister channel, just so they can see it. Yeah. Um, we spend a week or two sourcing the class for the remaining few. But I am going to offer you guys who are tuned in one final deal on this. You need to decide if, if you want to own this natural jadeite from Burma in your collection. These exotic colors, the, the wonderful reds with the greens, with the yellows. That's gorgeous. Is that something you want in your collection? Painstakingly carved to present yeah, yeah. as a pure bicolor, half and half split on every single round. So they'd have to orientate yeah, oh, it so that, so that it would actually include both the colors mm -hmm. or, or yeah, maybe even sure. more colors. Yep. I'm saying both like there's just two. Yeah. Good luck, okay, everyone. Maurice, you're there. Make you there. I, I've, I'm going to say it one more time. So, you know, if, if you are with it in your basket, if you're one of the collectors that has decided you want this, I want to let you know before I go to the price so you don't miss out because we've only got a handful left. I am taking hundreds, plural, off. This will be the final deal. This will be an offer for every single one oh, of you. Seven. seven left. Those of you that have trusted me, congratulations. I have no problem sourcing seven 18 karat gold class for these and then putting them on, getting the team to put these on and, and bringing them to mm -hmm. our collectors on Gempori because they've never seen it either. No. But I'm going to offer you this one last time. First time you've ever seen it. Last time you'll ever see it. Um, Ross, I'm going to ask for a 30 second clock, Adam, uh, please. And then we're going to give everyone the killer final deal today. After this, I've got one limited strand of certified natural lavender jadeite coming your way. Unbelievable. Abs I love it. Do yeah. you know what it reminds me of? And I, it's, it's like a... It's also got that limey, almost like yeah. key lime pie, yeah, yeah, yeah. zesty green. It's mm -hmm. really vivid green, it's just, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's absolutely indistinguishable from that that wonderful, yeah. finely carved red jade bottle that was at the auction house 22 years ago. That's the same colours we're dealing with. Yeah, I agree. Seven chances remaining. A lot of you with it in your baskets. And, well, more people in baskets they obviously have available. Straight down, your deal today, 90 carats, 299 we're going to do it for. Which, the split pay as you now know, will be absolutely ridiculous. What was it on? Five-way? Split pay? It's on five-way, yeah. Goodness me. So hang on, that's about £60 on split pay? I can't even work it out. But you Is that right, what's... Roscoe? About £60 on split pay, is that right? £59.80? Yeah. pence. £59.80. Wow. Um, One of the rarest Susan, you varieties. can do it. Yeah, absolutely. Maker and Cumbria, arguably the rarest. Yeah. Uh, Cumbria, you're there. Maurice, you're there. Maker, you're there. Janet, you're there. Five chances remaining, literally a handful of chances remaining. Those that are successful, Patricia, Maker in Swansea, Deborah, Mary, Maker in London, Maker in Hampshire, Hazel Multibuying, Rupal in Middlesex, Maker in Lancaster. You're all successful. Five chances remaining. Uh, Gigi in California, I yeah, know you want to be part hi, of this Gigi. incredible deal. Um, you can do it. Valerie in Somerset, you can also do it. I've only got five though. That is it. That is all we have. We don't have uh, another uh, showcase coming up. We don't have another opportunity coming up. This is everything we have, and we're making it available for our collectors today. Well, yeah, we've left. never the fact that we've never seen it before, Dave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never. You know, and, and and I know you're very humble in this, but you've got some fantastic connections in the oh, Jade yeah. world. I mean, look, so. I make no bones about the fact that I get to see sometimes Jade that you know we could never bring here. Yeah. I still have never seen material like this. Yeah, you know, out there, it is just too rare. Some material is too rare. Yeah, and you, therefore you don't get to see it. And if you did get the rough. Why would you carve a, a, a necklace like this? Because there's so much waste that goes into it. True. So much waste. 
And um, th there's probably rough like this sitting in vaults all over the Far East, yep. which I completely understand. I'm going to do a one minute clock to close this one because I don't want to oversell it. As I've said, I've only got three chances remaining and you'll know yourself that there is more than three people on the phone lines. Oh, 100%. There's more than three people here in the studio that are interested in getting hold of this. Yeah. It is that lovely kind of zesty, limey yes. green as well. Mm -hmm. Some of the best green. Yeah, super bright green. You can see the yellows in some of these yeah. pieces as well because we are dealing with natural material and it will naturally blend from the yellow to the red. It is known as the yellow to red series because of the oxidization mm -hmm. of the skin. Yeah, uh, And you've fast. got the existence of those tones throughout each of these rounds. Um, I love the way they're oriented. Uh, it's, it's essentially a masterpiece for the neckline, but you guys can work with it in whichever way you see fit, whether it's a, f a couple or three bracelets, whether it's drop earrings, whether it's a cascade pendant, or indeed the strand as it is. 15 seconds remaining, I've got two chances left. Are you going Good to be luck. one of the few collectors that gets this? It's absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. You can do it, but you need to be quick. Yeah. Wow, Dave. Just from Stay the thing, we've seen it all. Yeah. Mother Nature reminds us to be humble. Yeah, we, we, like I said, we are celebrating the fancy colours of Jade Out this morning. Mark, you can do it, uh, as well as Maker in Surrey as well. That is available to all of you. We're going to leave those last few opportunities with you. Um, I said, it's going to be a very fast showcase. That's why I've got an apology deal coming up. Something just as limited, but probably even more desirable, even more coveted, is Taipei Lavender Jade Out. This is certified. And I want to show the lab certificate as well, mm -hmm. because... It's one thing for us to go, oh, this is lavender, you know, this is lavender because we know it's a coveted, desirable, expensive color. This is the lab certificate. Jadeite, and as you can see, the color there, natural type A lavender. Well, this is the only strand we have, isn't it? Yeah, the only strand. I've got, um, again, a double figure quantity, very limited, <gasps> and I'm gonna do a crazy deal on this. And lavender jade right now, is far too expensive. That's why it is the only strand. That's why we can't bring it to you. I was literally saying to Ross the other day, I've just bought some strands very similar to this from, from my own brand. Yeah. And they've cost me four figures each, each. Yeah. And, and I can't believe you get this opportunity. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, just to get three cabochons like this, which three, four years ago, we didn't be able to bring to you. That'd have been maybe 299. The larger one probably would have been a thousand pounds, but it's $12,000 for just those three. Wow. You know, it's $40,000 for that collection. Yeah, and we did, we brought these to air. Yeah, oh, that wow. lavender strand there that. is tens of millions of dollars. I mean, yeah. It is supreme, but that's the reality. Um, lavender jade has become one of the most expensive colors in the jade market today because we understand we cannot find it yeah. in, the, in Guatemala. So there is no material anymore. That there, you can see, that bangle was $100,000. That slice, this one, was ten thousand dollars wow. and they were saying because you know you get these plumes of lavender it's extremely exciting to get that it can be carved or it can be just a piece like that and we've got a full strand of lavender. remember though it's not a normal jewelry maker auction it's not we haven't got a hundred or eighty of these it's a tiny quantity that we've got coming up a tiny quantity you know, the reason lavender yeah. jade is so expensive and so in demand and so difficult to find is because it needs a very rare cocktail of elements to produce it now in uh, Burma, where 99% of all the world's jade came from, it's mined out now, it's very dense in chromium, that's where all the jadeite tends to be green. But to create lavender, you need vanadium and manganese. Okay, a mixture of vanadium and manganese. And in this part of Burma, vanadium is considered extremely rare. Mm. Um, so to, to find it in enough quantities, sufficient quantities, to be able to reduce that coveted lavender color is almost impossible. And we knew it was rare for, you know, the whole existence of jade eye, but it wasn't necessarily as desirable it is today. Yeah. Today, certainly over the last 20 years, and even more so over the last 10 years, it has become akin to imperial jade eye in terms of its value in the market. We're seeing, you know, necklaces like that. Obviously, it's extraordinarily uh, um, saturated in color, but selling for millions of dollars, mm. like what, 21.2 million wow. Hong Kong dollars, which on the right in the book there will tell you that it was 2.7 million US dollars in 2018. That's when the mines were still producing. And they talk about on the left side of this page, um, the trade-off that you do for lavender. So you can either go for a super saturated lavender, like the circle of heaven at the top, but it's very sugary, Yeah. it's very opaque, but the more transparent you get, the less lavender you get. Less color. Yeah, so the, the ring that they're holding there is actually foil back. Oh, okay. So that, that essentially creates a more impactful color. Yeah. The reality is you don't get both. 
Right. And, and when you do, it's millions and millions of dollars. You either go for top, top color, mm. but barely any transparency. And if you want transparency, then you're probably going to sacrifice a lot of the color, which is the reason that like, your jelly bean jade has become so valuable. Your, your material that has barely any color, but supreme transparency is very valuable. To get even a hint of lavender and translucency and transparency is you know, extraordinarily wow. valuable. And to have this certified as lavender, <coughs> when we now know Burma doesn't produce, if vanadium was rare in Burma, it just hasn't been found in Guatemala. So although we are being able to find kind of imperial grade jade in Guatemala, we found black jade in Guatemala. Yeah. We also know there is yellow jade in Guatemala because of the iron content. Mm -hmm. The one thing we've never found in since the 70s and 80s and never has been discovered going back thousands of years when the Olmecs and the Mayans and the Aztecs and we can find all of their ancient jade talismanic uh, uh, um, kind of iconography, you know, their, their god of war masks, their spear tips, whatever it may be that they're using jade for. And we've seen it in ancient tombs. We've seen the color that we associate with the Olmec, the blue. We've seen the greens. We've seen black and we've seen the yellows. There has never, never been a jadeite from Guatemala that we found that is lavender. So it was already on an upwards trajectory over the last 20 years. Now it is, you know, in the same vein as imperial practically. And we've got a strand. But it's one of the reasons why we don't bring you lavender anymore. And it is ridiculously limited. Yep. So I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. And you've seen how quick the watermelon jade disappeared. This is lavender. This is not just a curiosity now. This isn't just, oh, well, that's fascinating. I'd love to have that in my collection. We all want lavender. Of course. We all want that yeah, unique, absolutely. sensational lavender jade eye. I'm, I'm struggling to, to get anything from my own personal uh, jewellery brand, and but I have to have it because that's what collectors keep asking for. Yeah. But I'm having to pay, even for the grade on your screen, even for the kind of carrot weight on your screen, I'm having to pay four figures, thousand yeah. dollars, US dollars, for that material. And I have to do it. You don't have to today. You get to own this 85 carats, Taipei, 100% natural Burmese, lavender, jadeite, but may I really, really acutely remind you that there is no more lavender in the building. And on top this of that, it, yeah. this is just as limited as, as you know, the, the pieces in the showcase that we've talked about today. We have got an apology deal on nephrite jade coming up, but if you want lavender jade, if you want the real deal, then you need to be in sharpish. And we've already got multi-buyers on the phone lines. I think you've, you've learned from the auction that we brought to you of the watermelon that you have to be in quick. But you have to be uh, not just putting in a basket or showing interest, checking out, getting that material into your collection. We've got Swansea and Hampshire and uh, Valerie and oh, Somerset. Wow, look at that. There you go. Look, this is the reality. As we read this, it says, the combination of top color and top water is difficult to find at any reasonable price. Most buyers actually go for the latter. So this is how nearly transparent, colorless ice jade became so popular in China in the last decade. That jelly bean-like appearance with zero color people would prefer to have that than just color mm. but here you've got both you've got color and you've got clarity you've got good crystal you've got translucency this was like two years ago wow in the guangzhou jade marketplace that's wholesale it's pitched from my phone eighty thousand yeah. dollars and, and look i've shown you what a 2.4 or 2.7 million dollar necklace looks like it's like neon purple yeah but that color there which is very pale was eighty thousand dollars wholesale in a market? So that's what eight, sixteen, three, maybe, maybe three hundred and twenty thousand yeah. pounds retail. One hundred percent. Because that's again good crystal and good color. Wow. Right, and um, we have an opportunity for you to own lavender jade out today with good crystal and good color. Wow. It's not two million dollar color, but it's not too far off eighty thousand dollar color. No. You know, no, absolutely. I'm looking yeah. at the two photos alongside one another, yeah. and you can see. Yeah. Because it's a delicate, like almost like a soft wisteria, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, remember the Chinese market will take that. Yeah. Over just good color with no translucency. Yeah, absolutely. They, they, they would prefer just to have the good crystal. You've got both. You literally have got both today. Stephanie's there, um, and I'm going to do. I'm going to do a very special deal for everyone. Honestly. How many do we have? Oh, go on. More than I was expecting. Go on. 55. Okay, 55. But how many do we have now, Ross? Yeah, that's different. 44. There you go. So, But right now, people probably haven't got a Scooby-Doo clue yeah. 
what we're taking this to because we are looking at the rarest color of all yeah so gemologically yeah. yeah 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 so i'm gonna give you a 30 second clock and i'm going to show you where we're going to begin on this and it's okay. not any reference to the worth and value but it is to illustrate the point that you have to be quick so with the other piece i started up at ten thousand pounds because we have no frame of reference yeah I'm just gonna start off aggressive on this because I want you to be able to come in, I want you to be involved, I want you to be able to get your lavender jade if, if that's what you want. 55 opportunities, you can bet your bottom dollar there's more collectors, yeah. you know, that absolutely will be have their eye on this because there's been, what, what years, Dave, yeah. surely? Yeah. 100%. Um, okay, so pretty much everyone's multi-buying. Let me, let me start you off at 799. Wow. Yeah. It even to... shocked Ross. I heard Ross make uh, a noise then just like, what? Oh, yeah, Because Whoa. I want you to know, yes, we might have said we had 55 of these. We don't have 55 anymore. We've got less than 40 now. Um, Maker and Cumbria's got two. Swansea's got two. Hampshire's got two. Because I've, I'm making the point that I'm going to go and do a crazy deal for you. A crazy deal. I mean, we're looking at, I'm looking at this report before us, Dave. Yeah. You know, and again, yeah, but this look, is... that, that is in testament to that piece there. Yeah, okay. Okay, so again, you're dealing with that. That's £34,000. Yeah. You know, the, the reality is you don't get strands of lavender jade in any colour yeah. for any level of affordability. £34,000, yeah, yeah. wow. Yeah, and I know our jewellery jewel makers could easily create that. It's but not yeah, hard. Sure. It's not and hard it, piece And you could probably create your own ideas, your own yeah. uh, designs that you, that you wish to do, but... I'm letting you know right now, this is the only lavender jade we have for you. I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. 30 seconds. Um, if, if you've been dying to get hold of lavender jade, if you've been thinking about it, then oh, I, need, I need to get lavender jade into my collection, then this is your chance. Jackie, Maker, Stephanie, Maker, Valerie, Anna, uh, Cherry, you're there, Cumbria, you're there, Oxfordshire, you're there, Greater London, California. We've got five interest free split payments on this one too. It's going to be a crazy, crazy deal. Good luck, everybody. The only one we have in the business. Yes. And that goes across the partnership. Yeah, yeah. There is no lavender jade. So we jade. could have easily put this on, you know, knotted it, put it on yeah. a gold class. Mm -hmm. You've got your 20th birthday. Yes, we have. But on the horizon. 55 wouldn't have been enough. No, that's true. That, that is the, the reality that we're dealing with. Right, let me take this straight down. This is where it's going to go crazy. Straight down. In fact, Ross, take 500 pounds off. Let's go 299. 299? Mm -hmm. So surely this should be more. Mm -hmm. Surely 299 should be... The final price and it sells yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and quite likely it is going to sell out at this price point. There's a lot of you there. I think some of you were in disbelief. I'm telling you, I'm nowhere near done at 299. Certified by the Chinese labs as 100% natural lavender yeah. jade eye. Um, you've got those elements of translucency. You have got uh, the, op the opportunity to multiply. You've got your five interest free split payments. I am nowhere near the final price on this, the final deal. I think that's an important point that you, that statement, Dave. You know, these are Chinese laboratory certified. Yeah, which is the only labs that I trust when it comes to Jade. Yeah. Yeah, the GIA only started doing Jade reports this year. Okay. Yeah, so because still... notoriously we are behind the, the Far East uh, yeah. when it comes to Jade. We are yeah. so far behind. And um, so I, you know, when, when, I speak to Bonhams, they only accept Chinese lab certs for Jade. Okay. Okay, so th that's the only thing that they will accept. Um, it's the Hong Kong J uh, Jade Lab that's the only one that they will facilitate for, for their Jade offering. Okay. So, um, and the same with like Christie's and Sotheby's, the big three. And we're taking a leaf out there, but we're saying, right, well, we're going to entrust it to the, the Chinese labs as well. The ones that only grade Jade, the ones that only deal in Jade, not diamonds, sapphires, rubies, just Jade because it's so important to them and they've known this gemstone for thousands of years. They understand it on a level that we could never, ever get our heads around. I'm at 299, right now it's 59 pound 80 on your interest free split yeah, The only amazing. lavender jade in the building, certified natural type A lavender. And we can show you the cert as well. It's not like a hint, it doesn't say, you know, like um, aqua. No. It doesn't say uh, white um, with, with lavender. It just says pure lavender. Yeah which is great. Um, I'm taking a massive amount off this. But for the anyone, everyone strong. who's already got it and multiple, congratulations. We appreciate the level of trust that you put in us, that you are saying, yeah, I know this isn't gonna be the final price. I know 
uh, 799 wasn't the final price I'm just gonna get, come in and get two of these I'm gonna make sure I've got over 150 carats nearly 200 carats of type A Gosh, lavender that's jade. amazing yeah. isn't it what an achievement to have done on a what is it Wednesday morning yeah isn't it crazy just casually bought yeah. yourself one of the rarest gems. and look we, we could have saved this for the weekend in the rarest colors we know we have a much bigger audience on a weekend yeah of course and so 55 I mean on the weekend we had a 300 quantity yeah uh 30 second clock then please 30 second clock and i'm going to destroy the price and i absolutely mean that i'm going to stand by it i'm, I'm essentially this is my final auction even though i'm bringing an apology deal i always say when it's my final auction i like to go out with the bang one do something special and memorable this is going to be it lavender jade the one we've been asking for the one we haven't yeah, been able to get the one that we are struggling to get any for any of you and you've been asking for it for a long time we used to be able to get lots of it can't get any more. I've got 10 seconds. I'm going to take this to a ridiculous deal. Um, and uh, I would make sure you're multi-buying if you have the budget to do so. Dave, it's a ridiculous deal now. Mm -hmm. Right, Ross, can we half the price, please? I'm going to go to 149. <gasps> For lavender jade. Yep. And, and look, it's just going to go and we're just not going to have any more. But I want to get it in as many people's collections as I possibly can. So I'm just going to take this and halve the price, 149. Imagine, well, we know what the split pay looks like. It looks ridiculous. There's five interest free split payments on this for a reason to make it accessible, to make it affordable, yeah. to put it within the realms of possibility. And right now, Stephanie, you, you can relax because you said, oh, I'll take two of these. Cumbria take two, Swansea Trust took two, Hazel took two. It's £29.80 on your interest free split payment. Yeah, less than £30. Under £30 pounds on it, five interest free split payments. Well, you payments. know that's far too low. Yeah. You know that's far too mm -hmm. low. When, in fact, when have we ever done type A lavender jade? I don't know if we've ever done. I don't know if uh, Ross, you can probably look in the system. Have we ever done a lavender jade strand at this price? We had one that there was a twelve quantity. Oh, okay. And it sold out. Yeah. But it was four hundred and ninety nine pounds. There you go. Which is amazing. Yeah, unbelievable. And it you know was 499 what? £499. You had fifty five opportunities on here. Yeah. And we're at one four nine, not four hundred and fifty or four nine nine. And you've got your interest-free split payments because we understand it's a Wednesday, you tuned in, you probably didn't think you were going to buy a strand of lavender jade. So today you only have to part with less than £30. That's amazing. And it's 0% interest, you yeah. might as well. Yeah, you? oh for sure, yeah, 100%. You might as well. Wow. If you manage to get hold of this auction and the latter, yeah. what what an achievement. Well, like I said, we're dealing with the fancy colours of jade. Yeah. Today. You know, watermelon bicolour jade. I, um, which we bought to you and, and we only had 20. We came to the lavender jade strand. We still have a uh, remaining quantity of these, so make sure you're there. But I don't think anyone envisaged we'd be going to 149. You know, I've been there in the local markets in the Far East, in Guangzhou, in the markets, not retail, not Hong Kong. Mm. And, and I've seen lavender jade. Yeah. This kind of tone of color. Bigger spheres, granted, but this tone of color, 80,000 US dollars. Yeah. Well, you took a photograph of yeah. it, literally on your phone. You know, and, and, and I think it's so invaluable as well, Dave, that the, the fact that ours is all gem, you know, Chinese gem lab certified. Yeah, oh, for sure, yeah. So you know what you are sourcing. You know, Ross, can I, uh, like I said, because it's my final official deal, I'm going to do an even crazy deal. Valerie, you've just got two. Deborah's got two. Suzanne's got two. Stephanie's Hang on, is got it under two. 30 pounds? Yeah, I'm going lower. So I'm going to ask for a 30 second clock. I've got, what, 20 chances remaining? Exactly 20, okay, yeah. Okay, exactly 20 chances remaining. Um, I've got 25 seconds and I'm going to take it slower. I can't believe we're going even lower. I don't. I look, I want, it, I want to shock you, but more than anything, I want you to own it. I want you to get it. I want to see what you create with this. I want to know that you, we've given you affordable lavender type A jade out from Manuel. You've got 10 seconds right now. And you know, you can wait for the final deal to come on your screen, but you're playing a dangerous game. Mm. There's people with it in their baskets. Good luck. Ross, 99 quid. Oh. 99.99. Uh, it is, I agree, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I think you guys do too as well. But it means like Maker and Lanarkshire can just go, do you know what, I wasn't even going to get it, but I'll get two at that price. Do you know, no disrespect to the colour I'm about to mention, but that's a great price even if it was just a green. Oh yeah, of course. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, sort of fairly... Or any of the jade we bring to you. Yeah. Right, but, but to this have it as a lavender, Maurice, you've got two. The rarest of all. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to wow. do a minute clock to close this one out. Don't think you've missed out. Don't think yeah, you can't do it, you can. There's 11 genuine chances for you. It may be in 50, 60 baskets, but there's 11 chances. It's not the first to put it in their basket. It's the first to check out. Um, we started the clock. There's 11 chances right now. Maker in Swansea's gone for three. Warwickshire's gone for two. Lanarkshire's gone for Don't two. Somerset's you. gone for two. North Yorkshire's gone for two. Greater London's gone for two. Then it goes off my screen, but 
you get the picture. A lot of you are, are, are doubling or tripling your savings right now. And you mentioned earlier on, on Dave, about that one that's foil backed. You know, yeah, um, that, there's that nothing ring. wrong with, I mean, like think diamonds, they often use the actual color of the gold or yeah, platinum yeah, to sure. actually to enhance, sort of enhance it, yeah. the gemstone. Same mm -hmm. with things like your morganites, yeah, often yeah. the rose gold. So you can use things like coloured silks mm -hmm. if you wanted to sure. to encourage oh, 100%, those colours. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of our suppliers do that. Well, and we were our whole thing is we want to create the most beautiful jewellery yeah, in the world, of right? That's what we want to do, and uh, you know, any way that we can do that or improve the aesthetic of the jewellery, we should go for it. We should do it. Uh, you might be the clock. Yeah, hopefully. Very close. It's very close. Good luck. Stay holding. There is one chance remaining, and there's about 30 of you there for it. I, I knew this would happen. I knew this show would end before the official end of the show. Okay. And I've got the deal from the we weekend. We did adamant say we weren't going to be doing this. I know, but apparently we've got 50 of these remaining. Right, now, this okay. is an extra long length. Remind oh, me how long it was again, Ross. 60. Okay, 60 centimeters. Six mil rounds, right? Cotan yeah. jade, 100% <gasps> natural. It's Cotan, yeah. we, we know that the Cotan deposit is it's illegal to mine there now, so it's off limits. You can't get it. That has impacted the price of all Cotan jade. This is an ultra rare variety of like a mint open green. It's 100% natural too. It's a giant carat weight. And you know what? We did an, such an amazing show on the weekend. We had a jade, a Cotan jade link carved neck. Oh, it was we, we had everything going on. It was absolutely on. incredible. It was yeah. a wonderful show to be a part of. And we brought this at the very end as our apology deal, our crazy, unbelievable deal. We had 300 quantity, 250 if you got it, there's 50 left. And because we had such a big quantity and we wanted to uh, you know, say thank you to you for joining us, apologies to anyone who missed out, we went and did a crazy deal. And it's what we would call, I guess, a loss leader. But we, we wanted to say thank you to everyone. And we said, look, even if there's 5, 10, 15, 100 left, we're not doing this deal again. <gasps> Until I came in today, and I was like, we do not have enough Jada. I, the, the show is going to end, which it has. It's 10 to, and we're yeah, done. Yeah, it's finished early. Uh, Ross has just said something. Wayne's still away, isn't he? Yeah. So this is our last chance, uh, you know. Yeah, look, to we're naughty children, aren't we? Yeah, this is what we do. <laughs> you know. Like, we, 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 while the cat's away, the mice will play, and, and, and Wayne's <laughs> away. And um, look, he's taken his eye off the ball, and he's left us in charge. And we are going to do this, even though we shouldn't be doing no. it. No. The, the the reason and our justification for doing it is if we don't the show ends like 10 minutes early so yeah. remember this is natural this is cotan jade this is that mint green it is translucent it's 60 centimeters it's the six mil rounds and i'm going to give you well i'm going to bring it live yeah well, 50 chances that is it and i'm going to do the same deal that i did on the weekend close out <gasps> deal just remembered, Dave. Yeah. I've just remembered because if I sleep, that's it gone. Yeah, how low it's we just went. dawned on yeah. me because I'm thinking about the. We have the same length, sixty yes. centimeters, mm. in an ombre. Yeah. Same size. Yes. Smaller carrot weight. Smaller carrot weight. One nine nine. Yeah, should we go there? Should that's we go to one nine nine? That's crazy. I agree. I'm telling you, there's a reason this is called a closeout deal. This should be an irrepeatable be deal. Very naughty right now. Yeah, but we, we've only got. We only had fifty of these left. You're already flying in. I wouldn't miss out on this. That is what we've sold Cotan Jade for. Yeah. Same length, even smaller carat weights. Yeah. At the price on your screen. And I'm letting you know we are nowhere near done on this. Okay. Nowhere near done. So if you want to come on in and get involved, now is the time to do it. They will not let us do this auction again, even if we have five left no. after today. No. And we were discussing that colour. It's like a like a sagey yeah, colour. Yeah. You know, like this like a sage leaf. Yes. Absolutely. We've got that silvery, beautiful mm -hmm. silver presence and it's so perfectly color matched Dave yeah it, look we know that we pay a premium for the color matching that we've got going on here it's not ombre it's all one incredible color okay if you weren't it was it Tuesday was it Sunday it was Sunday wasn't it if you weren't able to watch on Sunday and you missed out because genuinely I said it at the time it was one of the most amazing historic shows for me carved Cotan Jade linked bracelets just insane insane and then this deal, honestly, it blew my mind. If you weren't able to tune in and you love Cotan Jade, which can I just say, if you don't get to love it, because widely considered as one of the most valuable gemstones on the planet. Yeah, I mean, this is the most valuable jade in the world, you know, the Cotan deposit in particular. Uh, I'll give you a 30 second clock. 
Um, oh. This this is not some uh, this the price on your screen isn't reflective of the working value. No. It's not in line with other retailers. It's against our own selves. This is what we sold a 60 centimeter six mil coat and jade yeah. for. Um, Grace says got mine last night. Such great color. I'm surprised by the transparency. Yes. No problem. Grace already received her. She acquired it. That's good. On isn't Sunday. It? It's speedy already with delivery. you. Very very speedy. Amazing. It's lovely translucency, isn't uh -huh. it? Yeah. Amazing. It's, it's, it's as good as it gets, I would say. Um, straight down. Take £100 off me, please, Ross. We're Ooh, £99. Uh, and that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That is insane. That's the closeout deal. Adam that's... doesn't know. Oh, Adam wasn't here. Adam wasn't here. Oh, yeah, he Adam. just said, what? Yeah, so Adam, Adam, who's always with us, wasn't here on Sunday. It was, yeah. it was Dan, wasn't it? Yeah. That was uh, directing. Um, and he's unaware. And we're looking at this because this is the closeout deal. Um, this after this ends, just so everyone is aware, it won't come back on your screens. Even if there's seven left, I just had a conversation with Ross, it's going to go into an embargo. Oh, okay. Which means it cannot go on screen again. We have to wait until Wayne's back. There is already a request internally yeah. for whatever remains to go onto our sister channel. Now we do this from time to time. Yeah, we yeah. transfer a product between our channels. Times. We had 300 of these. Today we had 50. Now we've got the last 29. I think 99 is incredible. It is a closeout after all. That's, That's insane. Amazing. But Adam, and I'm speaking to Adam because he wasn't here. And if anyone else didn't tune in on Sunday, I can't believe this. But I'm going to give you 30 seconds because we're actually going lower. We're going lower. Not, not clock to close. Not we're going lower, close. Adam. 30 second clock. We're going even lower than 99 99 It's on interest free split payments. They are six mils. We we in the same in the same auction. Remember, I brought the ombre. Yeah. And uh, I told Richard, who, who was tuned in on the phone, I said, That's "Don't right. buy it." Don't buy and it, Richard. I had it on screen, and it was a one nine nine six mil sixty centimeter jade strand, yeah, same material. Said. And I said, "You know what? We've got a closeout deal coming up after this, so don't even buy it." And one nine nine is amazing. One nine nine was incredible. Look, we had people queuing for it. Yeah. On the, like, on the auction, and it. I said, "Look, I'm just going to say something that I shouldn't say. Don't buy it." Susan also got this, just like Grace, and her arrived yesterday very well color matched a lovely soft green very pleased with it yeah, well, yeah good well done everyone's susan. gonna get the same deal that susan got and grace got um but we've only got about 15 chances remaining straight down 79.99 oh it's Last the lowest price ever we've ever done yeah by 130 pounds yeah i think 120 pounds that's a lot crazy absolutely well it should crazy. be doing the opposite going up not down absolutely but we could we literally had to put on the description close out deal we had to put that on yeah. there. So, you know, everyone that was scratching their heads going, how is this possible? Why is this happening? Because it's a closeout. Yeah. That's the only, that's the only justification I can give. Well, it, is an it? it was an apology deal. And it's it's served its purpose twice because it's an apology deal for today too because yeah. we had such limited opportunities on the lavender and the watermelon jade I too. But Ross was just saying, you know, 20 centimetres Cotan jade, that'd still oh. be an amazing price. Yeah, but to have You're 60 talking about 60. Yeah, you're absolutely right. 20 centimetres, 15 centimetres. Seven centimeters yeah. of Cotan Jade, six mil rounds at yeah. a double figure price, but would be insane. But to have you know, the best part of a meter yeah. in the six mils, which is the jewelry maker designer's amazing. kind of uh, uh, favorite size. It's the best price we've ever done. Collector in Hertfordshire, OMG, 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 OMG. Yeah. Uh, I just got my Cotan Jade into looking. <gasps> oh my God. Thank it you. does. We said that, didn't we? Oh my God. I didn't realize where that was going. How quick I thought are you were going to be talking delivered? about this. But you got. The interlocking links that we brought to you on Sunday, it was unreal. It's insane. And it does belong in a museum, I agree with you. Insure it. Yes. Get it appraised and insure it. Not for it. the price that you bought it for. No way. And this, by the way. Yeah, who's delivering for us, by the way? That is I know, insane. that is that rapid. That is crazy, yeah. That is rapid delivery. The show was Sunday, wasn't it? Yeah, Sunday yeah. just gone. Oh my God. Quick turnaround. Yeah, it's like we've got Prime. Yeah. Like Amazon Prime, isn't it? Like yeah. next day, same day. That's wild. And we won't just lob your delivery by your front doorstep. No, we'll actually no, no. give it to you yeah. nicely. Yeah. I mean, imagine <laughs> that with the interlocking bracelet. It's like, yeah, just by the no. wheelie bin, mate. What? <laughs> yeah, I tucked it in the wheelie bin. Took a picture of it for you. Great, thanks. <laughs> Lobbed it over your fence. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. No. Left it with your neighbour or whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you a minute clock to close this one out. Um, we are very, very limited, as you can imagine. This deal will never take place again. Um, so make the most of it while it's here. It should never be here. No. I actually said personally myself on screen. Yeah. This will never happen again. The only reason I'm doing it is because we found ourselves in an identical situation where Two Sunday, we had yep. an extraordinarily rare showcase, but equally very, very limited. Yep. And we understood that you know we're going to have to give you an apology deal 
for anyone who has missed well, that. Well, it's probably not going to be repeated, is it? Because no. it looks like it's going to sell out in any, any yes, second now. Um, and that will be, will be the best Cotan Jade deal that you'll yeah. ever see. Yeah. Ever, ever, ever. Yeah, big, thank big God. Statement, we can't do that again. No, I mean, it's, it's a very easy statement to yeah, make, isn't I it? Agree. It's, it's 79 I also just received my closeout deal, Cotan Jade Plain Rounds. They are so beautiful and tranquil. Yeah. There's a collector again who's also got these home already. And we've had three or four messages already about this auction, telling Amazing. you guys how good it is, how over the moon people are with it. And you've got the opportunity to make it yours as well. You've got interest-free split payments as well. I can't believe how quick you've had your deliveries as well. Yeah. It's literally been a couple of days. Mm -hmm. um, well done, Dave. Wow. Yeah, unbelievable. Thank amazing. you for having me out. I know you've got Always an amazing a uh, masterclass coming up, which looks very exciting. Yeah, look uh, at that. It's the I biggest, know. what is it? I don't even know what it is. What is it again? An engraved ball vice. A ball wow. vice? Love it. So. Yeah, no, I can tell. Look, um, look I'm going to be tuned in. Uh, it looks exciting. It looks fun. And I know that you guys are going to learn a whole host of new skills. So you're not going to want to go anywhere. I'm going to be back with you very, very soon. But thank you so much. Oh, Dave, me. as always, an absolute pleasure. Thank you, thank you so much. You. Oh, jewelry makers, I told you. I told you some more amazing deals. And well done on that cheeky little addition there. That little, uh, oh, 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 there's Dave. Sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> It's all right, it's all good. It it's, um, it's all good. 150 carats, well done. Now do not go anywhere because we've got a brand new tool with our lovely Charlie coming up after this. Hi, jewelry makers. I'm going to be back on the show this Sunday, the 14th of July, with the return of the beautiful quartzite molars. So in your PDF with those projects, I'll show you three different methods on how to make a molar. You can either make one in minutes or you can use a traditional knotting technique. And we also have the launch of some beautiful sterling silver gallery wire. So the PDF that will come with those projects will show you how to make a pendant step by step like this one or this one wrapping around a gorgeous cabochon no soldering required i'm just going to do some wire wrapping which i'm very excited to do because it's my favorite thing so please come and join me if you can this sunday the 14th of july on jewelry maker never miss a show by watching on the go with the jewelry maker app Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker.
Hello everyone, it's Mark here. As you can see, we are in the beautiful Lake District and just behind me, you can see the majestic Lake Windermere. We've just stopped for lunch, so I thought I'd quickly tell you about my next show, which is July the 15th, where I'm gonna be joining lovely Elle and Ross and the crew. In the nine o'clock hour, I have got the most beautiful black and green jadeite kits, which come with sterling silver bead stoppers and chain, beautiful meter lengths. And at 12 o'clock, you know I'm a massive fan of selenite. We have got for the first time multicolored selenite bamboo shapes. So that's Monday, 15th of July. Join myself and Elle from 8 o'clock. That's if I decide to come back. See you soon. Bye bye. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. morning has gone i know the buzz in here a moment ago was just epic it it's was good lovely. Isn't it? yeah it and in good. the box you can feel it everywhere yeah. it's lovely yeah we have got a great job haven't we yeah yeah you know? definitely it's always a, the best job you know you can always I, I think i was saying it to me the other day it was like you know it's 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 not just your standard generic I'm going to commute that far. I know you do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. But, you know, it's not like, well, like I used to work in sales and I used to be in my car all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And yet we get to experience amazing inspiration like this and amazing gemstones from day. Yeah, there's no, the grind is there no, here not grind. at all. It's a pleasure. It's sparkle. And then we get inspired. <laughs> <laughs> by the likes of you Adam's just like hanging on the fact that I've just said you don't have to commute says she says saying to the person who's driven from Yorkshire one week it took us five and a half hours to get home sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry roll out of bed into work AL yeah I do no, I do <laughs> I'm I like that the every corner. day oh no no that I don't <laughs> but I do live around the corner um, anyway yeah it's the Wall of Fame draw whoop, whoop. just before oh. we do We've had a lovely message from Mark. Uh, where are you, Mark? Are you in the Peak District? Lake, Lake District. District. We were just saying mm -hmm. how beautiful that VT was. Wasn't it a lovely VT? Yeah, we were all very jealous. Very, very, very jealous. Are you going to bring this message or...? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, L from the Lake District. See you on Monday. Oh, look at that. Great little ram. I'm lo Is that a ram? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> mm. look it's literally, at that. literally photo bombing. How, oh, that's gorgeous, Mark. You enjoy your amazing rest. You thoroughly, thoroughly deserve it. How stunning yeah, is that? Yeah, I know. I know, he's so lucky, isn't he? Do enjoy you know every minute. I've always been an advocate of how beautiful our country is. Massively so. It's so beautiful. Very special. You know, yeah. I know we complain about all the rain. Well. But if we didn't have that rain, then we wouldn't be, we wouldn't see that. That's right. That's right. And there's no such thing as bad weather, just inappropriate clothing. True. Did you know that? <laughs> says the northerner, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, certainly when I was younger, I used to wear a lot of inappropriate clothes. Yeah, me too. Couldn't you do that now. <laughs> so oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. No. Okay, you wore less, did you, when you were young? <laughs> it was a <wild> thing. <laughs> she forgot her coat. <laughs> no, no you hood. wouldn't, did you? When you were younger, you used no. to go out in like a short skirt and whatnot. Yeah. I'd be like, are you going <laughs> to wear your coat, Elle? No, it spoils the outfit. Now I'm like that. <laughs> I'm not putting heels on. I'm not really comfortable. Yeah, no, don't be silly. Oh, you catch a death. Yeah, oh, yeah, you would I've catch a death. I've just turned into mum. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Literally. <laughs> Me too. You knew what I meant, Me didn't too. you? You knew what I meant. Right then. Oh, lovely Mark. <laughs> Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I can't help but doing voices for that little ram. I mm. like how the other one's kind of like just not, not. bothered. He's <laughs> not bothered. Too busy eating. Like, ah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Oh, this is where I live. Super cute. Um, right then. Okay. We've got a brand new, a brand new tool coming out. Ball vice. Large ball vice, yeah. The size of it. It's, 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 it's heavy. It's heavy. Um, but before we do, should we make a few of our lovely viewers a little bit. Uh, do you want to make a richer? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because we got the draw. Um, should we show off some wonderful mm, pieces? Yeah, you I'll take go it first. Away. I've here got lovely brights here. So I have uh, Donna Tomlinson, and she is nine eight six. These are a pair of earrings I made from polymer clay. And once they have hardened, I coated them in clear nail varnish. Brilliant idea. Then I uh, rounded wire and um, added them to earring findings. Good luck to all my fellow woffers. I love JM with a purple hat. Thank you for always being there. Aren't they cute? Oh, I'm sorry. They should Bless be that way, you. shouldn't they? Yeah. No, Amazing. they're gorgeous. Like those. Very Funky. colourful. Well, I've got the perfect necklace to go with your earrings, in <laughs> actual fact. This is from Michelle Reed. Um, hello, Michelle, you're number 987. And Michelle says, last week I made my own bead scoop from the hundreds of strands I appear to own. Um, how this has happened, I do not know. Um, <laughs> it is a great feeling to be actually using them, not just stuck in the packets they came in. Um, I, I'm sure I'm not the only person. Um, so come on, take the plunge and cut those strands. The jewelry you can make is amazing. <laughs> Good luck, says Michelle. Michelle, that's wonderful. What a lovely idea. It's a vision of colour. Yeah. Love it's that. a great mix, isn't it? Yeah. I really like that. Um, good eye. Okay, so I have Julia Tinsley, 988. Hi all at JM. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame draw. I've created this piece using your beautiful green fluorite. Love fluorite. Uh, the, color, uh, the quality of the stones is so exceptional that it would rival any Pareva. I would I agree. definitely That's agree amazing. with that. Yeah, thank you JM for always being able to trust in the, jewel, in the quality of your products. Love that. Love well it. done. Well done. Lovely, lovely piece of jewellery. Lovely. Um, I have some amazing silver work here from Katura Dixon. Hello to you, Katura. You are number 989. Um, and Katura says, Hello all at Jewellery Maker. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Copper wire bracelet. Oh, copper. Um, I made from wire in my stash after seeing Claire's demo today. I was inspired and all the items are from Jewelry Maker. I twisted and plaited the wire. I hope you like the bracelet. Cannot worry. Wait to receive my copper solder. Hoping for a win. Good luck to all. Katura, that's beautiful as always. You're number 989. Good luck, lovely. I love the overlapping wrap. That's yeah. really cute, is that? So I have some lovely floral pieces here. I think these are super cute. Uh, I've got Angela Smith, 990. Hi all, oh, this week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a necklace made with rainbow moonstone and silver delicas, all components from JM. Good luck to all fellow Whoppers. Loving love that. that. Love it, some lucite flowers. Yeah, there. I love those, they're Very so cute, pretty, aren't they? Yeah. I have number 991 and this is Joanne McCarthy. Hello to you, Joanne. Hi, lovely JM folk. My Whoff entry is two pairs of earrings made using Heshi beads I got from you a little while ago. Simple to make and perfect for taking on holiday. Wishing everyone a lovely day. Um, they're lovely, Joanne. Well done to you. You're number 991. Beautiful. Love the colour blocks. That's yeah. really cool. Very on trend. Okay, so I've got Brenda Chibnall-Smith. Apologies if I... Was... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, 992. Hi all, this is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Pearls and large link chain, all from JM. Could do with some more white fire line. Good luck to all yeah, Whoppers I need and that me. Too. You know, there's never enough, is there? No, I need never that enough. as well. Haven't seen that in ages. Yeah, love yeah. these, love these textured links. I was links, thinking that on the weekend, actually. We mm, yeah, I know. Uh, no, probably trying. 993, I've got some lovely earrings here from Jackie. Hello to you, Jackie. Uh, here is an entry for this week's Wall of Fame pair of sterling silver and amber earrings using inspiration from one of Claire's demos. I bought the amber a few months ago from Jewelry Maker and I've been waiting for a project to use them. Good luck to all and to you, Jackie. Good luck. They're amazing. Love Glowing them. amber, Love 993. Amber. Very cute. Now, this is fab. Love the bracelet. So I've got Julie Dudley, 994. Hello again, everyone. Heart and smiley face. 
Uh, this week for my entry of Wall of Fame is a slider bracelet I made this weekend for my next door neighbor's birthday. That's Aww. so lovely. I just used a faceted amethyst oval and a couple of small pearls and I had a really uh, and I had a really quick gift. Everything is from JM. Good luck everyone. Loving that. Yay. Lovely Charlie. Love right. It. Come on. Am I am I twirling you, you picking? <laughs> Come, oh, come on, come, come on, lass. on, come on, lass. You can make some. No, you, no I'll twirl. You make oh. someone richer. Well, the twirling is on my side. Yeah, I know, but I want, oh, you, right. to, I want, <laughs> I want you to be the. You to be the. Okay. Oh, you can do the twirling as well if you want. I can twirl. Okay. I like to. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> well, oh, wait. Oh, it's on the wrong side. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you just draw the winner then. Just, oh, is that yeah. what we're doing? Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Hundred pounds. Credited to your jewelry maker account. Do this every week. Nine five eight. Oh. Nine five eight. Jay Cousins. Jay Cousins. Jay Cousins. Hundred pounds credited to your jewelry maker account. <laughs> Super cute. Super cute. Right, go on. You can spin it for me now. Oh, way. There you go. Okay, thank you very much. And I'll do the runner-up. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, I know. It's good. Do that all day. It's good. Right then. Fifty pounds credited to their jewelry maker account. Drum roll. I have one. Oh, it's close. It's close. It's close. It's close. Nine hundred and fifty-five. That's Joe Hall. Joe Hall. Joe Hall. Hall. Yay. Well done. Yay. <laughs> Get your entries into the Wall of Fame. The only stipulation, really, jewelry makers, is that they're jewelry maker products. Drop us a message and a photograph and away you go. We'll pass that over to lovely Lauren. We've got to there be in it go. to win it. Because I've got a big ball vice. I've got to manoeuvre into the desk. <laughs> Good is luck moving that. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Should I do it? And set? because it's a rubber block, it doesn't slide either. Okay, that's okay. That's not heavy. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make Charlie's, sure you go, eh. Charlie's obviously <laughs> going to talk me through I all of this. Then we've got this. I like how she makes it all like a bitch. Like, what is that? Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what they are. That's the thing. Oh my goodness, this is so heavy. Ridiculously heavy. Okay. There are 44 of these. Yes, and super limited. Oh my goodness. I'll move that. You put that. Like it's. Watch your nail. It's proper. Yeah. It's really heavy. Yeah. You're not going to shake that as an eight ball, are you? No. <laughs> like, it's. Heavier than a bowling ball. I should have weighed it really. Yeah, it's mm, got to be. I have scales, be. but that's too heavy Three for my kilo, scales. Three kilo, maybe something like that. Something like that. I, I mean, I, I don't. Sugar, two, I can't. Yeah, about three bags uh, more of than bags of sugar. Yeah, three. I reckon maybe. Probably more than that. Three more, maybe five kilo. Oh my! I gosh. don't know. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> so anyway, what does a ball vice do? Right. So it's for work holding. Okay. And okay. It, you've got to have a little bit of imagination as well, because not only does it something very, very small, like um, you can set a tiny, tiny, teeny weeny stud, but you can also jump to a sheet that size so it's 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 for engraving and stone setting but you can also broaden with it and, and add things to it so because there's so many accessories to it i'll try and run through them all with you and then at the end if we've got enough time to do something with it i'll show you but i just want to kind of demystify a lot of it to you yeah because i'm looking oh and it's a jewelry maker one as well so oh got our jewelry yeah maker logo. Got can logo we see that on, on the there. overhead can you see that can you see I do like when you put your name yeah. on stuff. Yeah, there it is. Ah. And he's like a twinkle, doesn't it? But there's it? only 44. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. No. Um, I need to point out, like, we've just been talking about the weight of this. Obviously, that means it's quality. Yeah. But you still only pay the one postage packaging. It doesn't matter. It's not an ex it, you know, some companies will actually increase the postage because of the weight. Yeah, definitely they will. Yeah, I mean, depending on what you've ordered today, it could be this, it could be loads of stuff. It's all one postage packaging, yeah. so it's mental. So, what you've got is a key. Key. Okay, the key is important and what's really good about this is you've got two locking points. So your top one, that's right, Al. Yeah. So you pop it in and when you roll it forward, it'll open. Oh yeah. You're going back. Literally. Oh, that's interesting. Yours goes left, mine goes right. <laughs> Either way, it'll go it'll open one way and close, close the, the other way. way. Okay, so we've opened up our vice. Now this one at the bottom, which you might not be able to see. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's at the bottom. There's a lot it? of stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah, so what you'll see 
So if I push in, position that in the middle, can you see how heavy that was? Yeah. So you've got a nice twirl. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, yeah. But then I've also got stationary. Oh, you can vice that too. Yeah. Which is really important if you want to do a large piece and you're working in, in a big on a big surface area. So I'll show you. So with all your uh, accessories, and you have got loads, trust me, you've got loads. So I'll try and break it down. So with L's, you've got your lovely long feet. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm jumping around all over the place, girlies, you'll have to tell me off. Um, you've got these. Now these, there we go. There's four of them. Now, if you want all four, you'll have to peg all four, obviously, but for now, because it can be a little bit fiddly, can't speak. Mm. Um, I'll only do a couple. So you've got these funny shaped little pyramids. Can you guys see that? <coughs> can yeah, I, I can hold it up. Hard to move around. So the, the big fat pyramids on that side, you've got a hollowed out um, channel in the middle and they fit perfectly on the arms. So what you need to do is line them up first. And I will move my fingers out of the way in one second. And you've got some pegs on the bottom and you will peg that in like that. So we've got one here okay does that make sense yeah oh yeah. you can see it's holding it in place and you would do the same on the other side so just bear with me one second while i do that what you'll find is with something like this because you can't predict what work you're going to be working on later down the road what you'll find is it's a little bit like a jigsaw where all the pieces fit together anyway not just one way so you're just going to have to have a little bit of a play with it all so now I've got that locked in with the little supports. Go the other way. Now this is just a bit of scrap sheet. I only really use brass for um, templates and for tooling. So what this is, is 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. So with a little bit of adjusting, I can get this entire sheet in. One moment, oh. keep going. And your little grippy pads right there, we've got enough. And then you're gonna lock that back in. Am I going out, going in? I should have locked it, right. So there we go. So I'm locking it in nice and tight. Obviously, if you're working on a piece this side, which let's, let's face it, you're not going to unless you're doing like a number plaque for your house. Really, you wouldn't work on a piece that size. Okay. Well, you can yeah, you could do, yeah, definitely. Um, and we can tilt it's so it. Yeah, well, that's it. So the rubber mount underneath is really good for it not moving and slipping about. And then obviously when you've got your key in place at the bottom lock, you can lock it so you can literally work on it just like that. It's really big for you. <laughs> it fills so, the screen, doesn't it? So I'm have sorry. you ever had one that big before? Not this size. No, uh, not this size. Not this size. I will show you my mini one <laughs> you want to see my mini one okay so i've got this one this one ate that one but it looks like it ate three of those can you see yeah. that right okay stop <gasps> okay so this one is great because i it can it moves around but it's small and it's for much smaller pieces damn it and then the bigger one is for <laughs> the biggest okay not helping <laughs> sorry i'm so sorry i'm just trying to compose so myself obviously if i had let's say i wanted Ugh. to do an entire scene on here and i want mountains and trees and all that lovely stuff yeah you could actually layer up so once you've i haven't, I haven't really got a pen let's see if this will work i'll use the back of an engraver so we could do a lovely hat like that draw a scene and then you, you can't even see that and then you can stack it up so that's that. That's what these arms are for. Right. So obviously, if you want more support, there's more support. Just add a couple more legs in. Okay. But obviously, you can do a much smaller scale. Bear with me. One second. I'm locking that one. Let me lock that one. And then undo this one. So right. Okay. So that's off. So that's the arms. And obviously, there's two more. For if you want more. So that's that, right? Then we've got some smaller versions of the same support holders. So that's that. And you've also got, sorry guys, let me move it out of the way. 
Okay, so here, these two only fit in the center. And what they have is, again, the little pegs on the bottom and they will lock in the center. Now, I'll move again, guys, I'm sorry. There's loads of information in the instructions and different examples and things. So yeah, you do get the instructions oh. with it too. Right, okay. So here you're thinking, okay, that's a really strange shape. I mean, what the heck would you do with that? Yeah, exactly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you boys, I'm gonna show you. So what I've got here, right, if I close it, you've got grooves on the inside of each mm, pocket, I would suppose you call it. You've got a slightly smaller one, slightly large one. And if I open that up and pop, and this is a little cheaty cheat engraving, engraved stud. So all I've done is remove some material on the outside edge and it gives it like a facet. And if I wanted to set the stone, that's too small in it, you can't see out. If I wanted to set the stone in here, I can work on it all the way around. But I can also, if I'm having a problem with like getting everything in place or I'm struggling with my um, graver control, I can lock it in place and it's not going nowhere. Okay, I'm actually moving the table more. So that's those little pockets. Yeah, You've got your little sense. studs. It's clever, isn't it? Yeah. But it's also, I mean, I was sent these lovely mounts. Um, now these are in a bit of an unusual shape. So I thought, oh, that don't fit in that one, but it does go in this one. So you would again, open it up, make sure it's straight, lock it in place, and you can do all the work you need to on this big one. And because it's high up, if you work on a, like a kitchen table, if you haven't got a bench and you want to do a bit more stone setting, it's the perfect height because it, it's raising the work up to you, yeah. whereas your kitchen table is normally a little bit lower, isn't it? Yeah. So that's that bit. Now you're thinking, well, the thing looks a bit of a weird shape here, doesn't it? What the heck do you use that for? I'll show you. Right. So I've got a bracelet here. And if I open it, no, I'm using locking one. Hang on. If I open it up, what that does is spread. Now, if I was using this at home and this was a piece that I had to be really particular about and really careful, this was just a practice piece for measurements. Anyway, um, I would put thermo lock on the inside. Yeah, because any Yeah, that's right. So you don't want any marring because you're gonna have to go back in and tidy it up. So if I tighten that up and stretch it out, I can then do engraving work on the top. And if I turn it on its side, I can do graving work on the side, all of that jazz. That's where the ball part really comes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because you can actually rotate it. That's it. I mean, it is heavy, but it has to be heavy on purpose. So like with this one, it's really lightweight and I can move it around, it's lots of freeing. But you, when you're engraving and when with some bigger pieces of jewelry, you need it as stationary as possible. So that's that. That's your bracelet component. I keep going it wrong one. Right, what else we got? So you have got um, two sets of pins and mm. it's quite self-explanatory. You've got taller ones and shorter ones, the ones with the little rubbers on. Yeah. Um, if you find, some pieces are a funny shape. So when you work on, oh, I don't know, what have we got? Um, let's say you've got a bit of sheet here and it's a really obscure shape because you're doing something quirky, why not? And you've got your little pins with its caps on. What you'll find is sometimes you'll be thinking, because your brain automatically goes, I need to use all four of those same pins. Well, actually you don't. You can use a combination of your pins just to make sure that you've got the most oh, support. It's like battleships. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? And you just have to be a bit strict. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So you don't have to limit yourself just to using all the same pins at the same time. And in the, some of the instructions, you'll see that I've used, um, what did I use? I used the triangular pins with uh, a round pin because I had a funny shaped um, stud. Would you, do you need to do your bit? No. So we've got that bit. That's them. Super easy. And then obviously the taller ones are self-explanatory. If you've got a really high piece of work, you can go in and use your high piece of work. Am wow. I moving too fast? No, we good. this is amazing. Because uh, literally, if that 
if you weren't walking and talking me through this, I wouldn't have a clue how to use this. Yeah, well, do you know, this is the thing, like, I mean, um, Katie sent me some lovely mounts and some fantastic stuff, but I just thought, really, the most important thing for you right now, at this moment, is to learn what all to these know bits what it all do. Does, yeah. yeah, so the, the, it's work holding. It's self-explanatory. You know how to work, uh, hold on to things. But when you first start, it's the hardest part to learn. Mm. And just by investing a little bit in the right tools that are going to be flexible, yeah. you're going to achieve achieve a higher end finish because you'll hold on to your work at the bench peg and you've got nothing more freeing than using your hands but what you don't have is lots of support no. and then you make your fingers hurt and da 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 something like this opens up some massive doors to you well we've got 44 available i want to show you a price elsewhere um again our immediate our, our, our closest competitor is cookson cookson gold yeah and you can get a GRS standard block work holding vice with 34 piece accessories. Seems about right. Yep. Yeah, big That's box. Over a thousand pounds. Yeah. That's why I got this one because carting that around, it's expensive and you don't want to be yeah. dragging that all the way a up the country. A thousand pounds worth of bit of kit there. Yeah, I know. Um, okay. It's a lot of money. Let's open the auction because the price that we're going to do today and it's the first time I've ever actually heard Ross make this price, you know, statement, I suppose. The price for this amazing tool is outstanding. That. Um, hello to you, is that Linda? What a brilliant piece of kit. <laughs> I need to hide it from my hubby. Yeah, I bet, because this is the thing, it's one of those, it's not just gonna be, it's not just jewelry makers who are gonna love this. And you're not gonna have to spend a thousand pounds, Linda. Hi, Margot. I've got a ball vice, it's brill, worth every penny, it's really, really heavy, and only three ninety ninety-five posters and packaging sport rotten we are. I'm so. genuinely, I am struggling to lift this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carting that in my bag one. It's so <laughs> it's so heavy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Remember the price of that one on Cooks and Gold? GRS is like creme de la creme. Very, and so are their prices, okay? You, it's a, an investment. Mm -hmm. There's the GRS price. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see ours? The yeah, first please. One. Yeah, please. Our first price. Basically. There's only 44, though, jewellery makers. Any questions? Text in. First price crash. Go yeah, start somewhere, won't we? Outstanding, says Ross. Um, if you go to Cooks and Gold, do they do 0% interest free? Mm -mm. Oh, do they? They do. But only three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah. you get you get the option with five with us. Next price crash, still not your price. Still not your price. We've halved it. Do you know what this is going to? No, no, we don't get to know that bit. We're kind of in the dark with that bit. Oh. I don't know why, but we are. That's still not the price. Okay. Half. And you're never going to need to replace this, are you? As long as you look after Hell. it. No, 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 no. And the thing is, if you unwind it and it all comes back, you just put it back together again. It's really no big deal. Yeah, even I can do. Together. Yeah, even you I can, can do, do that. Yeah, she can do that. And that's saying something. I'm, I'm like a tool. I'm, I'm nervous of tools normally. <laughs> Today, jewelry makers. Two nine nine. Eight, what, three, 700 pound. 700 pound saving. Insane, isn't it? Less than 60 pounds on your split pay. And it's still not your final price, jewelry makers. Still. Even the girlies are getting excited. I know. <laughs> Amazing deal. For what would normally be quite an investment, wouldn't it? Massive investment massive investment and we all kind of look to that and wish and hope that our workshop was full of really expensive tools but this here today i didn't think you would venture into did you no i didn't i didn't think you would but you have but we have and we haven't just ventured into it we've made our own both feet and made it affordable look one thousand over a thousand pounds on cooks and gold or you can buy jewelry makers version 
for £199 <laughs> with 0% interest, five-way split pay. That's £40, jewellery makers. And you could be working with it. You've seen, you heard it last hour, didn't you, how quick our delivery has been lately? Yeah, I know. Amazing, Did right? You? That's yeah, great. Couple yeah, a couple of day turnaround. Make, yeah, a couple of days. And you could be working on those pieces that have been driving you nuts for a while. Yeah, that, this might take a little longer. Because let's be honest, it's so heavy. I can't... I can't... Why do they give me the heavy stuff? <laughs> I don't know. This is, it's so heavy. I'm just trying to work out the it's weight wonderful. of that. It's wonderful. And I really like the fact that it's got a solid rubber base. Yeah. You've got no chance of slippage. You've got no chance of knocking that off your workbench, you know, when the door rings or whatever else it is. It's going nowhere. No, absolutely. You can really feel how solid this piece yeah. is. And again, it all pivots. Even I can figure that bit out. And, and if I can do place. it, there we are, locked into place. Go in, no, it's a lovely grip, isn't it? It's yeah. not loose, it's not wobbly, it's great. Love it. Amazing. We only had 44, though. Violet, Linda, Fiona, Susan, Alison, Jenny, Sharon, Susan, Michael. Well done. You've also got Derbyshire, Lynn, Sharon, Jane, Lily, Cornwall, Bristol, Susan, Sandra, Maker, Sharon, Hampshire, Cumbria. Quarter of the stock has gone. We are actually over allocated jewellery makers. So you can pay £1,000 at Cooks and Gold. Um, or you can source the, the brand new jewellery maker version. So that, that's literally how we're bringing them to you at your, uh, your amazing prices is because we've made our own. That is amazing, isn't it? I know when you bring these premium products to air, they sell out so quick. Yeah, they do. And then you don't get them back in stock. So you always end up kicking yourself, especially with your collect blocks and things like that. I always kick myself. So this is not to be missed. I, I literally think it's probably because it takes so long to make. Oh, definitely. It's not straightforward um so I'd love it i think i mean there's loads of you with it in your basket can we ross says i can see you there you've got it in your basket and if there is a little bit of room to be wiggled yeah. he'll wiggle it <laughs> <laughs> We can go even lower, really, Ross. Let's do it. Guaranteed sellout, though, jewelry makers. Guaranteed sellout. <laughs> Karen and Derbyshire and Lynn and Sharon and Lily and Cornwall and Bristol. Um, there's multi buyers on this. I'm not surprised. Again, it. I mean, as as a as a metalsmith or a silversmith or a wire worker, these items are. Um, absolutely invaluable. Sorry, I know. I know I, I, I was the worst. I think I started it all. You went did from start there. it all. <laughs> Not intentionally, I need to point out. <laughs> At £179. Oh, oh. You can be paying, like, with items this heavy, some places it's like 50 quid postage. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll charge you for the delivery. Oh, yeah, and then some. Yeah, definitely. And do you know what? I'd be really naughty just pay the extra and get it even faster yeah even faster a couple who of wants to wait to crack on with their stuff well, right? well yeah a couple of i mean that being said like i said it was a couple of days yeah well weekend. that's it yeah but i don't want to guarantee that yeah a couple of a couple of quid and you've got in a few days yeah 35 pounds and 80 pence on your split payment if you have any questions jewelry makers then do text in yeah, please do. and please don't leave this in your baskets because there's only 44 ever actually launching uh mandy says i got a ball vice a few months back not from yourselves, as I didn't know you did them. But they are a game changer for stone setting. Um, I think this is new, Mandy. So, yeah, I, yeah brand new today. Yeah, so, brand new today. Didn't know it was coming. No. Very quiet on the hush. So you weren't kept in the, the dark no, on your no, own. No. We were as well. But she's, uh, Mandy, Mandy's right. It's a game changer. And it's a great investment. You mm -hmm. know, it's one of those items that absolutely, you know, will pay you back dividend, I think. Oh, tenfold yeah tenfold and it's going to save your hands it's going to it's going to save you um hand fatigue because when you're working against your bench peg and just the pressure of your hands and your your other hand holding your mm. work um yeah it, it causes a lot of stress and strain so that is going to relieve an awful lot of pressure for you and then obviously when you lock it you can keep your hands steady and rest here use your little finger as especially, a guide especially if you're working with things like um saws and things like that i mm. guess you need to make you know ideally keeping your other hand yeah. away i mean like gravers they are th sharp th it's a it's a weapon you know it's it's bit, and if you that's another tip actually guys when you're working on your piece you're going to naturally want to cup it like that just like a cup 
Uh, don't. Hold down here and that's all you need to Get know. Get into the habit yeah, of doing that. Yeah, because if you slip with your graver, that is going straight into your hand. And if you sharpen that, I'm telling you now, Ooh. it'll make you cry. <laughs> and the, 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 um, it's really important to think about your hand placement, but because this is so big, you'll wrap around it. And then when you see that your finger's at the top, just drop it down. If you slip off, you're going straight over across your hand, nowhere near. Yeah. Yeah, get into, get into good habits. Need exactly. Get into yeah, good habits. Well so hold it sort of at the bottom of it. Over half the stock has gone, jewelry makers. So again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. I can still, still see some of you in the process um, of checking out right now. Um, have you got more? Yeah, us, yeah. Right? Let's let's talk a little bit more about it. So as you um, progress, I've got another little bit and of you've got um, instructions as well, haven't you? Yeah, you have got thing. instructions just so that you can refer back to it and be like, oh, I've forgotten what that peg does or where where does that go and what have you. Um, but a lot of things need um, lo lots of work that you do will be uneven, strange shape. I've lost my other piece of sheet. Anyway, right, we'll try this one. So um, you've also got triangular pins. Oh, I think these are wicked, these things. And if you look, guys, I'm sorry, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Oh yeah, you can. There's a groove right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this will fit in that. Nice, nice and neat and tidy. Sorry guys, I'll hold it for a bit longer. So that isn't going nowhere. I can slide it up and down because we're not yeah, pegged yeah. in, but that is going to support your sheet really well. I have got another little bit somewhere, but I don't know what I've done with it. So, Do you want to borrow we'll have this? a play. No, I need to, I had a, oh, I had a really strange piece of sheet. Yeah, I don't really like saying that word because last time I did it, I swore. So, um, what we'll do is we'll peg in. We'll peg in, bear with me one, guys. One minute, guys. I like it. <laughs> it's good fun. It's never dull, is it? No, never a dull moment. Never here, dull. Really. Never. So this might not be the right kind of setup. So what we'll do is we'll move that one to this side. Sorry guys, my fingers are gonna be in the way for a moment or two. And then we'll So you'll have to go in and just figure out where is the best place to put your pegs and then I'll just give you a little bit of a tip with that as well. So we've got that in. I'm going to lock it tight and let's clamp it in. Now don't clamp. When you've got an empty space here, unless your sheet is really thick, if you clamp really tightly, you might get a bit of flex if it's if it's a thin piece of sheet. I think this is one mil, maybe 1.2. Let's try it. You've got to go slow, guys. I'm sorry, I don't want to get my gravers out and take your finger off so that's all nice and locked in place but I've got three different types of pegs I've got two pegs and then a long tall um, one with a cap on so what have we got so I've got a nice clear space to work on here and what I could do I'm only going to do a bit of because um, in the in the engraving world I'm basically an embryo I'm not even on the plane yet so we'll do a bit of border work don't laugh and we've got, what I'm doing is just walking up. Can you see that? So that's just a bit of border work. Can you zoom into that a bit, Kat? Can you, can you get any closer to that one? Yeah. Can't really see that, can you? Oh, wow. I know, you're like, oh, man, you did a line. That's amazing. How cool are you? <laughs> it's no, a line. But then you but do, that's how you create texture, isn't it? Exactly. In the same way. Your border work. Can you see that if you do the front on camera? Um, we've got a message, yes, there we go. Kind of. We've got a message for you as well from Michael um, in Cheshire. That is really an outstanding yeah. price. Beats any of the birthday deals. Thank you, Ross, the discount boss, move <laughs> over Wayne. I like that, Michael. I like, I like, that, I like that a lot. You gonna take that one, Roscoe? He says, I'll have it, I'll have, that, it. Yeah. I'll have it. it, I'll have it, I'll have it. Um, hello, Lily in Essex as well. Been wanting one of these for ages. Just could not justify uh, GRS price. No. Um, saw it on my email on the TV guide this morning. Oh. Um, I've only had three hours sleep, but worth it. Well done. <laughs> Bless oh, Lily, yeah. you can go and get yourself a little nap now. Yeah. Have a nice little nana nap. Yeah, you won't sleep when this arrives. You'll love be on it all the time. I love a nana nap. I do, but I always feel groggy when I wake up. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
No, love it. <laughs> You're not doing it right then. You know, just not doing not it right. Not, I'm not sleeping Embrace right. Embrace it. <laughs> um, at 179 pounds. Yeah, it's. So many yeah, people have got it in their baskets. That is your price. We cannot go any lower. Every single penny. It's a thousand pound on Cooks and Gold. We've got a hundred. We're at 179 pounds. There are 14 left. So, Fiona, you've just taken us to 13. Well done, lovely. Roz, you've done it. Wilch, you've done it. Paula, you've done it. Dobbs, you've done it. Lynn, you've done it. Jane, uh, Michael, Susan, Lily, I can see you there. Sharon, Jenny, Alison, Susan, Sandra, Linda, Violet, Jacqueline in Merseyside. 0% interest, five, five way split pay. And guys, I've barely scratched the surface with demoing this, honestly. Like, there's so much more. There's not enough. I could, you could do a whole show just on this tool. And you get your instructions as well. Yeah. For free. So if your name is, well, if you live in Cumbria, firstly, um, <laughs> if your name is Sharon, Fiona, if you're Maker, if you're Susan, if you're Bristol, if you're Cornwall, if you're Sharon in Lanarkshire, if you're Karen in Kent, Joanne in Norfolk, uh, Helen in Barnsley, if you're County Armagh or Jan in Gwynedd or Julia in West Midlands or Carolyn in Devon, um, you get a full 30 day money back guarantee. Not that I think for one second you're gonna need it. No, not at all, not at yeah. all. It'll be a staple tool in, at your bench or even at the table if you've not got a bench and aspire to have a bench or you haven't got a bench peg, you can, you can use this tool around the same process. Yeah. So yeah, wise investment at, at uh, one seven nine, yeah. Yeah, what's That's the split amazing. pay again? Split pay is like thirty five oh. something, is it? Is that right? Yeah, because it's five way. Crazy. You could you could rent a seat at someone's um, bench three times, four times, five times more than that per day just to use their tools. You can have those tools in your own, in home, your own home, which is yeah, quite that's a good point. Yeah, it's it's it, it opens a lot of doors to you. Wow. Yeah, thirty five pounds and eighty pence split pay. 0% interest, why not? Why not? Um, there's the instructions that comes with it. It's a solid. Any so, else? Yeah, Carry so on. obviously you can just use your usual um, uh, setting your ring mounts. So I've just placed it on the inside, which is fantastic. And what I've done is I've filled it out with um, a, ring a ring inside, I've forgotten what they're called now, but you can use thermo lock. Um, if you are using thermo lock, I would maybe find it with a little bit of um, masking tape first, because you'll find that thermo lock will be a bit tricky to get off your work. So you can clamp your ring just using that. Natalie is doing some braiding with you on Sunday. You can use it as a vice. It's so, Sunday, Sunday I think she's quite, yeah. um, she does some braiding. You can clamp your wires straight into the vise as if it's a vise. And because it's so heavy, if I were to pull on that, it's not gonna shift anywhere. So you can have a really tight braid if you want. Now. Uh, Natalie's just texting actually. Oh, why, actually. why spend a fortune elsewhere when you can get this? With this incredible postage price and instructions for Charlie. She's Brilliant. a legend. See, see uh, Natalie's in, um, working towards smithing as well. So yeah. she's just starting to get in a set up and stuff. So it's all things that we all aspire to have, but we Absolutely. can have it at an affordable price, which is mental, don't tell yeah. GRS. So as you go further down your path, you can make yourself a little tool. So here I've just got a chock of wood with another chock of wood but I've got my line bracelet attached to some shellac. And because that... Shellac? Yeah, it's made from a, sh it, it's, uh, okay, uh, uh, I'm gonna really put you off now. It's excrement from a shellac beetle, but they use it all over the world to hold your work. Okay, look at that. I can work on that did entire piece. Did I just piece. hear that right? Yeah, you did, yeah, you did, I know. No, <laughs> Adam, I knew you'd love it, you like bugs. <laughs> Basically, it's from a shellac beetle and they produce shellac and it comes in like little discs like that and you would melt it on. What I do is, is I break mine up into pieces, then use my torch and give it a nice little lick and then I get my line bracelet and lay it over and I give it another little lick. I've gone too far on this side actually, you'll be able to see because the shellacs come through the setting. Well, that's fine because I haven't done any setting work yet, so that'll get removed. Um, and then you would just heat your piece up again, heat it up to lift off your piece once you've set all your stones. Oh, so it goes hard and then... And yeah. 
And you can soften that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. You can even just use a lighter. You don't actually have to use a torch. I will point out though, that stuff is real stinky if you burn it. So do it next to an open window because you are burning excrement, really. <laughs> but we do some weird stuff in the jewelry world, don't we? But it just, I mean, look at that, how professional, high end, great for photography, even if you don't want to work on it. And because it's so solid, I can work at this end, which has no support whatsoever. And then it's that finish all yep. the way. But you can go smaller. You can go smaller. You've seen me demo with that tiny little chocolate wood. Yep. That setter's pitch on there. And I would just basically set my... Um, studs on it i would have uh -huh. the post hanging down the side and you would clamp that in the middle if you have a piece that's driving you nuts and you don't know how to set it um set it up in your in your vice with some of these pins you might think oh i've put all my pins around but i could do with an extra millimeter around that peg get some ptf tape okay mm, okay plumbers use it yeah, really good stuff, it sticks to itself. So if you need an extra bit of thickness, you would literally just wrap that round until you got as thick as you wanted. Let's say that's how much you need. Tear it off and you've just made, you squish it in a bit. You've just made it thicker so you can actually reach your work with the other side. So let's just say you've got, because you don't have to engrave just metal, you can engrave gemstones. Bear in mind, you'll have to use um, diamond ball burrs, but I think jewelry maker have them. I don't know if you can see have that. Have you done that? Yeah. Can you see? It's probably not in the best place for you guys, is it? It's a, it's a carved gemstone. Yeah. yeah, Natalie's carved it. I did, actually, with the little ring with the white. Are we running out of time? Sorry, guys. No, no, you're all right. The white one, that was an experiment, the silver ring. Yeah. Sorry, Elle. Yeah, so that one... Bit of an experiment because I had no idea what that stone was. So I used a diamond drill bit. I could have done with some smaller ones. And then because you couldn't see it, I've just added some um, turquoise yeah. to engrave the stone and the ring shank. And that's all done on here with one of your signet mounts. Now, if you're not confident, um, you, can, you can do your engraving work on your shoulders with this already set up. Then you can go in and solder your ring together. <coughs> that's amazing. You can engrave like birth flowers and everything. Oh, on honestly, there. Elle, the world is your oyster when you can hold your work. Yeah, it does. It does. I could. It might sound really straightforward, and it might be. You might be thinking, oh, no, I don't. I'm sure it. Um, you, it oh. would make your life so much easier, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely saves your hands. Yeah. I'm not kidding. The 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 stress mm. on your knuckles and on your joints after you've been doing it a really long time. It, it does it sometimes I'll cry at the bench because it's that intense Aww. and you know the next day I can't pick my coffee cup but this um amazing well look there's loads of you with it in your basket for the final three please I've literally check only out got three left because I doubt you'll get it back you never do when I check so no yeah. well I don't I don't know it I've I, I think don't I'm know. just unlucky <laughs> I'm I don't, not fast I don't enough. know <laughs> it's one of them I would agree if you'd Unless, of course, you're happy to pay the higher price points elsewhere. But we had 54, uh, 44, sorry. Um, That's ooh. not very many, I know. I've made such a mess, I'm sorry. No, you have. <laughs> we'll tidy it up, don't you worry. Now, um, we've got time to squeeze in just yeah. a couple of more deals. Come in. Have you seen this? No. Natural. Mm. Peacock Angelite. <gasps> How gorgeous is that? There's oh. nine available. Absolutely stunning. I think that'd go well with my shirt. I just say so. It would go beautifully yeah, with your shirt. Well with um, yeah, we've been offered Peacock Angelite -like moving forward. However, it will have the flex of yellow in there. Mm. So to get that classic Peacock Angelite -like colour um, like this, with the kind of like feathery chatoyancies, yeah. um, it's very expensive. I can very, imagine. very, very expensive. You know, um, Angelite was only actually discovered in the 1987. That was the classic blue that we've seen. Yeah, 1987. Was, yeah. was it? Yeah. And Adam. <laughs> you really? two would have been in school together. Oh, growing vegetables. There now you together. go. Now you're growing your veg. Um, here it is. This is a sample that we've actually been offered moving forward. But just to let you know, we have been offered Peacock Angelite. Same price, but it, uh, it could, uh, they do actually say they come with some yellow inclusions. It's still lovely, don't get me wrong. Regarding this bangle, let me just explain how this is happening. So Bernard said, um, I placed two orders for, um, for Angelite bangles uh, and a disc which goes in the 
center. Um, just before they were due to be shipped, I was informed that they were unable to fulfill the order as the entire commission had been bought by a Chinese buyer who paid three times the price mm. that had been quoted. Basically, we got gazumped. Yeah? It is exactly that. We got gazumped. Yeah, good word. Yeah? yeah. Which, um, it's okay. And it's, it's not cool, but Bernard... Bernard, um, it, we have a great relationship with Bernard. He was really honest about it and said, look, this is what's happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was the middleman, by the way. It wasn't Bernard's fault. So he was, we spoke to Bernard and Bernard was the middleman, effectively. Bernard was buying it from somewhere else. Yeah? Somewhere else sold it somewhere else. Mm. But because we'd had the conversation with Bernard, he was like, well, I'm sorry, I've got nothing to give you. Yeah. So... He managed, that goes on, doesn't it? He managed to source from somewhere else another location of natural Peruvian angelite. We weren't able to get the center, but we still got an amazing price on the bangle. And Bernard said, I will honor as an apology deal will negotiate the best possible price because we were meant to have the bangle in the bit in the center oh right but okay. unfortunately we couldn't get hold of it so <coughs> i can't bring you that however i can bring you the bangle on its own and i will honor it at the best price we've done business with bernard since pretty much the day we start started so he is uh he is a, he's a great associate of ours and he he's not solely but he does source a lot of your rarer gemstones right bernard. Um, so he wants to keep you all sweet as well, <laughs> um, no doubt. Now we have nine of these available. Really? A 149? For solid a bangle, piece. solid piece. Yeah. A strand would be about this price tag, a carved bangle of this size. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it has, in my opinion, absolutely become one of the most uh, um, sought after varieties of angelite I think overtaken even the vivid greens and also the blues because it's got like a feathery patterning inside oh, it's stunning well done now earlier on this morning and you might have thought we've forgotten about it we haven't um, I mentioned this strand there's 50 available it's one of the most beautiful strands um, and you are an immediate collector if you own this because you've got tanzanite and we mentioned the fact that tanzanite is rarely in around because it naturally has to have a longer, or likes to have a longer axis to, to demonstrate the best colour. When it's strong saturation, sometimes you can go without that. So you've got an amazing quality strand of tanzanite. Then you've also got one of the world's rarest garnets, zavarite garnet. Discovered both of those discovered in the same year, by the way. Oh, I both know discovered that. in 1967. Um, and then you have beautiful zoocytes. So tanzanite is part of the zoocyte family. You are an immediate collector if you get hold of this strand. It's so beautiful. I Look at the quality of that. that. The quality of the zavarite, amazing. That's the green. I was going to say, which is that the greeny one, right? Yeah, natural. Real. Beautiful. So rare. Discovered um, in the Zavo National Park, hence its name. Okay. I'm going to show you the supposed to close price tag. Really? Is it really? I was totally thinking this was going to be three figures. Yeah. You're going to do something ridiculous. It's good to have a right garnet. <laughs> Final auction. Really, as a member of staff, by the way, if you've got your eye on own owning this, you're better off shopping on TV. Yeah, look at the quality of that Zabrite. I love it. It's like no other green you've yeah, ever it's seen, isn't it's, it? it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's expensive. It's one of the world's mm. rarest. 20 quid? <laughs> Are you actually <laughs> joking? <sighs> For the Tanzanite, that's amazing. Yeah. For the Zoocyte, that's amazing. For the Zabrite, that's ridiculous. What? Okay, how many do we have? 50 available opportunities, jewelry makers. If they don't sell out, do you know what? I, I you could. I almost wish I sold my jewelry again. Oh. I wish I sold pieces of jewelry because you could literally. This is what I would do: tanzanites, yeah, zavarites. Yeah, I would do that too. Separate yeah. them out. Get a couple. Yeah. Yeah, get a couple. So you've got more of more of each. Yeah. With those pearls that we had earlier on. Ooh. Twenty quid. 
Love it. This is a three figure strand in my head. Absolutely amazing. That Susan, nice wash. Bristol, and in Nottinghamshire. Absolutely amazing. It's not a short mm. strand either. 30 centimetres you're getting here. So you might, if you were thinking this was like 15, 20 centimetres. Oh. No. Oh, you just restrand it and just yeah, have it as that, it? Can you? and then have another one that you can split up. I love that. Gorgeous. Now, I'm back with you tomorrow morning, lovely jewellery makers. Um, who's with us tomorrow? Ah, oh, lovely Azataza. Eight o'clock, we've got 925 Sterling Silver Twisted Crimp Tubes as your early bird. Uh, <laughs> nine o'clock is about your bare copper metal smithing. So this would be great with a metal yes. for tomorrow as well, wouldn't it? Yes. Uh, Ten o'clock, you've got your 925 Sterling Silver um, Teardrop Link Bracelets with White Topaz. Very beautiful. L 11 o'clock, it's Last of Stock Strawberry Quartz, which is amazing. And 12 o'clock at... Type A, Old Mate, Carve, Jadeite and Elephant with one metre strand. That that project is absolutely beautiful. The jewellery is absolutely beautiful. Um, Charlie, you're amazing when you're back with us, my lovely. No idea. Oh. <laughs> Soon, though, I'm sure. Yeah. Soon, we hope. At some point. Yeah. Some point soon. <laughs> Bless you. No, she's only got a jog round the corner to your commute home as well. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it doesn't. It takes you a little bit Pop, less skip and time. skip a jump. Than... Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I've loved today. It's Thank always you for a me. pleasure. Oh, you guys um, are great. Have a little look on the website as well. Keep make sure you check out your basket on Sunday Ball Fights, and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>